I was sent here to meet a detective from Precinct 41. You have the insignia of the citizen's militia on your sleeve and on your back. I suppose you could be impersonating him. You could have gotten the insignia from the black market or forged it. But for now, I'm going to set those possibilities aside. I'm not from the Inspectorate General. No need for derogatory terms. They're only doing their job. Yes, but I'm not them. I'm from criminal investigation, internal affairs. And I'm not them. I'm from criminal investigation. I can see you drank last night and the night before, and that you are still drunk now. But I have seen officers go through worse. Much worse. If you need something for your headache, there is a general store nearby. But as I said, the dead body should be our number one concern. Yes. You mean you don't have a badge? Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I would advise you to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. They are not just white rectangles. They bear a halogen watermark with the letters RCM and a pattern resembling the street grid of Revachol West. I would ask you to step into the headlights of my motor carriage. But again, it's none of my concern. I just need you to do your job. Sure. But did you take it down from the tree? Talk to the manager. Then we go out back and take the body down. After you, officer. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? Oh, if you didn't have your badge, then that would be very bad. You would need to report it on my shortwave. But since you do have it, we can go straight to the task at hand. Uh, I was to meet a detective from Precinct 41 at the Whirling in Rags, who arrived here three days ago. I am told that that is how long you have been here. Besides, you match his description. Precinct 41 said they were sending the most seasoned detective. And you certainly look seasoned. Sure. Though, I would also suggest that you locate your blazer with your official insignia. However, I would also suggest that you locate your blazer with your official insignia. You may have murdered the man I was supposed to meet and are now impersonating him. You may be his twin, stepping in for his even more incapacitated brother, out of loyalty and love. But for now, I'm going to set those possibilities aside. I'm not from the Inspectorate General. Internal affairs. And I'm not them. I'm from criminal investigation. No need for derogatory terms. They are only doing their job. Yes, but I am not them. I'm from criminal investigation. Regardless, I would also suggest that you locate your blazer with your official insignia. They are not just white rectangles. They bear a halogen watermark with the letters RCM and a pattern resembling the street grid of Revachol West. I could step into the headlights of my kinema and show you. But right now, I just need you to do your job. You mean you don't have a badge? Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a shortwave. You can use it to report your badge missing. I advise you to try to locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Oh, if you didn't have your badge, then that would be very bad. You would need to report it on my shortwave. But since you do have it, we can go straight to the task at hand. After it's been up in a tree for that long, any kind of ripping is inadvisable. Yes. Well, very well, officer. You seem unsure, officer. Have you spent too much time undercover lately? Okay, then. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday, too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? Then we should ask him for a rundown of the area. Get me up to speed. I understand the scene is out back, right? No, I don't think so. We should ask him for a rundown of the area. Not that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? At the 57th, we like to prepare an initial list of persons of interest. And then just... Skim the surface. Prepare the field. Get to know the players. You don't do that? Maybe it's not an inter-district practice. Okay. We'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Good. But even if you haven't, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Right. And the interviews? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Does that mean the body is no longer in the tree? Hello. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Precinct 57. You must be from the 41st. So, the body is still in the tree. Completely. 
Does that mean you took the body down from the tree, where it has been hanging for seven days straight? We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. We all feel that way sometimes. There is no such thing as a police officer, I'm afraid. What remains is that there is a dead body in the tree. Someone has to figure out who put it there. If we don't, no one else will. Ma'am, you are confusing him. A tremendous evolutionary advantage, I'm sure. But perhaps we've had enough speculative biology for today? Yes. Advantages such as the flakier texture of zeolite earwax, or so I've heard. Nothing inspires pride in one species quite like speculative evolutionary biology. Perhaps we've had enough of that for today. Who here? No animal can be that large. It's a mirage. One cryptid. Not a couple. One. This won't turn into some kind of cryptid extravaganza. If the body of the creature was found, why aren't there detailed illustrations of it in science textbooks, confirming the existence of this very little species? I'm beginning to wonder if I should. And I don't. Just one. Um, do we have time for breaks to listen to theories about imaginary animals? It's actually a little hard to see. But do go on. Of course. All fairy tales have someone or something invisible in them. Of course. A common thread in these. Disappearance and unfalsifiability. I like the story, though, ma'am. Okay, I won't spoil your fun. What is the invisible cryptid? Fine, I'll bite. How can an animal be a sound? Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's have more cryptids. This one I liked. Not only does it have eight eyes, and is a living fossil, and the largest bird ever to live, it also does mind control. One cryptid, like you said. One. This can't turn into some kind of cryptid extravaganza. We have things to do. I'm glad you see it that way. Did we have anything more to do here? That's not how the world works. Let's get back to our investigation, shall we? We don't have time for Cryptozoology 101. Let's get back to work, shall we? Hey, you promised you'd only ask about one cryptid. You must be joking. Although our pay does sometimes feel like a joke. Officer, get a hold of yourself, please. I can assure you with absolute certainty, there are no sequence killings taking place in Martinez. I did not know murder investigations are supposed to be fun. No, I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a detective. Wonderful. He has a pin. Yes, we've been there. A partner who needs you to get back to helping the people of Martinez. <sighs> If you say so. A sigh. He takes off his glasses and wipes the lenses on his jacket before replacing them. Well, the man's already been dead more than a week. I suppose a small diversion won't hurt too much. Ah, <sighs> I sincerely doubt it. Still, I suppose it won't hurt to keep an eye out. Are you sure we have time to go chasing after bug hunters just now? You know, to hell with it. Let's have more cryptids. We ran into your husband on the coast, madame. He was just going to finish up some work and then come back. I believe we ran into your husband on the coast, madame. He seemed to be busy setting up some trap, so we didn't talk to him much. He's fine, ma'am. He couldn't get back earlier because the water lock on the canal was broken. He should be back soon. He's fine, ma'am. He couldn't get back earlier because the water lock on the canal was broken. Now he's just finishing up some work. <sighs> Truly a lot of flag work. My partner adores these kinds of things. It's a pseudoscience that attempts to legitimize research into mythological beasts and urban legends. I knew it. We're gonna be chasing made-up insects with cryptozoologists. My apologies, ma'am. I did not mean to undermine your hobby. Yes, but a junior officer could... Fine. Our victim's already been dead more than a week. One more diversion won't change anything. I can't say it's the best part of town, but I wouldn't worry too much about a pair of grown men traveling together. I thought it was a wonderful story, ma'am. No, I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a police officer. Really? We should go too. You're welcome, ma'am. I knew it. Lieutenant Kitsuragi, may I ask what you needed to use the phone for, madame? To be honest, this animal sounds like a cryptid. You wouldn't happen to be searching for some kind of gnome of Jeroma, would you? Establishment. I thought so.
Possibly because there's a strike going on in the harbor. There's not much to do aside from drinking and sleeping. No idea. Looks like he works for Wild Pines, the logistics company who owns and operates the harbor. To be honest, he's correct. Police officers generally don't go around appropriating possessions from people. Let's go. Shanky. It's Shanky, right? I thought there's something wrong about the lynching story. Now I know there was. It means the whole scene was long and drawn out, like it was from a film. For the record, which I have to type up later tonight, no apocalypse-related testimony was provided to us by the witness. I know you are lying, Shanky. Right, I'm convinced, Glenn. Nothing off here. Just a regular hanging. We'll do that. In the meantime, did you know that there's an abandoned lorry at the intersection that was used to move raw ingredients for drugs from Terminal B to Jamrock? The person driving it was present at the hanging. It was one of you. We've connected the footprints. Detective, do you want to deliver the coup de grace? Thank you. You're right, Titus. There is no local drug trade because it's all controlled by you. You're the drug trade. Not quite yet, Mr. Hardy. There were eight sets of prints on the crime scene. There are only seven Hardy boys here. We know Ruby was the driver. We know that's your affiliation with her. Detective, you want to deliver the coup de grace? I would, though. Indeed. Mighty. How did it get there? There was a bullet in the dead man's brain. Why was it there, if you hanged him? No, he meant before he was hanged. Did you shoot him before you hanged him? Yes. Death threats. My partner meant before he was hanged. This is what happens if you take the law into your own hands. Other people start doing it too. No, he won't. This is probably some kind of a joke. Last gun or not, you're going to need help. We are offering it. All he means is that the situation is serious. These people are trained military professionals. Special forces, as you said. They are not a gang or a barmy army. These people are trained military professionals with decades of combat experience. They are not a gang or a barmy army. It's been taken care of. But she hasn't been. Your local law enforcement, aren't you? Helping trouble civilians should fall under your jurisdiction. Police paraphernalia doesn't just wash up on the coast, people. It's not like we dump it at night. She bought it, collected it. That it does. I say, let's brave it. Look on the bright side. If it fails, we will only sustain minor injuries. I'm talking three, maybe four months in the hospital. Maximum five. No, it was 1988 of the previous century. No, I think the bureaucrats just forgot about this backroom elevator after the revolution. If some form of time travel becomes possible in the future, I doubt its inventors will use it to repair elevators in Martinez. Seems so, although it's pretty... quaint for a freight elevator. Seems like a small freight elevator for transporting machinery. For that, it's pretty quaint. At the end of the last century, Look on the bright side. If it fails, we will only sustain minor injuries. I'm talking three, maybe four months in the hospital. Maximum five. Our condolences for your losses. And do you have any information on this songbird of misery? That's kind of you to say. Take care of your friend, okay? This is a broken man. He probably feels that he should have been able to protect the others somehow. And now he feels guilty for not dying with them. Or instead of them. I'm not suggesting much. All I'm saying is, he lost everything. Was this really the best idea? I guess you may have prolonged his existence a bit, if he can still remember this when he sobers up. Excuse me. I think you may be the person I've been waiting for. It was you? Good pick. No one was implying you were, officer. Where were we? What are we talking about? Was this not about the trash container? Sir, he was only asking a question. It's his job and mine. See that it's covered. In your defense, neither do I. We should return to the case of your mistaken identity at a later time, officer. This was about the trash container. It concerns the case. Please cooperate. You can cash it in at the local frit near the harbor gates, though it might not be enough to cover it. Frit, near the gates, they'll exchange it. We should return to this theory at a later time, officer. This here was about the trash container. And come to think of it, frit's probably closed at this hour. They are open from 7 to 11. He's right. You really have to sort out your money problems, starting tomorrow. I can't help you again. We should find out who this Lord Faction is, occupying the booth. Loudness means talkative, and we need info. They actually did it! It's not something I'd wear on the job. Keep them, detective. You earned it. Fair enough. 
Now, if we are finished discussing this, can we return to solving the murder? I am sure. I'll take a room here too. Okay. I might have something in my motor carriage we can use. When you're done here. I feel I must remind you that we are here to conduct an important investigation that also affects your business. I understand your predicament as the manager. However, we should find out who this Lord Faction is occupying the booth. Lordness means talkative, and we need info. Hmm. I have a feeling we'll make their acquaintance sooner or later. I'll take a room here too. Thank you for clearing that up. Why do you keep the container locked? Relax, Mr. Gart. I'm sure there is no doom. He simply wants to share his discoveries with you. Ah, the elusive CS Municipal. I doubt we'll be able to track down who was sent here last and when. This will have to be one of those little threats that solves itself down the road. Some do take recompense, but only to survive. I thought as much. And are you the only party with access to the trash container? This is a thoughtful exchange. But can we move on, please? We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. Men get hungry. Even men on strike. We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. Men get hungry, even striking men. If not today, then they'll be here tomorrow. Good question. It would only be for... Uh, seems we are just going to have to keep looking around. Seems we have no choice but to trust in Kuno now. <sighs> Let's go talk to the Frit clerk. I hate to say it, but looks like we're going to have to ask Kuno if he knows of a spare fridge around here. We should really take another look at that fridge we found in the basement. Thank you, sir. And he appreciated the clean room, by the way. He just likes to act like he doesn't. Exactly. But all in due time. Crypto business is not a priority right now. Thank you, anyway. Wonderful. I assure you it was him. I feel good about our work here today. It's all about the little things, like bringing people random stuffed animals. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. This is an inter-district investigation, so joining me from Precinct 41, Sir, I understand your concern, but we are here to do a job. And for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. Right. Now, I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene. It also took you a while to call us and report a dead body. It was you who placed the call, yes? I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, but it also took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? Do you have her number? You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? We do not need to assert ourselves here. We only need instructions from him. This is the proprietor, remember? But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. I didn't imply that. Detective? Yes, Detective Cousteau. I have everything. You? Mm-hmm. I have everything. You? I have everything. You? It's your turn. The body was behind the building, right? How do we get there? But you see, he didn't. That's enough. Did the debarders themselves tell her this, or is it a rumor? You mean the strike? Thank you. Let's go. That's good. But there is a timetable for this investigation, dictated to us by the stages of decomposition. And it says we need to move on. If you don't have the money, it's okay. None of us are in this for the wages. Some do take recompense, but only to survive. Officer, you really need to take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car. Call them, ask for assistance. We have to get this investigation started now. No, don't, there's no need. You really need to take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car. Call them, ask for assistance. We have to get this investigation started now. I'm sorry, I couldn't help more. You should take this up with your station. I have a shortwave radio in my car, okay? We have to get this investigation started now. Sir, leash in your tongue. Officer, you need to contact your station. Ask your people for assistance with the money you owe this place. There is a shortwave radio in my car. When you get the time, use it. We need to get this investigation started now. Okay. Let's go. Goodbye, sir. No, there's no need. Let's go. Goodbye, sir. It is cruel of you. A man has been killed. File a request for compensation with Station 41. We need to work now. 41. Officer, maybe you are better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. And how do we get there? That's enough now, sir. Good day. Officer, I was thinking more along the lines of your name. <clears throat> not now. Okay, we have our answer. It won't fit. We need a bigger fridge. I don't think he understands, officer. We need to find some other way to make ourselves clear. 
Speak Revacholien. What are you doing? Why am I the corpse? Doesn't matter. I don't think he understood us anyway. He wouldn't be smiling if he did. He's from Grad. A koiko. We speak Suren. There is no such thing as the Revacholien language. <sighs> But don't worry. Your message remained clear. Good thing he didn't understand a word of your stupidity. Okay, so it's vodka that keeps the men happy and in good spirits. Clever move by the Union. But she didn't. She knows she can't lie to us. Unlike you. No, he's not saying that. Forget about it. I've noticed the same. Yes, he meant Orani's literature. Women are always reading, right? I've noticed the same. Yes, he meant a professional dancer. Women are always dancing, right? Yes, yes, we heard all about it, and the fact still stands. You were more disturbed by the tape than her. Come on, Titus, it's been a long day. I'm tired of running back and forth between you. I can see you're tired too. Why don't you just... Come on, Titus, we know you didn't hang him. He was shot. I know you're tired, so am I. Why don't you just... Come on, Titus, the stakes are too high here. There will be blood on the streets. The tribunal, remember? I know you're tired. Why don't you just... I can confirm that. Yes. In fact, I think she thought it was a little funny. I can confirm that. He is not racist and there is no really. There is no Carly either. It's a joke. Let's move on or get some air. There's no mass execution officer. Just ask questions and don't get sidetracked. There is no Carly and there is no kindergarten. It's a joke and we are getting derailed. Yes. Shit, feces, poop, scatological jokes. If you don't have anything more to say, then we are going to go back to asking questions. But I don't want to give you my gun, not after the last time. But I don't want to give you my gun. Merely what? Be careful, it's loaded. Detective, we don't have to demonstrate anything. Let's just get back to the questions. Uh, and what is that? Silence. He tilts his head to the side, inspecting you. A brief moment passes, then... Police job? What are you doing? Nothing. Give me the gun. Live in the bar, sit on their fat asses like they own the place, while the neighborhood goes to shit. Corpses hang from trees. Kids shoot up. No, that is not what is happening. This show is unnecessary. Give me my gun now. We'll solve the case. Look at me. Don't worry. This demonstration is not helping at all. Thank you. Nothing to worry about here, people. My partner likes to play these jokes. He's what you call dark. Again, it was a dark joke. Maybe we should go for a little walk, Joker, before we continue. Jogging around seems to have a positive effect on you. Um, nothing, just a minor misunderstanding. Let's return to questions, officer. Thank you. So, questions? You know what? You guys must be the cops, because this is what cops do, right? Why? How well do you know her? What is her name? Congratulations on the graffito removal. All I see is you sitting around talking about Monica's titties while there's a rape victim. Nothing. We just have a few more questions. Then we'll be on our way. It would help if we establish a timeline. No, not going to happen. Why? You have a gun. I assure you, there is no crisis. We had questions, that's all. <clears throat> We are deep, deep in Far's territory. We need to cool off and re-engage later. Why? You have your own gun. Let's just all cool off. We had some questions, that's all. Unless you had questions, we should get some air. What happened? We got absolutely wiped. Let's go before it gets worse. So let me get this straight. There is an eighth hardy boy. It's a she, and you don't like us talking about her? Good. We are all watching each other. Officer, your question. Funny. But my partner and I have a serious matter to discuss with you. We had something else. Beside the occult vision. What are you doing, officer? We had enough questions to keep this going. So is hanging a man, slowly, without breaking his neck. No, no. We'll stay here and discuss what happened that night. By the Pines Cow, you mean the representative for Wild Pines? The shipping company you are striking against? By the Pines Cow, you mean Joyce Messier? The representative for Wild Pines? The same company you are striking against? Really? What are you talking about? Embarrassment. If someone has been sexually assaulted, we need to... He grabbed someone? That won't be necessary. Let's just all cool off. That won't be necessary. We'll be on our way for now. Let everybody cool off a bit. There was a bullet in the dead man's brain. 
Why was it there if you hanged him? I think we're going to stick around, thanks. Some things don't add up here, Titus. I've done this job for long enough to know that people don't just confess to first-degree murder. Even if it is a group responsibility, we are going to look into this. What kind of mercenary? Can you give us a few more details? Did you muffle him? We haven't heard any reports of screams. The autopsy showed there were no ligature marks. His hands were not tied. Can you explain that? Don't worry. We are resourceful. We'll find a good topic for us to discuss. We are looking for Titus Hardy. Listen, she wasn't raped. The witness's statements were very clear. She wasn't raped. The witness's statements were very clear. Detective. Understood? You've listened in on their communications. How long? I think we'll keep sticking around, Titus. We haven't even talked to the company rep yet. We should do that. She's on the pier, I believe. Northwest. Maybe the Wild Pines has helped to offer if they want. Maybe not. Either way, we'll have a case against your ruby soon enough. I think we'll keep sticking around, Titus. You'll be surprised at how quickly a theory presents itself if you keep looking. Ruby is missing. If you hide from the police in a murder investigation, you become a suspect. You know how it works, guys. I'm sure we can find a tape player. It's not a problem. Why would you say that? Ruby is just the next logical link in the investigation. If we can talk to her, we can eliminate her as a suspect. Here's the real deal. Here's the real deal. He has a badge. Here's the real deal. He has a gun now. What are you planning to do? Throw a dinner party? Please refrain from culinary experiments until after we finish the investigation. Let's go, officer. These people wouldn't know a good performance if it beat them in the ass. Yes, it was downright tragic, detective. I can see that. Yes, not bad at all. While we cannot say for certain right now, we will find out. Thank you. Ruby then threatened her and told her to end her relationship with the deceased. Girls like girls too, Angus, sometimes. This is one of those times. She liked Classy. Ruby could have gone up, shot him, come down. All under seven minutes. It's a thought exercise, Titus. Think. You kill him. Get up there. Shoot him. Get down. You had expressed, on occasion, your dislike of the mercenary's presence in Martinez, right? Think about it. Why go through all that effort? It was her idea, wasn't it? The hanging. You went along, but she suggested it. It's just a thought experiment. Think, Shanky. You killed him. You got up there, shot him, cut down. Twenty, maybe thirty rifles, Titus. Also broken, but still, there were too many. And there must be other caches too. There's another door in the kitchen. A locked blue door in the wall. I saw it this morning when I was waiting for you. Ever been through that? Think. You kill him. Get up there. Shoot him. Get down. There's another. Right on the roof, next to Classius' window. How about that? You been through that door? She was here all night? 11.30 to 12.15? She was here during all that time? If they are connected, she could have gone to the kitchen gone up, shot him on the roof, then come down. All in five minutes. How about that? What if those two doors are connected, Eugene? Is that your name, Eugene? This was merely a thought exercise. He did not lose his gun. Let's move on. It was in your box. I take it Ruby has been in here. Just making sure we are on the same page. It doesn't all fit. We are just sharing info, candidly. A more logical conclusion that you wish to avoid is that she knew what had happened because she did it. It opens the steel door in the kitchen, the one that leads upstairs to the roof. This key was right here, with you. All the time, wishful thinking has no place in a police investigation. Or ghost, it's never a ghost either. Don't worry, we've got better than that. Just a thought experiment. Let's go on. No, he's not. We are just under stress here. This case needs to be solved, and fast or bad things will happen. Which is why we need to talk to her as soon as possible. There is grounds for a questioning here. Everyone sees that. Uh, unless we have more business, we should. He is thinking. Let the man think. Wishful thinking has no place in a police investigation. No, no. That's his concentration phase. A more serious consideration that you wish to avoid is that she knew what happened because she did it. He's right, you know. Great work, but the not shaking people's hands thing is a little odd. Sunday night, 11.30 to 12.15. She was here all that time? 
She knew there's evidence on her, and she knew we'd find it. This is typical suspect behavior, why fleeing is always incriminatory. We will start there. One more question. What does Ruby look like? Why not? You could turn this thing into an actual police force. Afraid you would actually have to follow the law? You are insistent. Where have you looked for her, more precisely? The elevator is outside the building. It's an old dumb waiter, used for moving pinball machines up and down from the workshop. Okay. We ruled out in fighting. That's how this works, by exclusion. Remember, all we need to do is rule Ruby out too. That's all this is. I think it's best we just dive in. What makes you so sure Ruby didn't kill him? Unless we have more business, we should... I think even in this fictional reality, the 57s would still be my station. I'm not your partner. This... this union is temporary. I fear... I fear you're misinterpreting this situation. We're getting to it. There have been complications. Mm -mm. I'm not getting involved in this. No, he doesn't. It's an urban myth. About an officer who is so far undercover he can't remember who he is. As I said, just an urban myth. You are not the son of Lang. You won't hear it. That's enough for the circus now, officer. Let's do procedural questions, or even... Why not take a little breather? The witness has no hold on officers of the RCM. My partner was just trying to get you to come clean in his unusually emotional way. Yes, yes, a miniature train set. The point is, this allegorical Kim should have just told the truth. No, no, my partner is a spiritual man. He was a minister before joining the RCM. Many of us were. Time to move to more serious matters, like what really happened between you and the man you hanged. No, no, he's just playing his viola da gamba. Before becoming a detective, my partner was a violinist. Many of us were. He'll put the fiddle down. Put it down, officer. Time to move to more earthly matters. Like what really happened here. Detective? Time to move to more serious matters. Like what really happened between you and the man you hanged. No, no. He's just playing his viola da gamba. Before becoming a detective, my partner was a violinist. Many of us were. Got it. Kill you... Because they don't like you. All because, yes, I understand, Alain. That's your name, right, Alain? You'll kill us. That's what they do in the Wild North. There we go. Don't come to the Wild North if you are not white enough. But I didn't say anything. Huh? Not the point. I just don't want to give you my gun. You hanged the corpse to cover up the real cause of death. The bullet in his head. That is absolutely not going to happen. You hanged the corpse to cover up the real cause of death. What was it? Work for the wrong company, and they execute you. They kill you because they think it's funny. Did she kill him? No. You almost shot that girl. I don't want to. And why would you help someone like that? By taking on a murder? No. God, no. Hers, you mean? Yes, yes, like a deck of cards. The point is, this allegorical Kim should have just told the truth. We'll take that into account. Thanks for your time, Titus. Case closed. Let's go, officer. Really? We are ready to begin our report. I've already started, actually. In Martinez, they just kill you because they don't like you. Are you okay? Thank you. I'll try. Please understand that Kim in this story was an allegory for you. You shouldn't try to hide the truth. No, no. There is no story. I didn't. Let's not do stories. Let's do questions. Yes, yes. Three-string banjo. The point is, this allegorical Kim should have just told the truth. Officer, look at me. I need to see if your face is drooping. No, he's not. That's enough for the shadow now, officer. Let's do procedural questions, or even, why not take a little breather? What? You're going to blow a lead just like that? I'm not sure if you've noticed, but Martinez isn't exactly crawling with coalition representatives. You're going to have to look for someone else now. It's for the blue door in the kitchen. There was a note there that you missed. It said the workshop key is behind the window. It's this key. It says workshop spare. Hmm. There's a door in the kitchen that caught my eye yesterday. It's very blue. Maybe there's a workshop behind it. There was a barred door on the roof that did not have a lock. Perhaps there is one downstairs that does. We should search the kitchen. It's for the blue door in the kitchen. The note inside said the workshop key is behind the window. This is that key. It could open the door in the kitchen. The blue door. It says workshop spare. Maybe there's a workshop there? If he says it's there, it's there. You do? It's a door in the back of the kitchen. Why do you care where it leads? So do I. It's locked and sturdy. 
The paint job looks old. From before the cafeteria. We are not getting past it without a key. We should ask the bartender. Uh, the cafeteria manager. Hmm. Well, if there was a winch, I suppose we could look into it. As a side investigation. Gart is the person to ask about this. The cafeteria manager. It is quite pretty. I suppose we could look into it. As a side investigation. If you say so. Gart is the person to ask about this. The cafeteria manager. It's hardly worth a title. Anyway, Gart is the person to ask about this. The cafeteria manager. Eccentric. But okay, I suppose we could look into it. As a side investigation. Hmm. Yes, I suppose it's worth seeing if we can get in. Just to be thorough. As a side investigation. Hardly. Anyway, Gart is the person to ask about this. The cafeteria manager. Have you tried using the key? I suspect that will work. There must be a key somewhere. Probably somewhere in the whirling. It's not too important. We can get in and out using the roof door. Calm down, everyone. Let's stay professional. Do dock workers spy on the police? You were on that corner all day. Now we know why. Just dock workers. Hmm. So you were spying on us. And now you represent murder suspects. Just dock workers. We've talked to Evart Claire. We know who these men are. The Union's militant wing. Just dock workers? Do dock workers spy on the police? We let you off easy, miss. Don't think it will happen again. Hmm. You seem a little different today. Less hospitable. It doesn't matter if you recognize our authority. We will make an arrest if we have to. Thank you for your advice, Eugene, and you too, Alain. I do always appreciate a good use of the expression milkers. Take it easy on the drink. The danger has not passed. This town needs you on your feet. We should move. What are you doing? No. But isn't that an expression, not a place? A saying. Up on Marvel Hill, a great high place. One that is impossible to climb back to. Some kind of inane pinball theme. Probably related to Messina during the DeLorean age. The history themes are the worst. No, you can't fire them up. They are broken. Only that one machine in the main hall works. The royalist pinball. No, I love it. I love pinball. Who doesn't love pinball? Let's move on. Us? Guys? Seoul is an extremely protectionist isola, inaccessible to the rest of mankind, as it has been for over a thousand years. I have no special knowledge of them, despite my heritage. But even I know that they don't play pinball. They have a rigid class society and a punitive justice system. We should continue with our exploration of this place. It doesn't matter. Okay. I don't like pinball because I had to learn to play it for an undercover job at a pinball ring. And it's a lame, boring and unchallenging game. There. We can move on now. Okay. I don't like pinball because I had to learn to play it for an undercover job at a pinball ring. And it's a lame, boring and unchallenging game. There. We can move on now. No. They are not. Let's move on. There's more to this place than pinball machines. So now he remembers. What? Fine, I'm Kim Pinball Kitsuragi, a.k.a. the Kimball. You remembered. Congratulations. No human being should. It is a game that requires no skill and a childlike affinity to flashing lights and to fantastic science-fiction and historic romance franchise. It is lame. I am not called pinball. It was used to taunt me a long time ago, before I became a homicide detective and got my lieutenancy. Not only to you, I am Lieutenant Kitsuragi to everyone. Now we really need to continue our sweep of what appears to be a secret path through the whirling. Fine. I was a juvenile police officer for over 15 years. It's how I started out in the RCM. Once I had to infiltrate a pinball ring, as you do when you are a juvie cop. End of story. That time is over now. I was already a 38-year-old man. It was unbecoming, as was playing pinball. Lieutenant Kitsuragi is good too. Now we really need to continue our sweep of what appears to be a secret path through the whirling. Wonderful. He only remembers hearing about the pinball policeman.
Unbelievably. To do that, I needed to become a pinball champion. I trained for nine months. The job was successful and I was moved out of the juvenile wing to homicide. It was not okay. I needed to become a pinball champion. I trained for nine months. The job was successful and I was moved out of the juvenile wing to homicide. It's best if you handle the juvenile delinquents. No. You're gonna call me Lieutenant Kitsuragi. Or, on rare occasions, Kim, because it's shorter. Let's go. I am sure neither of us feel solid enough to keep loitering in this room. Let's go. Not this again. You pull your weight, okay? Let's go. It would have been easy were it not for my concussion. We both got lucky, considering the odds we faced. Let's go. Behind darkness, I get it. Let's go. Back there on the plaza? I think you very nearly had another heart attack. Alcoholism has damaged you more than bullets have. We should go. Back there on the plaza? I think you very nearly had a heart attack. Alcoholism has damaged you more than bullets have. We should go. I had got open the door to your room. You were running a low bacterial fever the first night. Sunrise Parabellum. Sunrise, prepare for war. It's an old revolutionary thing. As retaliation, the rifleman tried shooting you. He hit the cuirass. I heard it go off. I was looking for a clear line of sight to him. As retaliation, the rifleman shot you. He hit. With his carabine. I was looking for a clear line of sight. When I found it, what happened? You shot the major. And successfully, a firefight ensued. What happened? You threw an improvised petroleum bomb at the major. A firefight ensued. You tried to throw an improvised petroleum bomb. It missed. Then you said, It's a fiasco, Bratan, in a funny voice. A firefight ensued. What happened? We tried to take the diplomatic route and hoped they wouldn't attack first. They did. The Major gave the command. Yes, you were bleeding out by then. You warned me. I was able to disarm Cortana before he got the jump on me. He's in a private hospital across the river. Cornell claimed him from the local butcher shop where Titus died. Turns out he's insured. We won't get to him anymore. The good news is he's not coming here either. I did some damage. Two days, in and out. You've been up enough to take Droamine and Curse. And drink water. Four. Glenn, Theo, Angus. The fat one. He took a lot of bullets. And Titus. Five. Glenn, Theo, Angus. The fat one. He took a lot of bullets. And Titus. The gates of the harbor are boarded up. The streets are a little more empty. Apocalyptic violence is yet to erupt, I am relieved to say. Three. Glenn, Theo, Angus. The fat one, he took a lot of bullets. And Theo, he was just too old for combat. And we are still alive, both of us. Let's face it, officer. It could have gone a little better. You could have not missed. I think we may have held it off for now. Barely. Let's face it, officer. It could have gone a little better. You could have not missed with the bomb. If you already threw it. Let's face it, officer. It could have gone a little better. The diplomatic approach was terrible. It was my mistake. I should have attacked. Reasonably bad. You were shot in the left quadriceps. That's your tie. It appears no major arteries were nicked. The bullet was removed and a bacterial infection treated with mercurochrome. We will see. The bruising in your shoulder is negligible. The armor took the brunt of the fire. Pretty bad, officer. You've suffered two wounds. The first is below your shoulder. The bullet passed through your shoulder blade, luckily missing your lung and heart. The second shot hit you in the thigh, the left quadriceps. No major arteries were nicked, but the bullet had to be removed. Bacterial infection was treated with mercurochrome. Reasonably bad. You were shot in the left quadriceps. That's your thigh. The outer side, thankfully, no major arteries were nicked. The bullet was removed and a bacterial infection treated with mercurochrome. Good. You'll need to be... Whatever that is. No, I did. Yes. The joke wasn't funny anymore. I took it off. No need. It's part of a detective's task chain. You can do it too. I called your station after the fight. The injury was logged in. They told me they've sent officers to join you on the site. I'm sure they're worried about you. Uh-huh. I see the door I mean is working. I'm sure they're worried about you. Not very. I have a concussion from that woman beating me with the butt of her gun. I try to not move too much. Not very. I have a concussion from the Major beating me with the butt of his gun. I try to not move too much. Things would be worse if you didn't warn me. Thank you. 
I did not see her coming. Stupid of me. Pity? Things would be worse if you didn't warn me. Thank you. I did not see him coming. Stupid of me. I don't know. Easy now. How are you? Your disco days should have been done quite a while back, officer. I honestly don't know. Sunrise, Parabellum. We can't talk to Everhart. The harbor is in lockdown. Everyone in there is outside our grasp now. And Joyce has left too. Yes, she left yesterday morning. To meet the board of Wild Pines. Oh, that is what I've heard. There's a pin somewhere in the machine that keeps Connell from sending in a death squad. Maybe it's her. Maybe she kept her hand. Either way, Ruby's gone. And Classio too. We really should have arrested her, you know? Do you? Because we can't talk to Everhart. The harbor is in lockdown. Everyone in there is outside our grasp now. And Joyce has left too. Yes. Honestly, I think our investigation has not produced a single credible suspect. I don't know. I think your incredibly dangerous theory on Titus Hardy was wrong. More than six people saw Titus downstairs that night. I don't know. I think the dangerous theory you presented on Classio was wrong. We have not found a motive or a weapon for her. I don't know. I think the theory you presented, it's someone else outside our circle of suspects, was right. It better be. Everyone within the circle is either dead or gone. I don't know. I think your incredibly dangerous theory about you being the killer was incorrect, however. There is not one piece of evidence to support it. I see the drum in is working. I don't know. I think the theory you presented, it being Ruby, did not add up. If we ever find her, we can pursue her on many offenses, but not this one. That was our job to find out, wasn't it? Honestly, I just don't know. Our circle of suspects is dead and gone. It's not a circle at all. It's a ruin. Don't be narcissistic. Half the cops in Revachol West are his peonies. Even if you are, it is not a decisive factor in this case. What is? The whores, yes. That's good to hear. We could find thousands more if we wanted. All of Revachol is full of them. It's extremely easy. There are thousands lying around from the war, all completely unusable. It's precisely how easy it is that makes that bullet useless. We should go upstairs, rethink the ballistics in situ. I agree with this. What else? I don't know. That's been there for years. What? Cool. Yes. God cursed the footprints. Not solving the case for us. Oh, diable. What? No. Are you ready to limp? I'm listening. I'm ready to hear what you think about solving crimes now. It really is very hard. It can feel that way sometimes, yes. Really? Because to me, it seems solving crimes is hard. Are you ready to limp? I don't think so. Are you ready to limp? Good. Where do you want to limp to? No need, officer. You wanted things to go south outside. That's okay. We all do from time to time. They haven't, though. Yet. Okay. I've heard people say I am on La Puta Madre stick, and I am not. Every piece of garbage in the city is not connected to the case. You don't have to catch everything. Yes, we have also completely failed. But that's okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. No need to be melodramatic. Hmm. Something. That's right. Ouch, indeed. I'm afraid we may not be able to locate communism, detective, on account of it being dead. Ideology does not have anything to do with the murder investigation at hand. I'm sorry, it does not. I am glad that you do. I don't know what to think. It might not have been a bad idea. There is a pin somewhere in the machine. Something is keeping Connell from sending in a death squad. Yes, Joyce Messier. On the boat, you know? She could have helped us. It's clear the mercenaries were working for Wild Pines. At least partially. Cops like it. Maybe it's her. Maybe she kept her hand. Either way, Ruby's gone. And Classia, well, at least she safely locked away. Locked up? No, she would be of more use to us free, honestly. But it was the right thing to do. Let's do that. Let's do that. Actually, I'm too tired to walk. Classia's room is nearby. Why not? Why not? Neither do I. Let's walk and hope something happens before you bleed to death. Classius' room is nearby. Neither do I. Let's walk and hope something happens before you bleed to death. Classius' room is nearby. That you did. I know you did. It's all right. She never had a chance. She should not have been there in the first place. There was no way to convince them. What happened? You shot the major in the face. A firefight ensued. Guard confirmed she left 20 minutes prior to the tribunal showing up. As retaliation, their riflemen tried shooting you. He missed, or you dodged. 
Oh, yes. She left 20 minutes prior to the tribunal showing up, I asked Mr. Gart. Absolutely. There's no other way to go about it. We screwed up. Another look at the window, perhaps? The one he was shot through. I don't know. I can't think of anything better. 4. Glenn, Theo, Shanky, and Angus. The fat one, he took a lot of bullets. 6. Glenn, Theo, Shanky, Angus. The fat one, he took a lot of bullets. And Titus. 5. Glenn, Theo, Shanky, Angus. The fat one, he took a lot of bullets. And Titus. 5. Glenn, Theo, Shanky, and Angus. The fat one, he took a lot of bullets. Yes, every piece of garbage in the city is not connected to the case. You don't have to keep everything. Turns out it was a bad idea not to arrest her. But maybe it was a good deed that will pay off in heaven. I killed her. And that's what happened. You're an officer of the RCM. It's not ouch time yet. You just got the Drouamine pill an hour ago. Wait until it wears off. Then I shot and wounded him while Glenn took a bullet in the spine. It was meant for me. Glenn did not survive. Titus, Fat Angus, and Theo charged. Angus and Theo did not make it. They both died before they made it to intensive care. Titus survives. So do Alain and the musician. I forget his name. You were bleeding out. You said something. I don't know what. And you warned me. I was able to disarm Officer De Paul before she got the jump on me. I killed her. And that's what happened. I shot and wounded him. While Glenn took a bullet in the spine. It was meant for me. He did not survive. Mr. Gart cleaned it. It took him an entire day. This is the one. De Paul was the last to die. Everhart had their bodies returned to Cronel for a funeral. The company is yet to retaliate. Because we deterred them? Or Joyce did? Maybe the harbor in full lockdown is too costly a target. Or maybe... Maybe they are simply taking their time and will attack soon. I don't know. 4. Glenn, Theo, Angus, the fat one. He took a lot of bullets. And Elizabeth too. Elizabeth Beaufort was her name. The gardener. No, she bled out before Everhart's surgeon could help her. Everhart sent his personal doctor, but... A costly loss for the Union. She was being trained for leadership. All. Let's face it, officer. And this is both of our fault. It could have gone a little better. Six people are dead. But what's done is done. The violence is called on off. The mercenary tribunal is neutralized. The worst scenario has not materialized yet. Oh no, officer. It's pretty bad. Six people are dead. Yes, officer. Seven people are dead. It's not a success. Yes. He's still alive too. We should come back in the morning. This is the police. Can we come in? Hey! What is your problem? Stop that! A gift. I am not drawing my gun. Yet. But I don't like gifts. It's hardly surprising. Of course you were. How does that work, anyway? Amphetamine. Does it make you a better detective? I always took you for more of a drunk than a chemical abuser. Anyway. It may be. But I asked if it makes you better at your work. I was just curious. Anyway, let's go. Hmm. Mm, that's what I thought. Let's go? Maybe I should. Hmm. Hmm. Thought so. Let's go? Hmm. Thought so. Let's go? Doesn't the pupils and the gurning jaw, the sweating, doesn't it become tiring after a while? Anything of not? Yes, but did you know you don't have radiation sickness? Right, I'll give it some thought. Should we go? Right, thank you for this information. Should we go? I thought so. Should we go? Right. I can see how that can be useful. There's always a price. An opioid receptor antagonist. It's used for diamorphine overdoses. Interesting. That's used for diamorphine overdoses. Preptide. A euphemism for pharmaceutical amphetamine. Prescription speed. Mm-hmm. She certainly had her priorities straight when she was packing. My kinema only comes with the radio. We should try to find a new tape player. There's a pawn shop near the water lock, south of here. Maybe they have a spare. My kinema only comes with radio. Let's try to find a new tape player. Perhaps we should talk to Roy at the pawn shop. He has stuff. Of course. We should try to find a new tape player. Perhaps we can talk to Roy at the pawn shop south of here. He had stuff. Of course. Anyway, we should try to find a new tape player. There's a pawn shop near the water lock south of here. 
Maybe they have a spare. Anyway, let's try to find a new tape player. There's a pawn shop near the waterlock. Maybe they have a spare. Anyway, let's try to find a new tape player. Perhaps we should talk to Roy at the pawn shop. This would have been very helpful with the Mega Mix. But it isn't anymore. Our investigation does not at present require for anyone to go undercover. Let's drop this discussion and go settle your debt with the manager. I would advise against that. It's already late and you won't find cheaper accommodation in the vicinity. Yes, we both need to get proper rest tonight. Even if you could break down the door, all you would get is another bill. Admirable form. Now come on, let's go down. Come on, let's go down. It must be an electronic lock. You will have to get guard, the cafeteria manager, to open it first, after you've paid for the night. Come on, let's go down. Come on, let's go down. Just a moment. You had some questions earlier, I believe. And besides, we should discuss our progress on the investigation. Let's go out to the balcony. Just a moment. We should talk about our progress on the investigation. Let's go out to the balcony. I can see that. The potted plant under the table is a Serai's fern. They have those in South Safra too. All things considered, I can see that. I have no idea what that means. I know what you meant. Wonderful. No problem, officer. And by that you mean crimes against humanity? I can see that. You are the RCM's own soldier of the apocalypse, aren't you? Of course. I have no idea what that means. It's not as bad as I thought. There are no elephant corpses. Should we go, maybe? Unless we've veered off into a folded M dimension, I'm expecting to step out on the roof. We could ask Class here about this route. See how she reacts? Unless we've veered off into a folded M dimension, I'm expecting to step out on the roof. I don't know about that. I don't know. To the workshop behind the wall. This must be the bar door we saw. We could return and open it from the inside. The door has withstood your demolishing attempt. There must be another way in. It's the barred door we saw. I don't know why we didn't open it from the inside. We should. I hate it when that happens. No, still a mini investigation. It is not the first closed door we found in this building. There is also your mysterious blue kitchen door. We should search downstairs in the kitchen, just in case. Maybe there's a door that leads up that we don't know of. I don't know. The further we get, the more this building seems to be tied to the case. The vigilantes, the cadaver, and a number of people connected to the case are in or around this building. This door is part of it. It's not unimportant. I don't see how this is going to give new results. There must be another way in there. The further we get, the more this building seems to be tied to the case. The vigilantes, the cadaver, and a number of people connected to the case are in or around this building. This door is part of it. It's not unimportant. It must be connected to the room we found behind the kitchen door. Maybe we should go back and take that elevator up. Let's not. I don't see how this is going to give new results. There must be another way in there. Through the kitchen door, perhaps. Let's explore, rather than destroy. We should search downstairs. There are things about this building we don't know yet. Sounds like the property damage wasn't in vain, at least. Would it hurt to look in? The bookstore. They have maps. You're thinking, what if the shot didn't come from the roof, right? You're thinking, what if the shot didn't come from the roof? No, no, we are on to something. There was a map in the bookstore. We should come back with it, compare the landscape to the radius of the shot. There was a map in the bookstore. We should come back with it, compare the landscape to the radius of the shot. Looks like it, yes. I see you have given this a lot of thought. Are those the locations you've singled out in addition to the roof? And what is the likelihood, in your opinion, that it came from a further distance? Okay, well... We should see if there is gunshot residue or sniper nests if we go down the coast. Rule these spots out one by one. It would be the diligent thing to do. Until then, personally, I'm going with the roof version. A simple hypothesis can be wrong, but it's something to build on. From where, precisely? Okay. Unless she thinks the perpetrator was standing on the ring antenna. That is where the threat seems to point. She was there that night. She would have known precisely where the bullet hole was in the glass. It also looks like there may be more to her skill set than we know. The question is, should we trust her? I remember. So it is. I just haven't gotten a lot of sleep these past few days. <sighs> okay, let's go to the fucking island. Of course, of course. I mean... No, you're right. We have to go to the island. Pardon me, the concussion. How do we get there? Joyce Messier had her sloop, but she's gone. No, there's nothing else. Maybe... There were boats there. We should ask around. 
Let's go. Ah, yes, of course. The village. Let's go. Yes, but it'll take them days to give it to us. We could ask around in a fishing village. They had boats. This is ballistics. She's left a trajectory for us. I don't know. At this point, I find that hard to believe. But at this point, what difference does it make? No, I just don't want to walk into another embarrassment. I am a creature of pride, you see. I'm afraid of becoming a joke. I understand. Not a lot, no. Could be the makings of a sniper's nest. No, no, we are onto something. We should come back with a map and compare the landscape to the radius of the shot. Good. We should come back with a map and compare the landscape to the radius of the shot. This is ballistics. She's left a trajectory for us. We need to do ballistics on this. Understand where the shot came from, once and for all. It's not impossible. There is a narrow opening between the commercial area and the collapsed tenement north of it. Indeed. Neither do I. It is. We are beating our heads against this. Let's go do something more useful. I'm not exactly sure either, to be honest. My imagination has a way of failing me. It's a weakness. No, on the contrary. This whole room could be very useful if we could read it. Maybe later. Jackpot! These, unlike everything else here, are new. Three weeks maximum, from the dust coverage. It could easily have been one week too. You know, officer, the blue door was a mega investigation after all. It has now converged with our main investigation, which I would say is quite large. It was a stereo investigation after all. It has now converged with our main investigation, adding a new fact to consider. This isn't bad at all. It was a good idea to see where that door leads. Commendable work bringing us to this place. It means someone snuck through what seems like a secret route, behind our rape victim's room, in the recent weeks. This may prove to be significant. It means someone snuck through what seems like a secret route, behind our rape victim's room, in the recent weeks. This may prove to be significant. It means someone snuck through what seems like a secret route, leading to the roof from where you can shoot our victim. This is significant. It means someone snuck through what seems like a secret route leading to the roof. The roof from where you can shoot our victim. This is significant. This prince, officer, could be the prince of our killer. And if not, at least there are good arguments for this ruby doing it to present to Titus. This prince, officer, could be the prince of our killer. The size looks about the same, actually. They are not the same shoe, but they could be the same person. No, these little horizontal lines are different. They look custom made to me. Or some kind of foreign print? Hard to say. Still a boot, though. I wouldn't rule out Ruby coming here yet. This isn't an argument against her. People change shoes, you know. But it's not an argument for her either. Between that and that. I feel sorry for the gods. If they only knew the kind of guy old Cornelius really was. Congratulations, your highness. That was really impressive. Congratulations. This is where the game ends. It's a cheap way of getting more money out of the players. A stupid nihilistic finale. The kind of a guy who uses the word savages a lot when recounting his travels. A masked nationalist. An avid huntsman too. He was often photographed in his dining hall, surrounded by wall-mounted hunting trophies from every continent. The machine needs a good service before anyone else can even attempt it again. Of course. I still think you earned the right to be at least a little proud. Hmm. I've been wondering the same. Yes. Good times. But you seem to be having fun. He also hit his wife. And kids. Other people's kids too. Sometimes pets. Hateful little man. Huh? I am. I've seen it before. Played it too. You will eventually make a mistake and then it's all over. A little. Oh, great. You didn't just win. No one I know has ever beaten Gordy's goats. That is a monumental achievement, detective. That's amazing. The pinball machine. Gordy's goats. A classic. Those are professional tempo runners. They are paid four figures per game. I meant normal human beings. I agree, detective. Something is coming. Trouble. It will be a hot spring. I don't know what exactly, but... Don't be so sure. Something is coming. Trouble. It will be a hot spring. I don't know what it is exactly, but... 
And what would that miracle be? Le retour. This street? I'm not so sure, miss. It's okay. Tell us as much as you're comfortable with. No, not just yet. Who is Ruby? Would you say she is the eighth hardy boy? How could we have missed that? And when was the tampering? Twenty minutes after death? We'll try to make it less stressful, miss. But these are questions we need to ask. I agree. You wouldn't give us your real name. Not when people are after you. Officer, regain control of yourself. What does our limited cooperation with the moral intern have to do with this? Before we do, what exactly in your relationship made you think she is romantically interested in you? It's a shame we never got around to doing a thorough autopsy. And when was the tampering? Twenty minutes after death? What does our limited cooperation with the MI have to do with this? What happens if they do? What exactly did you do? I need the names of the companies involved and who hired you. What time was this? When did it happen? It would help us if you could be as precise as possible. It's okay. Were you inebriated? The leader? Of what? To produce lividity. Matching a hanging? He just had a hunch. Detectives have those sometimes. About half an hour had passed since the moment of death. You were late. The marks would be faint by that time. We completely missed the tampering. Looks like you got there in time. What was this, twenty minutes after death? Do drugs make you aggressive? Why did you waste our time, then? We can't go after loose cap. Not yet. There are other, saner leads. We will need to take this question to the Hardy Boys. Um, what time did you make the call? It checks out. Falsified documents? Why would they do that? There may be grounds here. At least for an extended detention. I do not. What exactly about your relationship with this person made you think she is romantically interested in you? And you led her on? Women like women too, officer. Try not to fix it on this. Let's move on. I mean romantically. What exactly in your relationship with Ruby made you think she is romantically interested in you? Don't. What in your relationship made you think she is romantically interested in you? Good. What in your relationship made you think she is romantically interested in you? Actually, I don't. What exactly in your relationship made you think she is romantically interested in you? I don't understand. What exactly in your relationship made you think she is romantically interested in you? This is just an assumption. Did you hear or see the shooter in the course of this? Interesting theory. Did she know that door exists? Had you been out there with her? You mean to suggest she made it? I will escort you to the motor carriage outside, miss. I do have a form. You do have the form. This won't be necessary. I will take you to station 57 myself and slow the extradition process as much as I can. It may be possible to stall it indefinitely, but you will be safer there for the purposes of this investigation. I can do this on my own. She's not an immediate flight risk. See you tomorrow morning, officer. Downstairs, at the whirling in rags. I find that hard to believe, miss. I am not. There is more here, miss. If you knew we would find out eventually, why did you waste our time? I assure you, he's not about to tear it up in any style. In fact, it would, wouldn't it? It would be strange, you see. That is not actually what a police siren sounds like. Miss, I don't know what he's told you, but there are no superstars among police officers. Yes, I understood that, officer. I'm Kim Kitsuragi. I'm a detective from Prison 57. I believe you have already met my colleague from Prison 41. I can assure you, there really, really are not. I am sure it has. In the time we spent together, I must have covered 30 kilometers. He has a track and field approach to police work. I am Kim Kitsuragi. I am a detective from Prison 57. I see you've already met my colleague. What's so bad about that? I don't think I've ever heard anything less relevant to any investigation. Why is that? Thank you for your candor. Why? Why else? My colleague has an exploratory sense of humor. Don't hold it against him. How long have you been staying here? It's possible. Yes. Looking into your bedroom, miss. Unfortunately, no. But if I were to guess, long enough. The perforation is under the bookshelf on your wall. It should not be hard to cover with some tape. Miss, we are investigating the murder of the man who was hanged. The people responsible have asked us to talk to you. Miss, we are investigating the murder of the man down there. The people who put him there have asked us to talk to you. Did you take the documents? Let's see. I wrote down the nickname Lelystad. We have questions that might help solve some gaps in our field autopsy. 
I'm sure my colleague has a few of his own while I take notes. Yes, miss. I hope you don't mind. We found that crash pad on the coast, miss, and even spoke to the landlady. She seemed rather devoted to the suspect. At any rate, the suspect isn't there anymore. She's in dire straits. Could she have hidden in a place to which she has some kind of emotional attachment? Thank you, miss. We should do a thorough search of the fishing village. Is that something that happens to you often, miss? This does not amount to actual corruption. I can easily log it under a confiscation. You're being sarcastic. I'm not. What was your relationship with the men they hanged? What did you do when you parted? How was it? What else? How did you two meet? When was this? You called us, the RCM. Thank you for making the call, miss. It was the right thing to do. He won't be down there long, miss. We will move the body to the morgue soon. We will move the body to the morgue today, miss. Don't worry. Reporting crimes is confidential in Ravachol, miss. The voice was disguised. Did you... Which landline? I know it's difficult, miss. We can return to it later. Funny. Nothing. I also saw him. We had a long inspection and that sort of thing sticks with you. Let's move on. And his role in this strike was... What? And they lynched him for it? You mean, after they hanged him? So am I. Were you aware that he had also been shot, miss? Like you parted with the deceased? Should we head by downstairs, officer? We may have things to discuss there. Are you saying that you were asked to tell us you were assaulted? I'm sorry, but we are not quite done here yet. We have more questions. Better to be thorough now than have to come back to this later. Yes, you do not need to know that. What you need is to ask normal police questions. Like, I'm sorry to have to ask this, but have you had a physical relationship with any of the Hardy Boys? Are you saying that you were asked to tell us you were assaulted? Were you sexually assaulted recently? I'm sorry, miss, but we need a definite statement. Like, for example, his name? Lelistat. That's a good start. We have a few questions you can help us with. A few things a field autopsy alone can answer. A nickname? It just occurred to me, colleague. We still haven't performed a field autopsy on the deceased. The questions I have assume some kind of foreknowledge on our part. I suggest we go and perform it now and return once we've brought ourselves up to date. We are in the process of listening to it, but haven't yet. Ah, oh, yes. His hair, if you can remember? You were right, officer. He was occidental. You were almost right, officer. That means his race was occidental, not mondial. I'll update the form. Miss, excuse my colleague, he has recently suffered brain damage. We will now go and do our duty cleaning up the deceased. You won't have to look at that site much longer, I promise. We will return soon. All right, but quickly. She has endured that site long enough. It's time for us to do our duty. Excuse the delay, miss. The situation will be addressed now. We'll be back soon. It isn't. Police work is a cooperative sport. That's too conceptual for me. I'd just like to get autopsies right on the first try, if possible. Where were we? That's too pinball for me. I'd just like to get autopsies right on the first try. Where were we? Did that bring you together? Right again, officer. Looks like you were right, officer. We were slightly off then. Thank you for clearing it up. 42, are you sure? I would have had him above 50. That's too conceptual for me. I'd just like to get autopsies correct on the first try if possible. Where were we? That's too pinball for me. I'd just like to get autopsies right on the first try. Where were we? It isn't. Police work is a cooperative sport. He had a combat wound? On his chin and mouth? No. I can see you've put quite a few things here. They don't all give you a point. Okay, sure. Here you go. What else are we missing, officer? Go on. It's quite expensive, miss. But we'll manage without your help for now. It's intercepted radio chatter of the deceased, recorded via the encryption station. It's authentic enough. Do you feel guilty about what happened to him? What do you think it will tell us? All right. Yes, miss. I hope you don't mind. Lely? That was his name? Thank you for clearing that up, miss. Whenever you're ready. I'm interested to hear what Titus Hardy has to say now. Another fantastic moment. What next? Did he tell you he had actually done any of those things? Here in Martinez, I mean. Was he bragging? Did he tell you he had actually done any of those things? Here in Martinez, I mean. I don't see how your problems are relevant right now, officer. This means his race was occidental, which fits the statements of another witness. The phrase was used. I don't see how your problems are relevant right now, officer. Yes, w was he bragging? Huh? Yes, miss, but for him that number is 56. How old? Hmm. 58? You asked. 
He was deceased. He had been decomposing for a week. 42. And he was deceased. He had been decomposing for a week. Actually, make that 54. Alcoholism has severely impacted your appearance. And I was wrong about the age of the deceased. I didn't say 62. I said 58. Sure, you're 42. Let's go. On the bright side, you've been getting a lot of exercise lately. You're not. Yes. But for him, that number is much larger than 35. You're not. Yes. But for him, that number is higher than 45. You're not. Yes. But for him, that number is 56. What? <sighs> Never mind. That's good to hear. You can barely see through. Better not to jump to sensationalist conclusions here. The footprints on the floor, however, definitely suspicious. Looks like it. I'm guessing Martinez North 22 used to be a pinball arcade before it became a hostel. There are machines left over. Downstairs in the hall, next to the main door. One of them even works. I've seen one of the hearties bang away at it. Ah, yes, as the novelty dice maker said. This has absolutely nothing to do with the case, I'm sure. But I do like a nice little connection. If that's true, then our cafeteria manager is not going to like it. We should tell him what we found up here, omitting that suspicion. He does not appear to be the kind of man who likes his establishment to be part of a neighborhood ghost story about bankruptcy. At some point, 20 years ago, 15 maybe, before pinball went out of vogue. Very funny. What do you want? Isn't it always party time with you? Well, I don't know either. You should get some rest. Bad dreams? Yes, that's a good idea. Let's do it in the morning. You know, when we are not sleeping. To clear our heads from what? Sleep? What is it, officer? You'll get used to them, I promise. Sometimes it helps to go for a short walk. Is that you, detective? Good night, detective. Yes, what is it? What time is it? If not you, then me. It was a smart move from her. You think so? Being candid is the best way to lie. The appearance of candor with some facts thrown in draws attention away from whatever one chooses to omit. She may be trying to control the pace of the investigation. Anyway, we should move. I suspect our inquiries will bring us back here soon enough. You think so? She seemed forthcoming. Unusually so. Being forthcoming about some things is a good way to obscure other things. The best liars are always forthcoming. Anyway, we should move. I suspect our investigation will bring us back here soon enough. So you said to her, what did you mean by it? Nothing will make them respect the RCM, but it will disrupt the game they prepared for us. We just tripped off one layer of whatever it is. Her decision to not corroborate their story was definitely not part of the plan. What do you mean by that? She seemed forthcoming to me. Unusually so. Being forthcoming with some things is a good way to obscure other things. But I wouldn't call myself compromised. I am not easily swayed by young women. But on the other hand, the best liars are candid. And she was candid. Anyway, we should move. I suspect our investigation will bring us back soon enough. What else could she have done? Lie? She saw there was no way to lie and get away with it. The victim? Is there something I should know before we talk to her? It's not nothing. You were coming apart at the seams. Do you know the assault victim? You looked strange when he mentioned the assault victim's name. Do you know that woman? Officer, before we interview this woman, is there something I should know? Is there something I should know before we talk to her? What you're saying is, you raped her? Then don't ever say that again. Understood. You were not in good shape on Monday. What else? Okay, that's manageable. It is. This would have been good to know before. Anything else? It should have. Anything else? So she overheard you? Or did you party together? Yes. Yes. I'm going to assume she overheard you. Anything else? Wonderful. I'm going to assume she overheard you. Anything else? Anything else? That's clearly your interrogation technique. Anything else? This is unprofessional. Not sharing information with me is unprofessional. We'll be all right, officer. This is nothing. Try me. Understood. It doesn't matter how it went, officer. What else? Mm -hmm. What else did you do? You don't know? I assumed you were in on it. Better still than an imbecile cup of. It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my take, 
Ask me after we've inspected the victim. I think the dispatch desk just told both our stations about the hanging. There was quite a brouhaha at the 57th, I can tell you that. Time to settle it, they said. Cop off. But I assure you, I am not their finest or toughest with 102 cases solved. What I am is least interested in a pissing competition. That's good. The cop kind. Our precincts can decide if Martinez is part of Jamrock or the Industrial Harbor. Yours or mine, as if we somehow own parts of the city. Typical street gang mentality. So we've let the Union make a mockery of law enforcement here. And now it's come to its natural conclusion. What's there to say? It's just stupidity. Good. Later. Was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? Yes. I'm an unrepentant spoil sport. Well, technically. The official record keeper has been known to double count murder suicide. I'm good enough for this case. I'm not here to compete. I came because I had to. My fellow officers, the sergeants in particular, would have made this scene into a circus. I wouldn't say that. And my caseload is measly. But that's beside the point. I have, on a few occasions, when I was young and foolish, smoked hemp. Hmm. Okay. Style me. Then you are not that far behind, actually. Do you want me to brief you? I don't need a patrol cap. Okay, maybe I do. In the new, 20 years ago. It's what a modern cop looked like then. Yes? No, I don't. I used to. Plain clothes did the trick. For both of us, it seems. Now, really? It can't be that. Wouldn't that be something? And who could say it's not true? If you really don't remember anything, how would you know? We should move. Are you sure? Who could say it's not true? If you really don't remember anything, how would you know? We should move. A good joke. It's not that many. Officer, I'm sure you have a lot more cases solved. Now, if it helps you work better. Okay. See it as competition. But don't expect me to. Now, oh, you will. Then I will help you to do so. Now, it's good we set this thing aside. No. The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involved in a labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put the pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. I agree. Too dark. It's not a big deal. I don't do it anymore. But it happened a few times in my twenties. Local law enforcement solving one little homicide decides nothing. Not solving it can have real and calculable effects. Things can always get worse. Matter of fact, augury, we should move. Which school do you subscribe to? Mambo or Jambo? Mental illness. Hangovers do give officers superpowers. Many drink only to receive the gift. Yes, I didn't know that was even possible. It must be a great burden. So the 41st precinct sent you because you are the most mentally ill out of all the officers at your station? Then why did they send you? It's always good to have a police officer who can see and feel. There is no gift. We should move. It is good to have a paradetective in a labor dispute. I can see why they sent you. Should we go? I bet you do. The 41st is known to kill people. Often. If you could only find your gun. It's a good thing you found that gun. I can see why they sent you now. I hope you do. I've considered it. Do you want me to brief you? There was some interest in this case at my station, but not for the reasons you have in mind. You seem to wish there was a... As you know, there was considerable interest in this case at my station, but probably not for the reasons you have in mind. Yes, it just so happens there's a beautiful, blonde, 19-year-old woman at the heart of this case. A rich one, in fact. Part of a murder sex cult. No, not really. Was there anything else? That's commendable. Was there anything else? I can assure nothing like that will happen. Do you know why not? Because it's not part of reality. No, something isn't happening. Because it's not part of reality. Good, yes. Because it's not part of reality. Do you know the feeling when you've begun feeling in a crossword, but some of your answers don't quite seem to fit? That's the feeling I have right now, for some reason. There's no reason to wing anything. If you didn't get the brief, that's okay. I did. It's good to have uh, an ambidextrous paradetective in a labor dispute. I can see why they sent you. Should we go? A security guard or worker of some sort hired by Wild Pines. 
This was just hearsay from Martinez, of course. We need to find out the truth. Three days ago, the RCM emergencies desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in Martinez. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the whirling in Rags hostel cafeteria. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. Detective, if I may be frank, you seem to be in a deranged state. You have trouble remembering things. I cannot let you act in the name of the RCM without supervision until you've regained control of your faculties. I don't know. Containers... Contain, I guess. I'm making assumptions. We should move on. I'm sure you don't. It's just a stupid interdepartmental thing. I'm making assumptions. We should move on. Excuse me? Except that I do, detective. Detective, if I may be frank, you seem to be in a deranged state. You have trouble remembering things. You've misplaced your badge. I cannot let you act in the name of the RCM without supervision until you've regained control of your faculties. Frankly, detective, you're in a deranged state. I can't let you proceed without close supervision. In fact, under normal circumstances, I'd be duty-bound to report you. Take it as a token of good faith between our precincts that I haven't done so. To find him or her is one of our tasks here. For now, all we know is that the tone was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. You have a... a distinctive way of walking. If I were to walk in front of you, we would surely collide. I hope you don't take this the wrong way. It's just a collegial observation. In the 57th, we call it the Jamrock Shuffle. Officers from Jamrock's 41st precinct tend to move a bit erratically. They say it's a scene-clearing technique developed by one of your lieutenants for gathering evidence. It's erratic, yet thorough. Prioritizes containers. That would be us, the Revachol Citizens Militia. That's good, you might. It's important not to let one's style interfere with their work. Please do. We wouldn't want your regiment to spill over into the investigation. There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The Dock Workers' Union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now it appears they've started executing too. We cannot allow that. Some you time? This is a police investigation, not a journey of self-discovery. You'll still have your evenings to yourself. Either way, good on you. You are saying... No, no, it's okay, I guess. I may have preferred the mutton chops. They sort of seem to cover the... Um, I'm really not sure about this turn of events. I may have preferred the mutton chops. They sort of seem to cover up the... Um, I'm not really sure about this turn of events. I think the mutton chops might have been a better idea. They sort of seem to cover up some of the... Um, just to be clear... We are police officers. It's our job to find the killer. That's the case. Uncover and arrest the killer. That's right. Okay, well, we are police officers. It is our job to find the killer. So that's what I intend to do. You should try it too. Looks like we have more to discuss with those so-called hardy boys. Half their reasoning just went out the window. I'd appreciate it if you didn't force us into situations where I may have to shoot random civilians. Because that won't get us anywhere. All right, we've finished here. Let's quickly debrief and go over what we found. So we don't do it in front of the company rep. Officer, what was that? This is not going quite as I hoped it would, detective. This might be just a place to help you rectify your financial situation. Any theories about what happened here? We should think about calling it today, maybe. The nights are still miserably cold this time of year. When you said before that you were down with racism, was it meant in earnest? Or were you just trying to win his confidence? <clears throat> okay, then. Was there anything else you wanted to know? What is this place? What in the name of hell was that supposed to be? Morning. You can always use the radio in my kinema to call your station's Lazarus again. Was there anything else you wanted? Excuse me, I was lecturing you. I shouldn't have. You should consult a medical professional if you feel that you need help. Yes, cannabis. The hemp. I rolled it into a small paper tube and lit it on fire. Then I inhaled the fumes. I was young. And 
What has led you to this conclusion? That is a common side effect of overindulgence. It will pass. Teenage nonsense. You would have had to be ready to use lethal force long ago when you joined the RCM. Thus far, your memory loss does not seem to be convenient for you or anyone else, except insofar as you've managed to avoid doing any work. You wouldn't have been sent to investigate this case if you had close connections with the Union. At least, that's the hope. Also, you don't strike me as a Union man. Ah, well, we've yet to find any real evidence pointing to you in this case, or even a possible motive. So let's not add you to the list of suspects just yet. Maybe you can tell me what you do know, to help me narrow it down a bit. Besides, I doubt you could have taken down a hardened mercenary single-handedly. Was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? The victim wasn't run over by a drunk driver. So, while I can't condone your driving habits, the cases remain unrelated. I find that highly unlikely. It's not unusual for detectives to feel complicit in a crime until the perpetrator is apprehended, especially when the investigation is dragging. So, let's get back to it, shall we? Don't take it personally. It's just that security guards kept on by large corporations tend to be better trained and better armed than officers of the RCM. Look, it's not unusual for detectives to feel complicit in a crime until the perpetrator is identified and apprehended, especially when the investigation is dragging. So, let's get back to it, shall we? I've been meaning to have a little chat with you about your sense of style. No, it's not a particularly mysterious case. I'm relieved that you agree. Anyhow, let's get back to the case. Was there anything else you wanted to know? Besides, those days are long behind me. Yes, let's hurry now. I'm living on borrowed time. Now, was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? Excellent. Was there anything else? Good point. Martinez is famed for its occult sex murder rights. We'll get on it immediately. Extremely. Me? What about me? Is that enough of a secret for you? I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. Hmm, that's a fair point. All right, for the good of the investigation, what do you want to know? Binoclar? Is that how they do things over at the 41st? No wonder your clearance rate is so low. Ah, if you insist. What do you want to know? Good. Let's change the subject. What do you mean? I have no idea what you are talking about. I can't say that it does, no. When I need to think, I just use my notebook. Well, sort of. It's less a matter of who gets to police Martinez than who has to. It's an orphan district, in other words. No. There are a couple of people who haven't smoked cannabis. I'm sure of that. No. That's correct. What? Think? I do most of my work inside my notebook. So what? That makes you the new school? God spare us. For real detective work, nothing beats a good notebook by your side. Strike, coupe, revolution. It's brigandage, however you parse it. Ah, right. Your condition. Hmm. Never mind. All I mean to say is that we have a puzzle on our hands, but not all the pieces. Yet. Hmm. Perhaps you're a more proficient cruciverbalist than I am. All I mean to say is that we have a puzzle on our hands, but not all the pieces. Yet. It will turn into quite the puzzle yet, I'm afraid. I guess you don't need glasses, then. When I said we have to navigate community matters, I did not mean we have any say in them. I meant we should be careful. If we are not, the shit will blow right in our faces. I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a... a pissing competition. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? Try work. The case at hand. It can work miracles. Really? You look fine to me. This psychodrama is unbecoming of an officer. Focus on other people's troubles, not your own. That is a relief. What do you want to know? Then you should consider seeking medical attention. You can use the radio in my kinema to call your station's Lazarus. Was there anything else you wanted? Excuse me, I was lecturing you. I shouldn't have. You should consult a medical professional if you feel that you need help. You can use the radio in my kinema to call your station's Lazarus. Not a fan. It's just the nature of lieutenancy. Fine. We should get through this day first. Off hours begin at 9 p.m. If you're still having trouble then, I can give you an orientation. All right. I guess there is one thing. How about we hit the crime we came here for instead? And by hit, I mean solve it. Solve it hard. 
I can assure you, detective, that I've passed all the required physical exams within the last year. Can you say the same? Something the matter, detective? Just because your precinct has a reputation for cracking skulls doesn't mean that's the only way to solve a case. Was there anything else? That's good to hear. I have little patience for the swinging dick style of police work. It's patience and intelligence that solves cases. Was there anything else? Okay. What do you think is going on with that computer, chalkboard and fireplace? I think we may have this. You did well. So, the death notification. Ah, yes. The case brief you missed. Now I remember. Okay. Let's talk about it. You stole the boots. Congratulations. That must have taken an enormous concerted effort. Considerable ingenuity and timing. Now I'm going to report you and you are going to go to jail. All I ask is the chance to close this final case, so I can go to the chaise with a clean conscience. Let's hurry. I'm living on borrowed time. It was a joke, sadly. There's nothing I can do about your delinquency. Ah, what's done is done. Let's get back to police work. Sure. Anyway, did you want something? Related to police work? It's dark. You mean like a brief? Do you want me to brief you? Okay, I admit to it. The Revolution employed a more forward-looking eight-rotor design. Their blades were foldable and their pilots were better trained and motivated. What? This? It's just seasonal clothing. Where is this going? Interesting. I think it's called the brain. I do not harbor a sentiment for revolutionary air brigades in particular. And now I do. Anyway. Okay. And something happened in that brain? Good. Of course. Here's my gun and badge. They'll put me in the chest for this. But it feels good to have it off my chest. I say this from a purely tactical standpoint, of course. Agreed. Was there anything else? Okay, I wanted to become an aerostatic pilot. Then I turned 10 and realized we no longer have an air force. Okay, art cop, let's not. They didn't identify themselves in any way. The tone was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Wonderful. What is your takeaway? I can't stop a grown man from learning about the fundamental geographic and anthropogenetic features of our world, can I? In Elysium, behind our eyes. Like all human beings, detective, the world is what it is. I'm glad to see you're stable. Keep it that way. Now, was there anything else? Or should we get to it? I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to see you're stable. Keep it that way. Now, was there anything else? Or should we get to it? It all seems unreal, detective. In actuality, the pale is no more unreal than, say, water or death. Or that we are stuck behind our eyes, between our own ears, talking. Excuse me, large topics are not my forte. You seem stable enough. Keep it that way. Now, was there anything else, or should we get to it? Then I was right to spare you from it, no? Anyway, the pale is no more terrifying than, say, water or death or that we are stuck behind our eyes for all eternity. That's because I'm half Seolite, or quarter. My father's father was from Seoul, so was my grandmother, but from my mother's side. It's not an interesting topic. Mm -hmm. I don't speak a word of Seolite, and I've never met either one of my grandparents. There is nothing ethnic, I can tell you, or anyone else. It's a part of the world, officer. A geopolitical entity, and a geographic division. I told you it wouldn't be interesting. I can see you're disappointed. You are right to be. I don't speak a word of Seolite. I've never met either one of my grandparents. I've never been to Seol. I'm a regular garden variety of a Cholier. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of Seolite. I've never met either one of my grandparents, and I've never been to Seol. I'm a regular of a Cholier. You mean like a brief? Do you want me to brief you again? I for one hope I don't have to use my service weapon at all, like a normal police officer. Of course. Yes, it's a wholly pointless matter. Forget I ever mentioned it. So no, I don't think they sent you as a joke. And even if they did, they are in for a surprise. Safe? No. But you are old. You've made it this far. Something has brought you through. We've only just started working together, so I don't know what it is yet. But it's there. I checked the records. This jurisdiction dispute, who polices Martinez, reaches back to the 30s. It's as old as my station. And all this time, we can't decide who gets Martinez? I think, yes, both stations would prefer a win. Safe? No. 
But you're old. You've made it this far. Something has brought you through. I haven't worked with you yet, so I don't know what it is. But it's there. It would be immensely ugly of them. Not to mention unprofessional. But I also think it's somewhat unlikely. I am the finest of nothing. I don't think I can say one way or another. I do think it's somewhat unlikely, though. They, class here, as we've come to suspect, didn't identify themselves in any way. The tone was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Was there anything else you wanted to ask about the competition? If not, we should move. Are they? They are mostly just cumbersome. Good. But enough of this. Was there anything else? Okay. Is that secret enough for you? Okay. Was there anything else? Great. Imagine all the time you'll have for work now. Matter of fact, we should get back to it right now. Mm-hmm. What? You didn't stop at all, did you? You are just obsessing about other people's sexuality now. But am I? I'll spare you another 20-hour mind project. Yes, I am. Now let's get back to work. But am I? I'll spare you another 20 hours thinking about it. Yes, I am. Now let's get back to work. Yes. Uh, um, um, I don't know what to say. Uh, <clears throat> perhaps uh, it's just stupidity. That's us. The Revachol Citizens Militia. We're the police in this city. Actually, it does have to be murder. This is a murder investigation. But we digress. Ah, I'm glad to hear it, detective. I was wondering when we'd get to this very subject. To be completely honest, detective, I've been meaning to raise that very subject with you. If you ask me, it's high time for you to put the bottle away. Sober up, get back to basics. That would be my advice. If you ask me, it's past time for you to cut back on the smoking. You seem like a man with a death wish. It's quite disturbing. If you ask me, it's past time for you to lay off the street drugs you've been abusing. They really aren't helping us solve the case. If you ask me, it's high time for you to set aside these frivolous side tasks and focus 100% of your energies on the case before us. And I hope we don't even need to discuss the street drugs you've been abusing. Why are you pronouncing it like you are a coalition bureaucrat? You know what? Forget it. What specifically are you trying to assign responsibility for? So, what are we talking about then? But isn't that our job? But... Isn't that your job? Ah, now I understand. Next, I suppose you're going to tell me you need to form a committee to assign this responsibility? Fascinating. And here I believed your recent turn toward moralism was just an act. Simple. Because moral intern types love to form committees. In any event, I am just a humble law official. I may work under the moral intern's umbrella, but I'm certainly not qualified to serve on any committee. You know who might be, though? That Mr. Villedroin, the gentleman you needlessly antagonized in the apartments. If you are serious about this, you might keep your eyes out for any coalition officials we might happen to run across. You know who might be, though? That Mr. Villedroin, the gentleman you met in the young man's apartment. You know who might be, though? That Mr. Heidelstam, the gentleman near the Fell building with the distinctive way of speaking. If I were trying to get in touch with the coalition, I would start by seeking him out. But first, you might need to speak with his young companion. If you are trying to get in touch with the coalition, I would start by finding some way to apologize to him. But first, you might need to speak with his young companion. Now, was there anything else? Do you need something, detective? It's nothing fancy, just plain old Tiger Super Special. I do like to hang around the motor pool every now and then, but that doesn't make me a mechanic. Uh, all right then. Are you thinking of... You know, I do like the way it tingles, though. It's the only part of shaving I actually look forward to. Sorry, I'm really no expert on this sort of thing. I didn't mean to offend. It's your business, of course. Sort of like how hanging around the liquor store hasn't made you into a master distiller. My apologies, detective. I couldn't resist. You're right, detective. My apologies. That's a good point. It could happen any day now. Was there something else you wish to discuss? Was there something else you wish to discuss? Detective, about what the twins had to say. Okay, about that call, what happened to you? Yes, the hemp. Cannabis. Is that secret enough for you? A name. This is very good. Elise Cortenard. Even that is a small miracle. These organizations usually double-check their inventory. Thank you, Elise. Great work. It is. Thank you, Elise. 
Lily stood. Lily. I like that. Ah, yes. What class you said. Very good. That makes sense to me. Armor like this isn't mass-produced. It would have probably been fitted. Perhaps there's a record of who signed for this particular suit of armor. Did we need anything else here? It's a single-shot kill A9. An armistice, to be precise. We should get on with our tasks. Work always helps me center myself. Now, anything else you need from my vehicle, or...? What was that? It's okay, detective. But you said... N never mind. That did not go well. I guess the important thing is that you followed protocol and reported your lost items. Legally, no. In reality, yes. Martinez is de facto policed by the dock workers' union. Hey, if you cannot restrain yourself, then I'll be handling the interviews from now on, and you can quietly take notes. Apparently so. Please do try to control yourself. Fine. But know that I don't approve of such gratuitous volatility. It was someone else. We'll find them sooner or later, officer. It just might take a while. Seems like last year wasn't lying when she said it was her. This corroborates her story. She made the call. What? What is it? There are certain officers who treat their kills like some kind of ghoulish game. If they do happen to solve a case, it's usually by accident. But it seems as though you are, or at least were, one of the good ones. So we have that to be thankful for. <sighs> If you want to pour out the booze you've been carrying around on duty, I'm certainly not going to stop you. As you will. Very noble of you. Are we done here? Personally, I find it helps to keep up a few hobbies. Oh, this and that. Let's not get into it now. Suit yourself. Why not gardening? You've already got the yellow gloves. Why not historical reenactment? You've already got that antique carabiner gear. Why not take up a sport? You've already got that fan gear. Why not historical reenactment? You've already got that turn-of-the-century revolutionary hat. Anything's better than annihilating yourself with drugs and alcohol. No, it does not. It has its problems. Ah, Martinez. Right. I'll go turn off the lights. Oh, yes. Coal City. Le Royaume. The burnt-out quarter. Neither am I. Are we done here? That's what it says. I might have guessed even longer based on your age. What did you do all those blissful years of your youth? Those are perforations. They represent your record as an officer of the RCM. They are your statistics, as it were. I should have guessed you'd keep a record. Officers often do. Let's take a look. The first row represents your years of service. Eighteen years. Okay, not bad at all. What did you do before you volunteered? Yes, that does seem quite likely. Your youth coincided with some heady days for Revachol. But let's move on, shall we? Fair point. Let's move on, shall we? Cool. I'm glad you joined us. Not a lot of money in doom crying. Let's move on, shall we? You know, the RCM is a volunteer's organization. We would have no qualms with vagrants joining our ranks were they qualified. But let's move on, shall we? No shame in working a regular job, detective. Sometimes after a long day of doing this, I even envy it. Let's move on, shall we? Maybe you were a diplomat. Or in PR. Doesn't matter, I suppose. Let's move on, shall we? This next row, the one that wraps all the way around, is your number of closed cases. Closed is good. It means finished. You've got, let's see, wow, more than 200. It's quite a lot. Even for someone who's been on the force for nearly two decades. Usually, clearing more than 10 cases a year puts you in the 90th percentile of all RCM officers. It's quite a lot, even for someone who's been on the force for nearly two decades. Usually, clearing more than 10 cases a year puts you in the 90th percentile of all RCM officers. Right. Those are your confirmed kills. You've got precisely three perforations there. Definitely not. Call it what you want. You were a valuable member of your precinct. Now, let's look at the last row. Everyone has their own method of coping. Some more effective or self-destructive than others. Yes, that's right. How did you know? Ah, right. Sometimes the brain's able to preserve certain responses even when conscious memory has been, let's say, misplaced. There she is. Revachol West. Ah, Martinez at night. Let me see. Right here. For an RCM officer, especially Precinct 41, which is in the Jamrock Quarter, 
it's rather um, tame. I mean that in a good way. Mm -hmm. You want to take a closer look? Those spinners were elegant, sleek, radiant even. What you're suggesting is porno. You want to help? Thank you for the offer. That might be fun. Let's do the case first, though, all right? Right. Speed isn't for everyone. Well, maybe don't just say every little thing in your head out loud. It confuses people. I'm sincerely relieved I don't have to try and convince you of that. Back to work? Basically, yes. Although it's mostly about frequency range, not the wires making bwee sounds. Still, I'm impressed. Kilowatts. Believe me, it's plenty enough. Kinema feels right at home on the raised motor tract. Hard to find something that could overtake it. Okay, that's confusing. Uh, can we get back to business now? You mean the coil noise? When variable current passes through wires that make up the coils on the electrical system on this machine, it causes vibration in the wires and the cores of the coils. When the frequency of the current in the coils falls within the audible range, the resulting vibration creates the whiny sound you mentioned. The resulting vibration creates the whining sound, that's right. Very impressive. I have pretty much maintained my vehicles by myself ever since one was assigned to me. You inevitably pick up some knowledge on the way. Of course, yes. An extraordinary machine. Sorry, I'm not following you. We are not going to, though. Because this is clearly a sports motor carriage. No, that's porno tuning. Porno. That's short for pornography. That's a negative on the porno. Thank you, though. 130. You lost me there. Mm -hmm. No point in stopping, then. The kinema is fast. Feels right at home on the raised motor track. Hard to find something that could overtake it. Actually, I have a pair at home. Just haven't gotten around to fitting them yet. I need to lay some wiring for the ballast first. Maybe. Yes, definitely, maybe. Thanks. Are we done here? 7.2. Supercharged. Yeah, you know it? Uh, yes, that's right. I'm very impressed that you know these things. Oh, uh, yes, let's definitely think about it. I am not a binoclar. I am a driver and a police lieutenant. Binoclar. Binoclar. I am perfectly proud of my glasses. I need them for seeing. Anyway. Maybe don't blurt out everything that pops into your head. Just some friendly advice. Anyway. Sure, go ahead. Don't leave fingerprints on the bodywork. I just had it polished. Anything else? Hang on. You are telling me you remember all these little mechanical details, but you have trouble remembering your name? Strange, but plausible, I guess. I guess you're a bit of a torque dog too. Someone must have been messing with the radio, or maybe picked up a random frequency. You wanted a prime line, right? Oh, uh, is that what it was called? Nothing to get into, really. But sure, uh, let's focus on the important things. God damn it! Look, it helps me to stay alert on long nights, okay? It's a method. I'm not some kind of speed freak or... Thank you. You would be too if you had this motor carriage. I have something here we could sell. Look in the back, in the suspect transport enclosure. I confiscated this for a little while back. We can take them to the pawn shop down by the Martinez Canal. Yes, there's one 100 meters south of here. I think it's called Roy's Nest or something. If I'm not mistaken, it should be open late. I have something in the back we could sell so you can pay for your room. Open the suspect transport enclosure. Yes, I've never liked that crude name. It doesn't do much to improve the RCM's reputation. There are spinner hubcaps, frivolous things you put on your wheels. When the wheels come to a stop, the caps keep on spinning. There's no real use for them, it's just for vanity. This is the Cupris Kinema, my motor carriage. You can use the toolbox and the radio if you'd like. Yes, it's my patrol vehicle. You can use the toolbox and the radio if you'd like. Yes, sorry about that. The Cupris Kinema does have a rather distinctive engine sound. The Cupris motorcar does provide most of our patrol vehicles, yes. You're right. I didn't take you for a motorcar enthusiast. Do you also like tip-top, detective? No, I'm afraid not. We have a murder case on our hands, remember? An interisolary racing series. You should definitely give it a go if you like motor carriages. It has fantastic competition. Oh, I guess it's not for everyone. Really? Well, I'm not indifferent on the matter either. But seriously, let's quit joking around, all right? 
We have a case to investigate. We should try again during business hours. There's no use pressing the heat button. It won't start without the ignition key. Take what you need, officer. It's going to be a long case. I'm not protective of my tools, like some men are. There you go. I'll turn them off from the remote once you're done. We just need to stand in front of the machine now. A couple of weeks ago, I stopped a young man for going slower than the speed of traffic. Turns out he was some coalition official's son, and hi. I don't know, is it? I was going to take them into evidence, but they weren't necessary for conviction. He never asked for them back. That they are. I was going to take them into evidence, but they weren't necessary for conviction. He never asked for them back. All right, let's not take them now. Then, come back once we realize we have to. Have this conversation again, and then take them. Mm -hmm. I took them, and arrested him for driving under the influence. Give it a minute. She might be busy at the moment. Takes a bit to get to the phone. A motorized vehicle, officer. I'm sure you are familiar with the concept? We've had this for nearly a century. No, no, that, that would be silly. I just... I don't know why I kept them. It doesn't matter. I couldn't put them on this MC anyway. A cop with spinners. That would be outrageous. Exactly. As I said, they are useless anyway. I should have remembered I have these earlier. Don't make your unpaid hostel bill a moral boon, officer. It won't stick. All right. Ready? I turn. You press start. It's next to the preheater. No more dangerous than stepping between three armed mercenaries and eight union men, I hope. I don't like it either, but that's the way it is. The street seems safe enough to me. If anything, taking out the mercs made things calmer. For now. It's been this way for a while now. My guess is the Union is listening in on our conversations and jamming outward communications to protect themselves from Cronel. It only happens when someone mentions the attack. The rest is unaffected. Our best bet is to carry on like nothing happened. That is, if we don't want us cut off the grid completely. You can try calling again. Just don't mention the tribunal. And remember, they are listening in. Yes, the bird's nest, Roy, near the canal. We've been there. If I'm not mistaken, it should be open late. No. Huh? We aren't discussing this. I don't listen to them. I don't like it. I don't know how that channel got marked. Excuse me? Mm-hmm. Yes, hold on. Her number is 005-1944-298. Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 41st precinct here. I'm putting him on. That's just a drug addict myth. In reality, you're still comprised of dihydrogen oxide, which you must replenish to go on living. Drink. Water. Mm -hmm. No drink. Suit yourself. Drink. You haven't drunk water in two days. Did you know the human body is not made to survive on alcohol alone? You need a secondary form of hydration. Good. But these are not the Franco-Nigerian centuries. We are in the present. It is safe to sometimes drink water here. You were reading your paperwork. Then you passed out. I carried you to my kinema to take you to a hospital. Then you came to. There was a call on the shortwave. Officer passed out in Martinez. I had a feeling it would be you. I'm glad I got here in time. What happened? Ten minutes, maybe. I don't know. It could have been quite a while. That does sometimes happen. Right. Good. There is no use arguing with me. You will die if you don't. Drink! You dropped this. Are you okay to proceed? I found this next to you. I'll tag along for the rest of the day, if you don't mind. My business is concluded, anyway. Are you okay to go? Yes, it can be difficult to be on the receiving end of so much distrust and outright hatred. Fuck me? I understand this is by no means an easy investigation, but... I don't dispute that you have been charged with protecting the people of a particularly challenging district. But poverty does not make one a loser. Poverty is just poverty. I have been defamed over live radio. That has never happened to me before. And it never will again. If you ever dare do anything like that again, even close to it, I will have you sanctioned. That was abhorrent. No, officer. Short of undoing it, there's nothing. Let's just finish this case. You don't surprise me anymore, officer. Let's finish with this case. I want to be done with it now. Let's finish with this case. I want to be done with it now. Let's start from the top. There's no doubt the twins heard Speed Freaks FM. I still don't know how, without a radio. But they did. Nope. I don't know what it means. No. We are not. 
I don't think the voices in your head are related to this, no. Not necessarily. We've learned something. No idea what. Something, at least. Did we ask where the kids were when they heard the voice? I don't know what to say to that, or what you want me to say. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. I was just going to say it'd be a good idea to ask them. <sighs> no. I was just thinking that it'd be a good idea to ask them. We could ask where the kids were when it happened. And, detective, thanks for this. It's been interesting. You humiliated me. I don't care what your political beliefs are, but you painted me with the same brush, publicly. It's important in our line to know about all sorts of things. I know a little bit about radio culture. Yeah, local station, known for its kinetic music and aggressive style. Yeah, anyway. No, and my radio habits are not relevant to this serious murder investigation. Mm-hmm. Anyway. <sighs> you must be mistaken. Anyway, I can't explain how they heard it. I believe they heard something, and given the poverty of this part of town, I don't know how they could have heard the radio. However... Weird as it is, the situation is not connected to the murder. This isn't our business. I can't explain how they heard it. I believe they heard something, and given the poverty of this part of town, I don't know how they could have heard the radio. However, so, those voices they heard, well, that is true. No, I just don't see how this furthers our investigation into a murder, that's all. I believe they heard something, and given the poverty of this part of town, I don't know how they could have heard the radio. If it was, uh, that can't be it. Let's at least rule out radios before continuing. Maybe the twins didn't know it was a radio they were hearing. No, you're not going to try to recruit the twins to the remote viewers division. I don't know how they heard it, but I know the station they imitated. So they must have heard it somehow. Neither do I. We're going to stay focused on the case, officer. That doesn't seem likely to me. The washerwoman seems to know everything that happens here. Let's ask if she heard anything before moving on. Yes. Mysteries like who killed the hanged man are our business. Not this. After you. Besides, maybe it was just a radio they overheard. They might not be old enough to know the difference. How would they have heard the voices? Speed Freaks FM. Assign it to someone else, Alice. We've got enough on our plate. It looked like an accident to me, Alice. But that's for the guys in processing to confirm. The man was about 173 centimeters tall. Stout with dark hair and a moustache. We suspect he might have been inebriated when he slipped. There were bottles all around him, and traces of vomit on his shirt. We suspect he might have been inebriated when he fell. There were bottles all around him, and traces of vomit on his shirt. No, we are not. There is no evidence to suggest that this man was connected to the lynching, or that we are dealing with a sequence killer here. It looked like a simple accident to me, Alice. No field autopsy necessary. Getting late. We should call it a day. Best not sleep outside on the wind-stricken coast. Getting late, we should call it a day. No point in lingering here on the plaza. A rather an inviting bench. I'm not one for sitting on benches anyway, before the murder investigation is solved. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. Let's go. We can go into the bookstore and ask about the case. But I don't see much more to look into here. Crime is a deviation from the law, punishable by either a civil or criminal sentencing. It's what the law prevents. Crime is what we were solving before this conversation began. It does not manifest itself in any way. It does not exist. I liked it better when we were talking about whether it's appropriate to stand out in the freezing weather. It does not manifest itself in any way. It does not exist. No such thing. Party eyes. Yes, of course. That makes sense. Yes, people get that you are the law. You really don't have to keep saying it. Everyone understands you are the law. That's why you have that insignia on your arm. So you don't have to keep saying it. Ice bear fridge? Wonderful. There was a revitalization project in 49. A design studio tried restoring Martinez to its pre-war glory. It didn't stick. They got as far as the street lamps and the statue on that intersection. Then something went sour. I suspect that something was Evart Claire, the union leader. He muscled them out. It's how it usually goes around here. Really? I don't have the eyesight to make it out. Can you tell? From this distance? I don't think it's possible. We should have done something about the union ten years ago. That ship has sailed, officer. That's odd. I could swear you were a police officer, 
probably some kids. Let's try not to get caught in a crossfire. I'm relieved to hear that. Are you well enough to move on to something else now? I don't like where this is going, officer. Don't you think we should do something else now? We should leave quickly before it happens again. Right now is a good moment. What was that all about? Some experimental interrogation technique you're honing? Ah, <sighs> hurry up then. I know a weird cop when I see one. It doesn't work. Weird cop only confuses the suspect and the weird cop himself, while all he should have done was ask normal questions. What the hell are you talking about? What foreign anarchist? I'm actually already a member in a group tasked to keep the streets safe. You are too. We call ourselves the police. Are you sure? Cause right now it looks like you are organizing a vigilante group. What? What oppressors? No, you're not. Enforcing proper conduct in an amateur petong game is not something the RCM involves itself in. It doesn't matter. That was nice. A small thing for us, but invaluable to him. He probably didn't even know René had the photo. We are both very sorry for your loss. Death of a friend is a terrible thing. Yes, we are both very sorry for your loss. Or some other hoodlum. This is still fresh. It wasn't here yesterday. Could be. In Revachel West, someone somewhere is always whispering about Le Retour. It's an aerographito meant for coalition aerostatics in the lower troposphere. Time to crack this case. Let's really, really have a close look at that window in Classio's room. Let's go to that island. And blood. Some of it is even yours. Looks like it. Yes. This is still fresh. It wasn't here yesterday. Fuck, there's a third one. How did we miss something like this? Huh? What? Stay with me. Stay with me. You hear me? Stay awake. Look at me. Yes, keep talking. Stay awake, look at me. Fuck, she was right. That must be the third mercenary. Shh. If this turns into a firefight, we should take him out first. The mercenary tribunal. My plan is not to get killed, but we have to intervene. God, please. Fuck. There are three of them. I was hoping there would be less. No, we have to step in. This is not going to end well if we don't. Stay with me. Stay with me. Yes, keep talking. You hear me? Stay awake. You're bleeding out. Let's go back to Evrard. This better be worth it after what we did. Yes, for sending mail. Other than kicking? All right, let's go back to Evrard. If we don't mention anything to him, he won't know before it's too late. It's not going to be that easy. We need to dirty our hands with the signatures. I assume that's the goal here. Cool. You really showed that mail collection box. I don't. Let's go. Yes? What is? Leather jackets adorned with immature writing? The ideology they convey helps the boys justify poor choices in life and fashion. I'm not a fan. What are you implying? I'm not sure I understand you, detective. No, I don't. What are you implying? Fine, if only to end this discussion. Theoretically, if I were a juvenile delinquent, if I were to already be down that path, I think peace <laughs> is the stronger of the two statements. For what? The concept of getting dressed is familiar to me, but wearing jackets like these isn't appropriate for an RCM officer, unless he's deep undercover. Neither. I'm not wearing that jacket. I don't think this case requires us to go undercover or raise hell. In fact, I don't think the jacket will be useful at all. I already am expressing my individuality. The need will not arise, probably because of how nonverbal their mode of operation is going to be. It's a threat. No, they really, really aren't. It's porno tuning. Say no to the porno. I appreciate the effort. No, you don't get to say that. Police officers put their lives on the line to protect the people of Ravachol, while punks like these joke about joining a cop killer clan. These punks don't know anything. Let's just move along. Seems about right, especially considering your heroic exit attempts. Fine. Fuck the world just seemed to fit you more, considering your heroic exit attempts. I wouldn't wear it anyway. I don't think this case requires us to go undercover or raise hell. In fact, I don't think the jacket will be useful at all. I already am expressing my individuality, if you say so. If a skull spots you, he will pull out his dagger and stab you without saying a single word. The Union does their share of policing in Martinez, at least where gangs are concerned. That's why there isn't much organized crime around here. They usually occupy the burnt-out quarter in Jamrock. Or you can find them loitering around their brightly painted bottom-lighted vehicles. 
We should move along. It's a threat. An impotent threat of violence. This is ridiculous. Boys, do you know why the gang is called Skulls? You wanna talk? Let's talk, boys. Ask them. Uh, right. You heard the detective. He's gonna ask you some questions now. But I don't. In fact, I dislike them so much I'm willing to drag you boys back to the station just to calm myself down. You tried to punch a 12-year-old and almost knocked yourself out. I think I'm still pretty much in the clear here. You punched a 12-year-old boy in the face. I think I'm still pretty much in the clear here. Pick a better time, officer. After we've dealt with these wannabe cop killers. If you got something else to ask from them, do it now and let's move on. I don't want to waste any more time here. You aimed a loaded gun at a little girl. I think I've got a little bit of wiggling room here. You fired a gun at a little girl. I think I've got a little bit of wiggling room here. The Union does their share of policing in Martinez, at least where gangs are concerned. That's why there isn't much organized crime around here. <clears throat> While I appreciate the interest you take in my brutal motor carriage, I have to stop you right there. The RCM takes threats directed at its property seriously. Wow, you boys are ambitious. Only prospects and already planning a coup in the skulls. You're destined to go far. Don't say anything. Just let them go. You wanted to know which jacket I'd wear, right? Neither. I'd wear neither. No, he won't. That's okay. I'm not wearing that jacket. I'm absolutely okay with not having one. Do. I'm fine with that. I'm absolutely okay with not having either one, thank you. That's gallant of you, but I'm not wearing either jacket. That's okay. I wouldn't wear either one anyway. Do. I'm fine with that. This case doesn't require us to go undercover or raise hell. In fact, I don't think the jackets will be useful at all. I just wanted them to not have them anymore. I already am expressing my individuality. The need will not arise. Good. I wanted you not to express yours. They're called skulls because when you are shot dead in the middle of the street, the skull is the only part the stray dogs want to eat. And do what? Walk away knowing that there are two delusional hoodlums interested in joining a criminal group? whose main areas of expertise are jacking cars and killing police officers? Don't well me. This might be fine by you, but it certainly isn't fine by me. We've got to try to nip this kind of behavior in the bud. The RCM doesn't discriminate. Women are held to the same standards as men, and, as reflected in the quarterly statistics, are equally effective in their jobs. Unlike men, they also have to deal with the very same mentality you two are displaying right now. If it weren't for this, they would outperform us. Yes, officer. What do we need from this gentleman? Meaningless is what I think this line of questioning is. Call me a skeptic, but I don't think time travel is going to solve our murder case. So is there anything else you want from this gentleman, or can we get back to it? Yes. What else, officer? <clears throat> I think we are done here. Unless you have questions not relating to time travel for the gentleman. I don't think there was anything else he wanted, was there? You got the medal. Now let's solve the crime. You already threw their ball into the water, took a sandwich from one of them and a medal from the other. What more could we possibly want? Perhaps we're done bullying these citizens. You already threw their ball into the water and took his medal. Perhaps we're done bullying these citizens. Of course not. Yes, indeed. We're not here to investigate the drug trade of centuries past. Excellent job bullying that old man, officer. He'll be sure to put in a good word for the RCM in the future. He's right, you know. We're supposed to protect people, not take advantage of them. No, wrap this up. We're not. The officer was just... No, it isn't. He's absolutely right. I don't like it, and I feel confident seeing absolutely no one in your precinct would approve of this either. Now, gentlemen, if my partner doesn't have any other questions, we'll take off. Yes, well, let's just wrap this up and try to think about these things in the future. Me neither. I don't think anyone did. Purple velvet tunic. Hmm. That isn't exactly camo. Of course. Clarity of vision. Awareness. No one has been guarding the container yard since last Monday. Mabels don't blossom yet, do they? Don't worry, miss. We are here to clean it up. You can get to work soon. We should probably proceed with our business in Martinez. Unless you have more official questions. We should proceed with our business in Martinez. Yes, a representative of the harbor. She should have set up operations nearby. No need to worry, we are not saying you did. He knows where we are. 
He just wants directions. Relax, miss. This is not an interrogation. We are just checking some facts. You've been resting here for quite a while, haven't you? I understand. The RCM isn't welcome here, and the locals want to keep an eye on us. That's okay, miss. Do what you have to do. I think we're done here. Let's go. That was the last time, miss. Our questioning here is concluded. Let's go. We should proceed with our business in Martinez. We should probably proceed with our business in Martinez. Unless you have more official questions, you don't have to stay here because of us. You are correct. This is a rather motor carriage friendly city. Yes, it is. Well, you did provide us with a very convenient access point to the crime scene. Well, you did provide us with a very convenient access point to the crime scene. No wonder the cafeteria manager seemed frustrated when he was giving us directions to the yard. That's plausible. A similar reckless abandon seems to be in evidence. I'm not sure. There are plenty of traffic accidents waiting to happen in Martinez. With the jam right here on the roundabout. I would keep them separate. I wouldn't be so sure. Because people either show up on their own or you never find them. I'd say there's nothing mysterious about incompleteness. It's in fact rather unpleasant. Great. Let's do it. All right then. He has questions now. This was a tremendously useful interlude. Where is this going, officer? We can take a break if you're feeling unwell. <sighs> I'm sure he will too. When he does, would you let Prison 57, Kim Kitsuragi, know? They are not all they're cracked up to be, officer. Or they don't. And you'll never find them. For what it's worth, I agree. But cockatoos can't be stopped when they get like this. It's better to indulge him at this point. Everyone can see that. The rectangles. Ma'am, just to be completely clear, do you want to report it to the police? Where? There? Those are old. We should focus on present crimes. From the present century. Yes, the one that happened half a century ago. Those bullets were fired during the revolution and do not warrant an investigation by officers of civil law. These bullets were fired during the revolution over half a century ago. They do not warrant investigation. Not much. I don't have a fresh perspective on it. Shall we go? No. I don't hear the call de mama d'aqua. And neither do you. Have you noticed people sometimes appear and disappear in places? It's called doing things. They didn't. Trust me. I saw the bodies. You'll get them next time. And I mean, it would be one twist too many if it turned out these two old men were our killers. That's just unlikely. No. We would only have wasted our time here. Don't beat yourself up about it. I think I gave you a pretty exhaustive answer about those flowers and what they mean. You mean the guys who were playing pétanque? This rain will not let up anytime soon. You should get a raincoat. There's a frit to the east. They sell them there. This rain will not let up anytime soon. At least we are dressed for it. Let's keep moving. This rain will not let up anytime soon. I'd recommend you put on your coat. Then you'd better get ready. Whatever happens, I've got your back. Yes, I hear commotion. Let's go. The cool factor might hit me later. Right now, it feels like a joke gone too far. Very rock and roll. But is now really the time? Hmm. This is one of those times where you're just going to keep talking no matter what I say, isn't it? You mean, any more than I already am? We better solve this case fast, officer. I'm not 100% comfortable with this. Damn it, detective. Give me the peace jacket. Yes. You're really showing off that aggressive slogan there. That's not what I was saying, detective. The odds are very high, officer. It's situations like these that make me afraid I'll end up being the cretin cop with piss <laughs> on his back. The odds are quite high. It doesn't care if we're in leather jackets that say fuck the world and piss <laughs> on their backs. Let's be clear about one thing. The first chance I get, these things coming off. And that will be it. No take-backs, no follow-up conversations, that's it. Do you understand? All right, fuck. Time to solve a murder. As counterintuitive as it might seem in these jackets. Let's go. I know exactly what you are trying to do, detective. And it's not going to work. <sighs> I'm afraid the RCM is going to have our asses for this. It's not a good look. Doesn't exactly signal shit to get an S. The problem is... It really does look cool to have both of these jackets on right now. Detective, what are you talking about? I agree. Fortunately, we have plenty of work to occupy us. Let's get back to it. That's what I'm afraid of. We better solve this thing fast. 
Never has anyone asked me to place more trust in them than you are asking of me right now. If you saw this branch out from under me while I've got peace fired written on my back, all right, that was fun. But not really. Enough time wasted. Let's get back to work. I can't believe you talked me into this. We better solve this thing fast. I disagree. In fact, if we were to do a poll right now, a little who looks like shit poll, I'm fairly confident you'd come out on top. I hope not. No, you are definitely not buying those. No, I can't. We can't walk around with you looking like this. Okay, fine. Go ahead. If you want to look like a walking midlife crisis, then who am I to interfere? You look like a musician. Like a blind musician. But you could do worse. Take them if you want. A pity. Those actually weren't half bad. Looks like the students took your advice to heart, detective. Okay, I can't see it, but I take your word for it. Well, Martinez is riddled with bullet holes. This place saw a lot of action during the revolution. But the statue is recently renovated, so maybe a joke? Target practice or a political statement? If we connect every bullet hole in Martinez to the murder, we'll get an overwhelming amount of loose threads. But then again, our guy was shot. And that hole would be recent. It's not completely tangential, at least worth noting down. I wouldn't hold my breath, though. If we connect every bullet hole in Martinez to the murder, we'll get an overwhelming amount of loose threads. But then again, we don't really know what we are dealing with here, so... I've made a note. Don't hold your breath. Why not? What this shows us is guns aren't too uncommon here, and people still shoot them, sometimes at kings. If you wanted to be cynical about it, you could say we are here to protect the interests of property holders. I am not, however. It is, yes. Anyone can set up their shop whenever they feel like it. He does not need your money. Please disregard that. We're just here to ask some questions. Interesting. The apricot suzerainty is what the Sea Guy Archipelago is commonly known as in Revachol. It's a bit of a fraud term, I'm sure you understand. Corruption. I don't think you really understand how bribes work, detective. Are you trying to ask for a bribe? If so, you're not doing a very good job. So you admit you're a lorry driver? And what crowd is that? No use. He's not telling us. He's too afraid. We need to take him to my station and ask him there. After we've called his boss. Who exactly is talking about this lady driver of yours? The racist or the other one with the tattoos? The third driver. We haven't talked to her yet. Where exactly is she? Near the horseback monument? It is not code. He really means his individual net worth. It is not legal tender. So it would seem. Hard to say. This distribution network looks certainly large, yet still vague enough. It doesn't reveal much about the Besmerti behind it. The Besmerti is a Revacholian crime syndicate. They see themselves as the inheritors of the 14 Revacholian Indo tribes. But really, they're just violent gangs vying for control on the west side of Revachol. Here's bad news. There have been attempts at a serious investigation before, but they haven't ended well for those involved. Use the pry bar to smash the window. Open it from the inside. It means that the smugglers are secretly using the motorway to transport their goods and materials. They've infiltrated the East Motor Tract, most likely. The RCM patrols most of these auxiliary roads, though apparently not all of them. It's definitely not the Union. They just do some logistics. This operation has spread everywhere in Jamrock. If it's that widespread, then Madre remains the most likely suspect. Best not to disturb the scene. I'll have forensics go over the lorry and pick this up later. This has been hard enough. No need to make it any harder. What? I happen to have committed the frequency to memory. I have no problem admitting that. Sandpaper? A novel technique. Must be to offer some extra grip to the driver's foot. What a novel technique. You sure do know your lorries, officer. Sandpaper? A novel technique? Yes. Now we know for certain who is the missing eighth person at the lynching. Do you think that Hardy and his boys could also be involved in the drug operation? Yes, well, we've identified one of the footprints, but there are still seven to go. Which means that the missing lady driver was present at the lynching. Understood. We should still go and see what Titus has got to say on the matter. Are we finished with the lorry? We should talk with Titus, see what he's got to say on the matter. Are we finished with the lorry? We should see what Titus has got to say on the matter. Are we finished with the lorry? You're right. 
But we should still go and see what Titus has got to say on the matter. Are we finished with the lorry? Great. I think we got everything. A word, detective? Before we return to Joyce? We definitely need to return some time later. We didn't get enough. For contacting an entire fleet of lorrymen, for example. This is all shortwave, UW and UKV. Looks like we are dealing with an impressive organizational tool. The nerve center of a huge operation. With quite a range, too. With cool names, like La Puta Madre and Aura Masta. It's a dark parody. This is the one our man pointed to. This must be the one he told us about. Unless he was lying. Let's get the pry bar from my kinema and smash in the window. I don't know how good it is, but this investigation has taken long enough. We can't afford it to take any longer. No, it's not shatterproof. Give me that. This has been hard enough. No need to make it any harder. Mm-hmm. It went better than I expected. Open it from the inside. Bonne prise. Looks like her, yes. At least we can now ask Titus some concrete questions about it. Funny, isn't it? Oh, I didn't mean that. It's just ironic that you are using the lady driver's radio to contact the very authorities you are so keen to evade. The lady driver used this same radio to evade coalition authorities, and now you are using it to contact them directly. It's just ironic, that's all. It's not really a joke per se, just ironic that you are using the lady driver's radio to contact the very authorities she was so keen to evade. Sato. You've surprised me more than once during the course of our investigation. But I have to say, it still seems like a remote scenario. To be perfectly frank, I have my reservations about this whole antenna scheme. But who knows? We may yet be surprised. I wouldn't like to guess. Your performance so far doesn't exactly inspire confidence. But all sorts of things are possible. I'm more interested in why you're so fixated on this idea in the first place. You could reach the coalition and have your talk about la responsabilité. I could grow 10 centimeters and become a flanker for the Stormers. Who's to say what's possible and what's not? But here's the thing, detective. We're the proper channels. Doing our work right here on the ground is how we'll solve this case. There's no need to bring the coalition into this. Let me make a prediction now, detective. You are not going to see the inside of a coalition warship anytime soon. I certainly understand the impulse, but this is our job, detective. Our whole raison d'être. At some point, we'll need to return to it. But now you've got what you came for. So I suppose we'll have to see this business through. And Esteras is certainly nothing to sniff at. But if you compare the feature sets, I would say they are more or less equivalent. I've no reason to be jealous, detective. Yes, another draw. It appears we're quite equally matched. So it would appear. It should. Assuming we can find a way to replace the frequency dial. The Ulan frequency system? I've never heard of that before. I know of FM, AM, UKV, but... Strange. There are so many radio stations saved here. Must be over 100 at least. No, that's on 78.9. Uh, <coughs> uh, doesn't look like it. It's completely inoperable without the dial key. I don't think anything. I'm just asking questions. You managed to get a quite a fortune, kicked off by underpaying a young artist. Tax? What tax? We're in Ravachal. Ah, yes. Spoken like a true philanthropist. Ah, yes. Spoken like a true businessman. Doesn't feel right to party now, does it? Are you at least happy with it? You managed to get a quite a fortune, kicked off by underpaying a young artist. I don't think we have time for that. And even if we did, I doubt he's around anymore. Everyone's left. Sure. Whenever you're ready. And was it all worth it? I don't think anything. I'm just asking questions. <clears throat> all right. Shall we? We still have some things left to do before we can go home. Who? One more question, if you don't mind. Was it all worth it? Detective, I have a few questions, if you don't mind. Ah, yes. Spoken like a true businessman. Ah, yes. Spoken like a true philanthropist. Tax? What tax? We're in Revachol. Never mind. Another question. Was it all worth it? But was it all worth it? Everything that came before. Cindy, the stocks, even the street lamp. But was it all worth it? Everything that came before. Cindy, the stocks, the thing with idiot doom spiral. About this, uh, pursuit of wealth, pursuit of recognition. Okay, why did you do it? Hard to disagree with the sentiment, considering what we just survived. A fitting testament to the lives lost. You managed to get a quite a fortune, kicked off by underpaying a young artist. I don't think we have time for that. And even if we did, I doubt he's around anymore. Everyone's left. Sure, whenever you're ready. And was it all worth it? I don't think anything. I'm just asking questions. <clears throat> 
All right, shall we? We still have some things left to do before we can go home. Who? One more question, if you don't mind. Was it all worth it? Detective, I have a few questions, if you don't mind. And was it all worth it? Ah, yes. Spoken like a true businessman. Ah, yes. Spoken like a true philanthropist. Tax? What tax? We're in Ravachol. Never mind. Another question. Was it all worth it? But was it all worth it? Everything that came before. Cindy, the stocks, even the street lamp. But was it all worth it? Everything that came before. Cindy, the stocks, the thing with idiot doom spiral. About this pursuit of wealth, pursuit of recognition. Okay, why did you do it? Is this a parody? It's not bad. We are lucky to be able to enjoy this. Detective, I have a few questions, if you don't mind. One more question, if you don't mind. Was it all worth it? You managed to get a quite a fortune. Kicked off by underpaying a young artist. Never mind. Another question. Was it all worth it? I don't think we have time for that. And even if we did, I doubt he's around anymore. Everyone's left. Sure. Whenever you're ready. And was it all worth it? I don't think anything. I'm just asking questions. <clears throat> all right, shall we? We still have some things left to do before we can go home. Who? One more question, if you don't mind. Was it all worth it? Detective, I have a few questions, if you don't mind. Ah, yes. Spoken like a true businessman. Ah, yes. Spoken like a true philanthropist. Tax? What tax? We're in Ravachol. Never mind. Uh, another question. Was it all worth it? About this pursuit of wealth, pursuit of recognition. But was it all worth it? Everything that came before. Cindy, the stocks, even the street lamp. But was it all worth it? Everything that came before. Cindy, the stocks, the thing with idiot doom spiral. About this pursuit of wealth, pursuit of recognition. Okay, why did you do it? Am I not seeing something here? There's not much to it. <clears throat> Detective, I have a few questions, if you don't mind. About this pursuit of wealth, pursuit of recognition. Okay, why did you do it? Okay, why did you do it? Who? I don't think anything. I'm just asking questions. But was it all worth it? Everything that came before. Cindy, the stocks, even the street lamp. But was it all worth it? Everything that came before. Cindy, the stocks, the thing with idiot doom spiral. But was it all worth it? Everything that came before. Cindy, the stocks, even the street lamp. But was it all worth it? Everything that came before. Cindy, the stocks, the thing with idiot doom spiral. I don't think we have time for that. And even if we did, I doubt he's around anymore. Everyone's left. Sure. Whenever you're ready, you manage to get a quite a fortune. Kicked off by underpaying a young artist. Tax? What tax? We're in Ravachol. Ah, yes. Spoken like a true philanthropist. Ah, yes. Spoken like a true businessman. Never mind. Another question. Was it all worth it? One more question, if you don't mind. Was it all worth it? All right, shall we? We still have some things left to do before we can go home. And was it all worth it? Sure. Whenever you're ready. I don't think we have time for that. And even if we did, I doubt he's around anymore. Everyone's left. All right, shall we? We still have some things left to do before we can go home. Who? She's just a distracted old woman. Better to leave her alone. Wait, if you want her attention, you may need to be more forceful. She's just a distracted old woman. We should maybe let her get back to her things. Why? I just told you why. I think we're done here, no? Nothing. I just don't think she's connected to anything. I could have told you that from just looking at them. Her size is 37. Ma'am, you're not responsible for what a client puts in your lorry, as long as the seals are not opened. We officers know that. Great. He asked the pines rep about the pill. Fine. Just try not to black out again. And don't contemplate. We don't have time for that. Fine, then. Just try not to black out again. And don't contemplate. We don't have time for that. That is exactly what I didn't want you to think. <sighs> Ma'am, my partner wanted to know if you work in pale transport. Exactly what I didn't want you to do. <sighs> Ma'am, my partner wanted to know if you work in pale transport. That is exactly what I didn't want you to do. <sighs> Ma'am, my partner wanted to know if you work in pale transport. You've fried both your brains enough for today, detective. Let's get some air. This one's far gone. Great. He asked the Pines rep about the pail, and now he's talking to everyone about it. We're still on this ridiculous side task, I see. 
Ma'am, my partner wanted to know if you work in pale transport. You've fried both your brains enough for today, detective. Now, I'd like to have a word with you about this side task of yours. You've been saying that for a while, and yet, we only seem to be getting further from our actual goal. No, you see, we've already spent too much time on this nonsensical side errand. There's no magical fascist who's going to unwind time for you. Because the problem isn't time, it's you, detective. If you are serious about this, really truly serious, then I suggest you take a long, hard look in the mirror and ask yourself what's really going on. Now come on, let's leave this one to her reveries. Just a moment, detective. Before we go, I'd like a word with you about this side task of yours. I don't understand why you are so set on what seems like a personal side task. But if you must, then let's get it over with. Great. He's figured out the pill and now he's talking to everyone about it. You haven't? Why are you bringing up pill then? As elegant as they are, I don't think they are relevant to the drug trade. I'm especially intrigued by that radio transmitter, particularly the sheer number of stations it can connect. Looks like this alleged drug trade casts a wide net. Honestly, I'm quite worried by what we've seen so far. The evidence seems to point to a rather extensive and well-organized operation. We didn't find anything conclusive linking them to the smuggling operation. But somehow, I doubt that Evrard Claire would be oblivious to something like this happening right under his nose. Like Joyce told us, yes, logistically. But don't expect to bust this open during our stay here. At best, this is an angle we can use against them, to other ends, as extra ammunition. And last but not least, it looks like the Hardy Boys knew this driver, as we know that she was present at the lynching. This may be the Union connection we've been searching for. Perhaps you're right. This is one connection I find a little dubious, to be honest. I prefer not to profile people's emotions. Perhaps it's because I'm not very good at it. But still, debrief over, after you. Yes, well, I'm going to say no. I'm not sure what the ULAN frequencies are all about, but they may hold some significance. Perhaps it's a better way to connect between fleets while avoiding frequency bleed, or maybe it's used to tap into RCM networks. We should return to the murder case, see what Joyce tells us about the lynching. When we are done for the day, I call my station and suggest our narcotics department look into it. There are more than enough grounds to start an official investigation, sometime later when we are done here. We do not want to get caught in that. The fact that one hasn't started already gives me pause. An investigation, I mean. Especially if the Madre grouping is involved, and I can't imagine there aren't. It's certainly worrisome. All the same, I don't like the idea of internal affairs descending on the matter. That won't help anyone either. Oh, and the maps we found. They reveal the geographical extent of the operation. Looks like they've used abandoned tunnels and access roads to stay hidden. This is useful info. And last but not least, it's Ruby's cabin we found. This is an undeniable connection to the Union. One way or another, they seem to be. Logistically, if nothing else. But don't expect to bust this open during our stay here. At best, this is an angle we can use against them, to other ends, as extra ammunition. My suggestion is, we use it against the Union in any way we can, to our own ends. It's a slippery hill, but we just might be able to pin them down, indirectly, down the road. Likely, yes. This guy's proud of who he is, drapes it all over his machine. Racist nationalist paraphernalia. Not unusual in this part of town. This is our guy. Racist nationalist paraphernalia. Not unusual in this part of town. He means the people living in Grad. Do continue, sir. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. Yes, yes. Where is he? Then I presume you are familiar with his peonies. Not just the unions. He has peonies everywhere. Some say he even has them in the RCM. Dirty fucking peonies who do anything for him. Multi-ethnic drug addicts. No, of course not. We are not peonies. But if we were, and one of Madre's drivers were to be stealing from him, then it's a good peonies job to find out who that is. You've seen that corpse in the ceramic armor there. Did his shitty little guild protect him? You really got him there, detective. How do you want to proceed? We'll just have to ask someone else about the lady driver. Let's go. No. He means la puta madre. Okay, that's enough, detective. That's enough. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCM. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise you to remember that. Don't you welcome to revachol me.
My grandfather came here from a 3,000-year-old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Every school of thought and government has failed in the city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. You've seen the corpse in the yard, yes? You took a peek. I know you did. Does it look like his friends protected him? Let's just go and ask Tommy, all right? We are wasting our time here. So you're telling us that you don't know anything about drug smuggling through Terminal B? I wouldn't be so sure about it. Not until we've heard what Si Lang himself has to say. I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here? That I should watch myself and behave? Technically... You're stomping on Ravachol every step you take. When did she go away? A small temple by the monument. Green. Let's get into that lorry. You mean la puta madre? It's not a hard job. It won't take a long time. It won't make padre madre angry. But a stupid fucking racist is standing in the way, protecting this fucking thief. It's men like you who keep Ravachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. The RCM is a self-managing organization that operates on donations. We promote our own leaders. It would be like striking against your own mother. Okay, but do continue. You were asking about the strike? Everyone understands you are the low. That's why you have that insignia on your arm. So you don't have to keep seeing it. Entrapment is where a low officer gets a person to commit a criminal offense they otherwise wouldn't commit, often through some trickery or fraud. We have a credible lead, sir. Someone on this roundabout is waiting for a bell shipment from the harbor to load it on their lorry and drive it to Jamrock. I don't think you understand how that joke goes, but do continue. You were asking about the strike? Yes, but do continue. You were asking about the strike? In the name of God, what are you doing? Yes, and I also thank you for stopping. We have a drug investigation to return to. How about we do that? Yes, and I also thank you. For stopping. We have a murder investigation to return to. How about we do that? What color hair? We can't just let it go. It's part of a police investigation. She shared this with you? Did this violent life include drug trafficking? When did she leave? The other drivers would have to tow it or break in to get the machines moving. Thank you for your cooperation, sir. I know it was hard, but you did the right thing. It won't come to that. We won't pursue her on this. This is information only. I really do. If I didn't, I wouldn't be in the RCM. Take care, sir. What else do you know about her? What else do you know about her? All right. That's enough sharing details about the investigation for one day. All right. That's enough sharing details. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, yes. From the Wild Pines. We'll meet her soon enough, I'm sure. Yes. People get that you are the law. You really don't have to keep saying it. Whatever's going on there could hardly be of any consequence to our ongoing investigation. You can come back to it on your own when we are done with this case. Not as a general rule, but that one was justified. Better to get the lay of the land before telling people to fuck off. You may be right. Let's keep our eyes open. You may be right. Let's see what he's got to say. Yes, absolutely. But let's keep our eyes open, nevertheless. Yes, absolutely. But I suggest we keep our eyes open around that street hawker we met before. Yes, Humanox is a well-known humanitarian aid organization. It must be the street hawker's truck. Good to know that we were right. Would have sucked to rip a man off for no reason at all. Did you see that? The seals on the humanitarian aid lorry have been broken off. Officer, what are you doing? Estash Raiko KK2. That's a classic model. Never thought I'd see another one repainted after what happened last time. You sure you're not Jimsk? An old case for my precinct. A couple of Jimsk migrants saw a stage Raiko stopped in the street, painted just like this, muddy brown. Murdered the driver on the spot. They said it was an honor killing, Hussar style. The Jimsk community protested the trial, flying the banners of some old king or whatever. Five thousand came to protest. Is that so, officer? I'll take you at your word. Could it be another Stajraiko murder? Honestly, that just doesn't seem like the type of vehicle our dead guy would drive. So my initial guess is the two are not related. Four years for murder in reunion. People we are paid to protect. Let's leave it at that. Yes, detective? Okay. I'm not going to honor kill anyone over this. But I've seen it blue and white. It's much better that way. The perps were remorseful. 
They're sorry, knocked eight years off the sentence. That's the system. That's, well, yes, exactly it, more or less. Except it was a crowd of them. Tore him out of the vehicle and ran him over with his own tires. They said it was an honor killing, Rousseur style. The gym's community protested the trial, flying the colors. 5,000 came to protest. I tried to avoid drawing far-gone conclusions like this before actually examining the body. But my initial guess is the two are unrelated. Could it be another Stagerico murder? You really should ask me to brief you on the case. But right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and guess the two aren't related. We are not the fashion police. We're the real police. Businesses often hire private security this side of the river. It's an unfortunate state of affairs, but not unheard of. Excuse us. My partner here, of course, knows that net worth is not legal tender. No need to worry. It's just standard procedure for us to ask around. If you hear anything, let us know, okay? Now that I'm looking at it, maybe a glass door fridge in a public grocery store isn't the best option for storing a corpse. Really? A plastic poncho? Ah, oh, of course not. Frit is an establishment that acts within the law. Is that all, detective? What's the tape for? How? It's broken and unspooled. Do you think your new buddy knows how to fix it? You could also get it fixed at the pawn shop across the street. We shouldn't waste our time. All right. You could also get it fixed at the pawn shop across the street. We shouldn't waste our time. You know, since tape spinning isn't really our day job, solving murder investigations is. This is part of your church thing, isn't it? Of course it is. It's too broken to play, you understand, right? It's not like Egghead and his friends know how to fix it. Smooth move, operator. We done here. Had enough, assaulting Madre Natura? We should get moving. You put your hand on a tree with sharp thorns. What did you think was going to happen? Yes, one day grass will grow over our cities and so on. Very poetic. Better not to dwell on it. What with murder to solve and all. Maybe we should get back to the case. We should probably go tell Lina. Take a load off her mind. Why not? Clearly. Yes. Dwelling on it longer only makes it worse. Mm-hmm. All right, we can go to the coast now. Expect rugged terrain and drunks. Looks like it, yes. We should probably go tell Lina. Take a lot of her mind. Okay, if we ever need to get to the coast, then this is the way. But please, contain your wanderlust for now. I don't want us to get sidetracked, not with everything that's going on. Good. It's late. We should get some rest. There's nothing to wait for. We should get some rest. It's been a long day. There, we waited. Nothing happened. Happy now? I know myths and legends are enticing, but in the end they're just stories for children, to teach them lessons or to frighten them. Let's go. It's very late. We should be resting already. Tomorrow will be another tough day. Yes, it would have been very cool. Now let's get some rest. A foolish hope. But it's okay, I get it. It would have been cool. Now let's get some rest. Good. It's already late, we need to get some rest. Tomorrow will be another tough day. Please tell me we are not here to look for a headless man in a tracksuit riding a horse. Because there's no such thing. No one's actually seen the headless phone rider because he doesn't exist. He's an urban legend. A legend, meaning a story that's not real. We've been running around together doing all the things for days. I've seen how your mind operates. This is just the sort of thing it would latch onto. I suppose that narrows it down somewhat. Fortunately, we are not traffic cops. Should we get back to the murder? We are not traffic cops. Should we get back to the murder? Yes, yes, that could very well have been it. Now let's move on. We are not traffic cops. In conclusion, it's a colorful theory, but I don't believe Jacob Irv did this. Should we go? Jumping canals at night? If I was Jacob Irv, I wouldn't drive in Martinez. The roads are awful. <sighs> if we must. I suppose it's not really our job to figure that out. That's quite likely, from what I can tell. What kind of car do you think it was? The tip-top tourney champion? You're right. Let's get back to the murder investigation. The traffic hooliganism? I hope not. Fortunately, we are not traffic cops. Should we get back to the murder? We are not traffic cops. Should we get back to the murder? Oh, hey, before we talk to the owner, not top of the line glass. Hope he never has to rely on it. It's the man from Hyandal. That's dirt cheap. Hyandal isn't a real place. Okay. 
that sure narrows down our list of suspects. Do you think it may have been Jacob Irv who drove over your roof? Thank you. Here's the 30 real you need for your bill. Do not waste it. Here's the 60 real you need for your bill. Do not waste it. Here's the 70 real you need for your bill. Do not waste it. Here's the 100 real you need for your bill. Do not waste it. Here's the 130 real you need for your bill. Do not waste it. No one was defrauded or jumped, I assure you. Put the flashlight away, officer. Having it is a privilege, not a right. So you don't know what kind of arrangements he was talking about? Who are your customers usually? Do we really have time for this? Please. No more experimental listening while we're on this case. Maybe Claire really is tracking down your gun. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, it's not good. I do hope we manage to clean this mess up somehow, while also keeping our focus on the murder investigation. Yes, we'd like to sell these hubcaps. A genuine crystal sprach. This is a connoisseur's model. Good for picking up foreign milieus. Not a dull detective. A crystal sprach is a fine piece of equipment, but I'm quite satisfied with my Dana Wave. Of course, you need a certain level of discernment to really appreciate the difference in quality. Right, so let me get this right. You sold your sidearm, issued by the citizen's militia, and now a civilian is running around the streets of Martinez with it? I wouldn't like to guess. Your performance so far doesn't exactly inspire confidence, but all sorts of things are possible. You could reach the coalition and have your talk about la responsabilité. I could grow 10 centimeters and become a flanker for the stormers. Who's to say what's possible and what's not? You've surprised me more than once during the course of our investigation. But I have to say, it still seems like a remote scenario. To be perfectly frank, I have my reservations about this whole antenna scheme. But who knows? We may yet be surprised. I'm more interested in why you're so fixated on this idea in the first place. But here's the thing, detective. We are the proper channels. Doing our work right here on the ground is how we'll solve this case. Not by passing off the work to some committee in the Bank of the World building. Let me make a prediction now, detective. You are not going to see the inside of a coalition warship anytime soon. I certainly understand the impulse, but this is our job, detective. Our whole raison d'être. You can't avoid it forever. But now you've got what you came for. So I suppose we'll have to see this business through. In that case, she'll be happy to get a visit from us. If we can find her. It's possible in these parts of town. We ought to find her and discourage her from taking justice into her own hands. You're right that she could cast aspersions on the force. We have to find her. We are not here to investigate the theft of city property. You have to admit it's rather clever what he's done with it. A wise investment, I agree. The best part is that you can't carry it around. I would really dislike it if you could. Theoretically, yes. But we don't have time right now. It's generally murder investigation first, then beach party. I don't think the door gunner megamix will be good party material. Something about the name. That is the unofficial RCA motto, yes. I've heard about it. I've heard the headless phone rider rides a headless bull. Franco-Nigerian knight. I used to be very serious about these guys. Mm -hmm. I used to be very serious about my Franco-Nigerian knight. This is what the loyalists looked like, yes, at first. Then they wised up and got camouflage. It would help our investigation if you weren't so hard up for cash. It would help our investigation if you weren't so hard up for cash. It won't help our investigation to antagonize people we could interview, perhaps. But it's no use punishing yourself more. An officer of the citizen's militia can't live like that. We won't be able to complete this investigation if you live like that. It's not my intention to make it my business, just to move this investigation forward. Sure. But one's financial situation could always be even better, right? I'm pretty sure you can pick up some odds and ends to sell here. Take a look around. The owner has eclectic taste. Sure, why not? I wouldn't go that far, but why not? I'm pretty sure you can pick up some odds and ends to sell here. The owner seems to have eclectic taste. On the contrary, we should do our part to support the local economy. We can't go around punishing the people we're supposed to protect for breaking laws they don't even know exist. Go ahead. Do your part to support this grassroots initiative. Detective, you're the one in charge. You're not thinking of trying again, are you? Are you all right? This looked pretty intense and painful, I must admit. <coughs> do we really need to do this? I think not. Something the matter, detective? I would certainly say she fits that description, providing that's your type. I see. Quick, she's turning around. What do you see? No, 
What do you really see? Ah, oh, you're hopeless. Quick, she's turning around. Spooky. Quick, she's turning around. To the cellar? Quick, she's turning around. The entire series is also endearingly racist, if I may add. <coughs> Perhaps not. It's against RCM policy to defraud small business owners. Map of Martinez. This could work, maybe. That's right. When not spying on the love affairs of the ultra-rich, we solve unusual mysteries by the lorry load. Our sincere apologies, ma'am. No more nonsense. We are offering to assist you with your troubles. Pro bono. Come on, ma'am. It's obvious she can't do anything about it. You are placing an unnecessary burden on a young child. Yes, we've had quite enough fun here. Right. Oh, uh... Certainly so, ma'am. I can assure you my partner is eminent in this particular field. We wouldn't want that. Yes, what Martinez really needs is more vigilantes roaming the streets. I can assure you he is a, a police officer. Very knowledgeable. And I am his private partner. John. Shaw. Together we run the preeminent spousal surveillance firm in Revachol. Well, this has been absolutely educational. If we happen on the third presence in our travels, we will certainly come back to tell you. Should we get out of here? Before the vortex collapses? I am sorry we had to disappoint you, ma'am. Can we go now? All right, then. All's well that ends well. Should we return to our ordinary lives? Once we've caught our client's spouse in flagrante delicto, we blackmail them and pocket the money ourselves, because that's what private investigators do. Now, I see that you are a married woman. If you are really interested in cracking this mystery, then we should go back to the furnace. Maybe you could yell into it or something. Make some noise? You'll think of something. You always do. Ma'am, what he's saying is true. We found an anthroponetic anomaly in the small Pinewood church down the coast. I don't mean to be an alarmist, and more research is needed. But it's not looking good. <clears throat> Let's not. Defrauding small business owners is not our thing. He's actually not wanted for murder. We just want to talk with him. We saw unpaid utility bills. Aren't they going to be evicted? Thank you. We should go check out his apartment on the balcony. See if he's home. I thought it was obvious. Anyway, officer, we don't have the witness's name. Oh, I'm fine. I was practically born to infiltrate underground communist cells. Something's not right here. The equation doesn't quite balance. Well, detective, it seems we've located your underground cell, which is just to say we should be prepared for any eventuality. Let's go, detective. We'll get nowhere standing around in the rain. Let's go, detective. We'll get nowhere standing around here in the dark. Let's go, detective. We'll get nowhere standing around in the snow. Charmant. After you, detective. I know there's no stopping you, but let's at least make this quick. And the place comes with three months' worth of utility bills. We've no business here. Let's get back to the investigation. Trouble with the chain, officer? Well, no, I guess not. Of course, officer. My RCM regulation. Recently distributed cutters are the problem. Supreme titanium? Sure. A door inside this complex has super hard, super expensive chains. Mm -hmm. This man won't be feeding his family anytime soon. Not that he was, but... At least he won't be beating his son. I'm afraid it is. Look. It moves. We could take him to Remedy or saint Baptiste, but he doesn't have money for medical services. The arms house would turn him down. They don't do charity for people who are trying to kill themselves. Besides, he'll be dead in a few. Well, judging by the color of his hair, I would say yes, it is. No, it really doesn't. This looks very hard to recover from. I think he's still quite bad. I mean, what he has come to. Look, he's trying to communicate. Can't you tell? It happens to exceptionally committed substance abusers. They fall asleep with their eyelids still open. Not a pretty sight. At least he got to say his piece. What is there to do? We could turn him on his side so he doesn't choke on his own vomit. But he's already on his side. Are you saying a man who looks like Kuno broke into his father's apartment and passed out in his father's bed? Let's go. We don't have a reason to get inside that apartment. That was smart. I think you have misunderstood who he was. But... If you say so. There aren't many communists around. Not after the revolution. Some youth still keep the ideology going, it seems. He's known as the father of scientific communism, also known as Masovianism. 
His theories about economic history greatly influenced, some would even say sparked, the anti-centennial revolution. Whoever lives here definitely shares your enthusiasm. I suspect that's exactly what they are trying to do. He was definitely controversial. The tenant here seems to like him. Thank you for sharing this wonderful opinion on human sexuality. Hold on a second. Is this why you broke in here? To find out whether you're Krasmazov? Sure it is. Well, you both do seem to share an affinity for sideburns. But it seems like old Kras here didn't drink nearly as much as you. Except that Krasmazov is dead. He's been dead for 50 years now. Sure you are. Ah, <sighs> very well. Let's look for identifying features then. Doesn't he have a birthmark right here? What about you? Then it's settled. You are not Krasmazov. All right. But here's the big thing. Krasmazov looks Samaran, and you don't. Okay, you win. Be Krasmazov then. I don't care. Why are you so hell-bent on proving that you're Krasmazov anyway? Yes, he does. Look at his eyes. Wasn't his mother a Samaran immigrant? Good, so you're not him. It's decided. You are not the most famous philosopher of the modern period. All right, Kras, if you say so. All right, Kras, you fought in the revolution and everything, if you say so. The white star, the photos on the wall. I think we have broken into the apartment of a young communard. How fitting. You do, but that's not the point. The point is, he doesn't look like you. You seem committed to it, so go on. After you, detective. I believe it's the shackle you mean to cut, detective. Perhaps you should give it another go. Why would we want to break into some random citizen's apartment? I suppose if one were committed to it, there's a pair of chain cutters in the kinema. Let's go. There's nothing to do here for us anymore. Looks like the young man we are looking for isn't home. I think our best chance to catch him is in the evening. Tomorrow, 9 p.m., right here. Apartment number 28. Good, let's go. The smoker on the balcony. This is why we are here, right? He might know something about the murder. So tomorrow 9 p.m.? It's all right. We don't have to be here 9 p.m. sharp. I just need to write something down in my notebook. Looks like the young man we are looking for isn't home. I think our best chance to catch him is in the evening. We should return tomorrow after we have finished with our day's work. How about 9 p.m.? Sound good? Tomorrow evening, right here. Apartment number 28. Good, let's go. We should return tonight after we have finished with our day's work. How about 9 p.m.? Sound good? We should talk to him. We should return tomorrow. Tomorrow at 9 p.m. We should return in the evening. At 9 p.m. the earliest. The smoker on the balcony. This is why we are here, right? He might know something about the murder. So, tonight at 9 p.m.? Tonight, right here. Apartment number 28. Good, let's go. It's all right. We don't have to be here 9 p.m. sharp. I just need to write something down in my notebook. Tonight at 9 p.m., right here. Apartment number 28. Good. Let's go. Let's see if anyone's home. Knock on the door. Let's go. There's nothing to do here for us anymore. Different, of course. Right after you. His shirt. His shirt. You like talking to him. It made you feel special. Come on, detective. Let's go. We've got a potential witness to interview. His Sunday friend, remember? Something so mysterious about the way he talks. He smells good. Very. He smells good, and that's weird. Who knows, detective? It's a mystery. His shirt. No, I don't know why his shirt is always unbuttoned. Wait. Suddenly you are digging things? Ah, we are replaying this little episode. Please do try to stay on your feet this time. This has certainly turned out to be a punchier case than I had anticipated. Ah, so we are beating another youth only tangentially connected to the case. Spectacular. Easy, detective. No need to treat this kid like he's some son of Measurehead. Ah, so we are beating the youth now. That's an unexpected development. Speaking as an officer of the RCM, it is an extremely bad idea to strike a civilian without cause. Speaking frankly, it's a terrible idea. The RCM already has issues with wanton brutality, and this is unlikely to ameliorate those concerns. However, if one were to strike a civilian, which again, I would never recommend, one should at least follow the RCM manual's guidance on non-lethal strikes. It advises officers in physical altercations to rely on the open palm strike, as opposed to the backhand, in non-lethal situations. You see, 
That attitude is precisely why the field manual's guidance is so valuable. I can't recall the exact explanation, but it has something to do with the kinetic energy stored in the elbow. Basically, you are less able to control a backhanded slap, and therefore more likely to cause serious injury. Or even death, if, say, you happen to be wearing a set of armored ceramic gauntlets. At the same time, this is emphatically your thing, so do as you will. There's no what if, because I won't. This is your thing. Remember? Not the best look for the RCM. But I suppose it could have gone worse. Good God, detective, what's wrong with you? Thank God we avoided that fiasco at least. Again, he was just a regular high net worth individual. There was nothing extra physical about him. Yes, only the detective here would draw a connection between a made up division of parapsychics and the adult ramblings of a defunct communist mage. No, detective. The only reading I've been doing is right here. Detective. How should I know what questions you have about communism? I have not had time to seek out pretentious communist book clubs, nor have I done their reading. I had no idea its origins went all the way back to the revolution itself. But it makes sense, in a way. Repressed sexualities are something of an idée fixe of his. You know what? I'll sit this one out. I don't think you want my skeptical materialism interfering. What are you talking about, detective? You can't give up now. Yes, the problem is almost certainly your lack of commitment and not, say, gravity. This is impossible, right? There's no way it's really staying up like that. That doesn't sound so bad. In any case, it's healthier than certain other after-hours pursuits I've seen officers engage in. No doubt. Well, I think we're probably finished here, detective. They are not primary school delinquents. They are university students. Attendance isn't compulsory. Besides, we are not the skip squad. To be clear, communism is not an official suspect in this investigation, because it's not a person, you see. Kim and I. Wow, a real intellectual, it sounds like. Hmm, what is it they say about ties? Uh, that they're like kissing your sister, or in this case, I suppose, your partner? He's only saying that because he got the better of me, somehow. He's only saying that because he likes getting thrashed like a schoolboy. Yes, and it only took about four hours of our lives that we'll never get back. <sighs> Something tells me these young men are not very experienced with law enforcement. Yes, I'm rather curious myself. My partner, of course, is acting in a strictly personal capacity, not as an official representative of the RCM. The work he did on the autopsy was quite good, I can confirm. Not pretty. Eventually, the force of gravity would have caused the rest of the body to separate from the head. There would have been very little for us to work with. In all fairness, the whole situation is rather complicated. A great question. Either that or an extremely convincing act. Perhaps. But it's a fantasy that pays for things. Like your hostel bill. Good God. Have we really been talking about unpeeling time for a quarter hour? Everything in order, detective? That's a yes, I take it. Can you give me an affirmative? As in, no, everything is not in order? Can you give me a negative, detective? It seems he's lost his words. A case of momentary aphasia, it looks like. In any case, a change of subject might help. These things happen with him sometimes. I recommend a change of subject. Basically, it makes sure the price of bread doesn't change. No, that's not his... <sighs> Martin Martinez is a joke. A generic nickname for someone from Martinez. What do you mean, like in a play? There is no meaning, sir. Please excuse my colleague. This case has been a great strain on his nerves. Sounds like the victim was unconscious, or at least incapacitated. Well done, detective. Were you able to see anything from inside? Hmm. But we are fairly certain the lady driver was present. About what time was all this happening, approximately? It seems this wasn't the break you were hoping for. I think we have everything we need. Thank you for talking to us, Mr. Villaudroin. Hmm? Me? I, uh, I'm a lieutenant of the RCM. Dedicated to maintaining law and order in Ravachol. <clears throat> of course, the detective's personal views do not represent the views of the RCM. <sighs> A dead body we still need to get down, by the way. Good God, detective. One more stunt like that and they'll have you institutionalized. Now let's go, before you get us into any more trouble. Hmm. The novelty dice maker also mentioned that she didn't hear any signs of a struggle. A bunch of what, detective? A moment, if you don't mind, sir. You do realize what you're doing, don't you? Very real trouble. I won't tell you how to do your job, but remember, this is an RCM matter. Make sure you weigh your next words carefully. 
What the detective means is that he's proud to serve the RCM. It's certainly serious, sir. But there's also the question of jurisdiction. The Wayfarer Act places certain strictures on what matters the RCM may involve itself in. I suspect he doesn't know the half of it. You're right, sir. I'll be sure to give the detective an overview of proper police procedure. Sounds like the victim was unconscious, or at least incapacitated. Interesting. Doing one's job doesn't automatically make one anyone's bitch. Besides, there are more nefarious powers to work for than the moral intern. There are more nefarious powers to work for than the moral intern. Easy, detective. No need to jump to conclusions. I think we can drop the drummer angle. That was my bad. That lines up with previous testimony, doesn't it? Well done, detective. Yes, I was wondering the same thing. Ah, good. Take note, inquirers. Just what this side task was missing. Hmm. Perhaps your young friends in the tent might be of assistance? Hmm. Sounds like something that programmer we met in the church might be able to help with. We have our first preliminary identification. In all likelihood, the deceased is the husband of Billy Méjean. We need to confirm this, as well as deliver the death notification to Billy herself. Chances are that whoever is going to greet us behind that door is somehow related to the deceased. This means that our job here is to deliver the death notification, as well as identify the body. Now, delivering a death notification is never an easy task. There's a reason why it's often called the most stressful part of our job. This is why it's usually done in pairs. You got this. I'll be monitoring reactions, ready to act if necessary. You're right. Let's talk this through. Yes, it's hard. But there is no easy way to handle this information. It just has to happen. As soon as possible. Dead? Just don't say that you know how they feel. You don't. We can't. Someone has to deliver the news. Let's go. It's too late. I think everyone's already asleep. We should try again tomorrow. I understand that this comes as a huge shock. I want you to know that me and my partner are here for you if you have any questions. We are very sorry for your loss, ma'am. Is there anyone we could call for you? A friend, a family member, someone who could be here for you? He was taken to the city morgue. The local coroner will be contacting you shortly to arrange the funeral. Here's his number, in case you want to contact him earlier. Is there anything else that the RCM could do for you? It looks like he slipped on the boardwalk, fatally, I'm afraid. It was just a very unfortunate accident, although... Alcohol may have played a role. Apologies, uh, my partner did not mean to make light of the situation. Again, if there's anything we could do for you, then don't hesitate to call the RCM, ma'am. We understand this comes as a huge shock. I want you to know that me and my partner are here for you if you have any questions. Take your time, ma'am. Here. Is there anyone we could call for you? A friend, a family member, someone who could be here for you? We've taken him to the city morgue. The local coroner will be contacting you shortly to arrange the funeral. Here's his number in case you want to contact him earlier. Is there anything else that the RCM could do for you? We should step outside and talk. No, we have. Central Jamrock Public Library? We are very sorry to inform you, but your husband, Victor Méjean, was found dead this morning on the Martinez boardwalk. Officer, officer. We are very sorry to inform you, but your husband, Victor Mijon, was found dead this morning on the Martinez boardwalk. Good. Confiscate it. I'll keep my armistice handy, detective. Hmm. Maybe we should. If I were to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. Why don't we go pester some other kids now? He means the bookstore. We have to ask... Plaisance is the mother of the little girl peddling books on the plaza. We have to ask Plaisance in the store. Uh, it's not that dramatic. We can just send the body to processing. He means the bookstore. We have to ask the proprietor of the bookstore. Huh? I have no idea what you just said. What? What the hell are you signing us up for here? Another sane decision, detective. Okay, then. Did you know I don't like bad addict cops? Almost no one in the RCM does. Cool. No, no, really. Rock and roll. No. What we need is to get back to work. He doesn't know anything. You put him up to this yourself when you decided to talk to him in the first place. Officer, you need to calm down. Get a hold of yourself. I told you not to tempt such forces. You lost control. 
You need to get yourself together. Now, officer, you did this. Get yourself together. Officer, this is very far from normal police conduct. Get yourself together. You are, officer. Get yourself together. Now, officer, you need to get up. This is turning into a farce. Now, how about we go and do something worth the public's time? No, you're not. We can just leave. Hmm. Alcohol use has been declining in the under-16 bracket this past decade. You don't need to. He doesn't know anything. What are you doing? No, you don't. No one is checking out anything. Put that away. Please don't waste time on nonsense. No, you really, really don't. That is a 12-year-old boy. His opinion of you doesn't matter. You're totally unraveling, officer. Uh, okay. I might understand if you told me, but sure. Let's not waste any more time here. But, but why? You're turning this into a huge thing. Put it away. The information here isn't worth it. Uh, okay. If you absolutely need to. But right now, let's move out. Are you crazy? Okay, let's go. Put that away. Right now. Not all of us. Act like that stick with you for a while. Just take it easy. Why would you say that? Let's go, officer. I've had enough of this. Hmm. We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. You will see. Come. We need to go now. Understood. Anything else? Okay. How do you know? That's okay. Go on. Mm-hmm. Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at the harbor. Or maybe a drummer? A drummer only uses their right foot for the kick drum. You're right, it's stupid. So maybe one of them wasn't a dock worker, but a driver. That traffic jam in front of the harbor gates. I wonder if it's lasted as long as the strike. No, it's not. Forget I said it. We are not looking for a drummer. I don't know why I said that. We are not looking for a drummer. We are looking for a group of dock workers. Yes, a drummer. Um, I don't know about a drummer. Seems tangential. However, yes, you are, after all, the law. We are the law of the land. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? The case is not solved. However, wide open. The expression is blue the shit wide open. Mm -hmm. Yes, it would seem we are. Both from the police. What do you see? I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashol. Seven days below freezing. The day before. The day of his hanging was the last one day. A week, maybe? Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller, who reported the hanging. What do I think? A mob of people brought someone to the tree. Not by dragging, probably by carrying him. From here, the boots the victim wears. Uh, he appears to be wearing some kind of armored boots. I can't see any exotic prints here. Someone had to carry him. Are any of the other prints deep enough? Wind keeps changing. Are any of the prints deep enough in your opinion? How many? What do I think? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shuffled around, especially under the tree. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. I agree. <clears throat> Our assumptions could be wrong. Better not to have them confirmed just yet. Do you see anything else? Um, yes, it was naive of me to congratulate us. Assumptions are dangerous. Do you see anything else? Do you think there's something we are missing? Is that so? Well, okay, I guess. If it helps with the police work, by all means. Do you see anything else? It does. I shouldn't have assumed in the first place. The caller could have lied. The whole thing could be misreported. Should we take another look? Or go? Mm-hmm. If it fits too well, we might be missing something. What do you see? Mm-hmm. I counted 20. I take it it's less than that. Either way. What else? I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Mm-hmm. As I said, I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashol. Seven days below freezing. The day before his hanging was the last warm day. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. I was pretty off then. 
I counted twenty. Noted. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. Probably, yes. This would also fit with the victim being dead from a previous gunshot wound. They had to carry him, because he could no longer walk. Is there anything else that's not worthy here? But we know the victim had a bullet in his head. A more precise way to put it is, it was made to look like a lynching. A morbidly obese 250 kilogram man? Let's say it is a very low probability. I'm thinking, maybe there's a more commonplace explanation. Exactly. They had to perform it to whoever was looking, the whole neighborhood, I suppose. And us, too. Body tracks? Yes. I assumed you were counting. The fat guy from the mess hall isn't that obese. He's more like a farm boy. Definitely not 250 kilograms on his own. You have to admit, he's the best fit we've got. I'm guessing that's the skinny hardy boy. The one with his front teeth missing. Very well. I could still be wrong, but I'm probably not. Hmm, maybe you're right and it's someone else. Although I doubt it. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Any of them look familiar? Are these the Hardys? I do. The fat guy. I think I heard them call him Angus. Most likely to have carried the victim over. Seven sets of tracks, right? The Hardy boys were here. That's so? all? Interesting. Then one of them seems to be missing. Anything else out of the ordinary? So far, so good. Only one thing missing. There's one pair missing from the Union box. The eighth pair. I'm going to say it was our old soul. Mm-hmm. Which one is missing, do you think? I'm going to say it was our old soul, with a piece of sandpaper glued to the throttle, which means that the missing lady driver was also present at the lynching. That's it. She's the old soul. Now we know who's the missing eighth person at the lynching. Do you think that Hardy and his boys could also be involved in the drug operation? Yes. Well... We've identified one of the footprints, but there are still seven to go. Understood. We should still go and see what Titus Hardy has got to say on the matter. This might throw them off, work in our advantage. So, what else? You're right. But we should still go and see what Titus Hardy has got to say on the matter. This might throw them off, work in our advantage. So, what else? We should start with Titus Hardy, see what he's got to say on the matter. This might throw them off, work in our advantage. So, what else? We should see what Titus Hardy has got to say on the matter. This might throw them off, work in our advantage. So, what else? Yes, I doubt the Hardys are going to tell us much, but we should still confront them about the possible drug trade connection. Yes, I doubt the Hardys are going to tell us who this person is. For now, it's best if we just keep our eyes open. I'm sure our investigation will eventually lead us to the old soul. You have a point there. Anyway, it's something to consider. What else can you see? Don't beat yourself down. Neither can I. We'll have another look later. Yes. I doubt the Hardys are going to tell us much. But we should still confront them about the possible drug trade connection. Um, detective? You're right. Let's keep a low profile. I don't know. They are about the same size. Not the same boots, no. But they could be the same person. No. These prints are pretty standard. It still doesn't rule Ruby out. People change shoes, after all. But this isn't an argument for her guilt either. Yes, well, he did look a bit like a rat, you're right. Do you think those prints belong to him? A woman? Or a kid? She is. And now we have concrete evidence binding everything together. We should ask Titus about this. Two hundred? Could it be the combined weight of two people, one carrying the other who's tied up? Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built, soon-to-be-dead man. Interesting. Let's name it the old soul. I can't see any prints fitting the armor boots the victim was wearing, can you? Someone had to carry him. Are any of the other prints deep enough? Possibly, yes. Which ones? An obese person is becoming less likely. That's a tree. I think we're close to a conclusion here. I don't know, are you sure? I could swear you're lying to me. Mm hmm I think we have arrived at a conclusion here. Maybe it wasn't. I do. One of them carried him over. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking it wasn't the giant of Korkonur. It could have been, but if it wasn't... Mm -hmm. Yes, they could have used the makeshift stretcher or just march him up to the gallows. Even easier to carry on a stretcher or between two men. Anyway, it's for future consideration. 
What else can you see? I'm not assuming it isn't, but it's still helpful. Is there anything else? You mean a display of athletic ability meant to belittle the victim? A local champion carrying the intruder alone? I can see it. Anyway, the others? I hope we do. It's getting really late for an autopsy. That's right. Right. The autopsy form is near the end. We should locate your ledger, then hurry back to the autopsy as soon as possible. We should find it before someone else does, then hurry back to the autopsy as soon as possible. Let's. No. Let's fill out the info form first. That's you. KK57-0803. Dot o eight one five and what would that make the alphanumeric? I do. KK five seven dash o five o three dash o eight one five. Good. Let's go with that. Next N A. Next hmm. Roughly fifty. He nods. Mondial. Mondial. Subgroup Occidental. As per your observation. Unfortunately, no. Male. N A. We're still going with March 4th. 51. What else? 9. Body identified by... is non-applicable. 10. Case number is the same as the coroner's case. None. At least not after the initial examination. Interfering with the body's position or wounds post-mortem. Then again, the right lividity is easy to produce if you know what you're doing. They'd have to have incapacitated and carried him over. This man was more than a match for untrained dog walkers. Not an energetic star to an autopsy, I agree. And hygienically? Just leave it empty, officer. We should start the post-mortem. Fine. It's a three-part form to be filled out on the scene by the detectives responsible. One takes note, the other dictates. The goal is to establish cause of death. Clothes. The deceased wears armored boots and white briefs. The make of the briefs is Babrodin, I think. Let's see. Babrudin, yes. Inexpensive. Size M. Color white. The boots are ceramic. Vitreous enamel. They are fused to his skin from blood flowing downward post mortem. Removal of the boots is left for processing. A scalpel is not always required. I hope this is one of those cases. Latex gloves are, however. Note. The boot has a hidden serial number on it. It's E50.100.100. One triple O. The boot has a serial number. It's E50.100.100. The lines between the plates are in the shape of the alphanumerical. The number is purposefully concealed by the design, which the assistant detective inexplicably reported to me as X5415 something. Why was that, assistant detective? Yes, and now this happened. I am perplexed. Officer, please write down the right serial number. E50.100.100. I fail to see any humor in it. Officer, please write down the right serial number. E50.100.100. That's wonderful, officer. My opinion of you has lowered. Go ahead. Write down a stupid nonsensical number in the autopsy form too. Instead of E50.100.100. It's quite possible. You lied to me for no good reason. Please write down the right serial number. E50.100.100. Let's not go glove hunting, please. Let's use division of labor. I perform the anatomical side while you take notes. Tattoos. The assistant has a color photograph of the markings to be added to the case files as document A1. The photo is taken on the scene using a Trigat Mini. The upper torso is covered in a single tattoo, beginning on the right shoulder and reaching around the heart. The shape is abstract. The ink is blue and white. Document A1. The detectives have taken a color photograph of the markings. Photograph was produced on scene. The deceased has a steel reinforced cargo belt around his neck, tied with a hangman's knot. Color, yellow. Length, 3 meters. There is a buckle on the other end. Well nourished. Athletically built. Measuring 1.8 meters. Generally consistent with age 42. Preservation is good. Ambient temperature, below freezing. Of course, I undercompensated. Body hair is light brown. Distribution is consistent with age. The deceased had male pattern baldness. Hair is combed back, short. In your paperwork, officer, just fill out the field autopsy form. <sighs> there truly is a time for everything. 
even for yellow gardening gloves. However, they are lacking hygienically. I suggest you get in there in limited capacity. <coughs> Lividity is consistent with hanging. The head is congested. Contusions are present on the head, chest, and thighs, consistent with stone thrown, low velocity. In addition, there are bite marks on the face, scalp, and chest, consistent with predation. The steel wiring, ah, there's too much of it. We need to remove the bell so we can get to the ligature mark. Ligature mark, it's no use. We should get chain cutters. You can try with them. I have a pair in the toolbox of my kinema. I mean when I need you to. Until then, I should handle physical contact and you should take notes. We get chain cutters, then try with those. I have a pair in the toolbox of my kinema. Damn corpse. We had a good rhythm going. We need to cut the belt to see the ligature mark below. Carefully, with as much precision as you can. I'll ask you when I need you to. For the most part, maybe I should handle the contact and you take notes? I suggest I handle the physical part of the autopsy and you take notes. I should have a go first. I think I have a strategy. His head, yes. You were about to cut off his head. The rope rises to a point, leaving a gap in the ligature mark. The suspension point is in the back of the neck. Hemorrhaging is observed on the skin, above and below the ligature mark. The mark is well pronounced, consistent with a drop from 1 or 1.5 meters. Yes, you see, the field autopsy form is the one on red copy of paper. Chest is intact. Normal contour. Abdomen is protuberant. Pelvis intact. Genitalia. Genitalia is male and unremarkable. No evidence of injury. Ah yes, your hunch before. We can have a semen analysis requested from processing, if that's what you meant. Ah yes, your hunch before. We could have a semen analysis requested from processing, but we are already requesting toxicology. There's a one test limit. Mm -hmm. Just write down that we request an analysis. No, you weren't, officer. That would be preposterous. Just write down that we request a semen, vaginal, and anal fluids analysis. You've lost your paperwork, haven't you? Back is symmetrical and intact. Upper and lower extremities are intact, but asymmetrical. There are all combat injuries on the right hand, thigh, and hip. Back is symmetrical and intact. Upper and lower extremities are intact, but asymmetrical. There are combat injuries on the right hand, thigh, and hip. In addition, I see smaller, residual scars, too numerous to count, covering about 30% of his skin. Last item, hands. Hands are clean, no sign of a recent struggle. Hands are clean, no sign of injury from struggling. Hands are clean, no sign of injury from struggling. Ooh, that's all for the external. Well done. What next? I was. Maybe I'm just not seeing them. Honestly, the stench is making it hard for me to think at the moment. Central nervous system. I have nothing. Do you have anything on this man's central nervous system? What would that be? I think that may well be the moral of every story, officer. Muscoskeletal. Purge fluid is coming from the mouth. Not injury related. Eyes and tongue protuberant. Hyoid bone. Let's see. Officer, what haven't you lost? The hyoid bone is fractured. The rest of the musculoskeletal system is intact. Unremarkable. Respiratory system. Oral cavity shows no lesions. The victim has received dental implants, possibly after a combat wound. Mouth swollen. Hemorrhaging present in mucosa of the lips and mouth. Hepatobiliary. NA. Hemorrhaging present in mucus. Respiratory system. Put it down as oral cavity shows no lesions. Mouth swollen. Hemorrhaging present in mucus of the lips and mouth. Ah, are you a hepatobiliary expert? Neither am I. That's it. Same for toxicology and serology, NA. Unless you have untapped reservoirs of knowledge there? No. We already have one test as per regulation, and we already requested semen. Maybe you should, like a toxicology screening? At this stage, I doubt processing will find anything, even if he was brimming with cocaine. But still, you should add a request. Add a request, then. We'll know if drugs or poisons remain in his blood. At this stage, I doubt processing will find anything, even if he was brimming with it. Leave it N.A., then. Good. Otherwise, you would only have one shoe now. Cardiovascular. The body exhibits lividity in the lower extremities, feet, hands, and neck. 
visually consistent with the hanging. Gastrointestinal. Digested semi-solid food in stomach. Voilà. What's next on the list? No need to be melodramatic, officer. What? I've noticed that, yes. And I must say I find it troubling. So, where were we on this? Yes, barely. Let's see. We have bite marks, contusions on the head and chest, and a ligature mark encircling the neck. You'll need three fields. Leave a fourth one, too. Nothing. Just in case. Oh, so we inflicted them? You mean the spin-stabilized munition from a kill A990 muzzleloader lodged in his lung? Injuries. Be pedantic if you like, it doesn't matter. No one else is going to investigate this man's murder. And if they do, such details would only confuse them. Now, injuries. I can give you my paperwork. There's an autopsy form there. Several, actually. But only if it helps move things along. Or the incision on the thorax from a chin cutter? Neither was a team effort. And I wouldn't mention them. Mud is the water. You mean the incision on the thorax from a chain cutter? That was not a team effort, and I wouldn't mention it. Mud is the water. That was not a team effort. I just miss my shot. Uh, also, let's not mention it. Mud is the water. Okay, so there's an incision on the thorax from a chain cutter. I wouldn't mention it. Better not to muddy the waters. Okay, so there's a spin-stabilized munition from a Kiel A990 muzzle loader lodged in his lung. And an incision on the thorax from a chain cutter. I wouldn't mention those. Better not to muddy the waters. I don't think we should mention that. Better not to muddy the waters. I'm afraid we can only fill this in once the belt is removed from his neck and we have visual on the injury. We need to check the hyoid bone for damage before we can sign off on this. It's a potential fatal injury. Let's do part two, external examination, and then return. Head, chest, and scalp bite mark injuries. Predation by birds has caused damage to the body. Odontologist does not need to be consulted. So, the scalp bleeds from a post-mortem head injury, a stone. The injury does not have the rim of an early inflammatory response. A perpetrator on the scene has confessed to causing it post-mortem. Yes, well... A dark red abraded ligature mark encircling the neck, with a gap on the nape measuring, let's say, 7 centimeters. The hyoid bone is fractured, the cervical colon intact. And your opinion, officer? Fatal injury by seagulls? Yes, it's... For God's sake, leave the box unticked then. What next? Agreed. Next injury? That's right. What's next? Those are mean, yes. But not that mean. No, he was not murdered by seagulls. Has confessed to causing it at maximum velocity. Right. Next? No, it's not. Somewhere else? Don't. I see hemorrhaging on the skin, above and below the ligature mark. Depth of the mark, one centimeter. No signs of clawing on the neck. That's it. We have established cause of death. It's not much, and it leaves much to be questioned. But it's a start. Hmm. <clears throat> Why do you say that? Okay. Why don't you think it was fatal? Did you? I'm not so sure. I thought we could establish the cause of death here, officer. Now I think we should leave it empty. Now you're just undermining yourself for the sake of it. What's strange is... I agree. I was sure we had our cause of death here. And now I think we should leave it empty. At least for the time being. I'm not usually one to go for these... hunches. But I think I agree. I thought we had our cause of death here, officer. Now I think we should leave it empty, at least for the time being. Most everything else on the victim says otherwise. But I agree. I was ready to establish a cause of death here, officer. But now I think we should leave it empty, at least for the time being. Everything that's physically on the victim says otherwise. But I agree. I was ready to establish a cause of death, officer. Now I think we should leave it empty, at least for the time being. Still, there may be truth to this one. I was ready to call a probable cause of death here. But now I think we should leave it empty. At least for the time being. At least for the time being. If we don't like it, I can always amend this later. In my paperwork. No, no, officer. I'm afraid I disagree now. We should leave the question open. At least for the time being. If necessary, I can always amend this later. In my paperwork. Lividity is consistent with hanging. The head is congested. Contusions are present on the head, chest and thighs. Consistent with stones thrown post-mortem. Low velocity. It was a... Uh, an irregular field autopsy. We did not establish cause of death. 
which is supposed to be the goal of an autopsy. But personally, I do not see this as a parameter for success. Then, given the state of decay here, I consider establishing the victim's ethnicity a minor success. We were thorough with the list of injuries too. We described them all in detail. What is there to say? Given the circumstances, it was a professional field autopsy. Well, we established probable cause of death. Some would say that's the goal of an autopsy. Now, you see, that worries me. You will die if you drink. You know that, don't you? You are proving a useful detective. The organization would miss you. We weren't too sloppy with the injuries. We did not describe the bite marks. We should have provided an opinion there. But given the circumstances, it is excusable. They were clearly not fatal. We were not too sloppy with the injuries. We did not describe the contusions. We did not provide an opinion. But given the circumstances, it is excusable. And they were clearly not fatal. To be honest, we were sloppy with the injuries. The victim has bite marks and contusions. We should have described them in detail, provided an opinion. But what's done is done, and they are clearly not fatal. We can, but I don't want to. The next time you encounter a list of topics with numbers on it, start with one, then two, then three. Lists are numbered for a reason. It is the intended order. We don't always have to be so original about everything. Anyway, we also requested a toxicological screening. That was thorough. The results should arrive in a couple of weeks, if we are lucky. I will not hold my breath. We requested a test to be run on the genitals. That was the règle. The results should arrive in a couple of weeks, if we are lucky. I will not hold my breath. However, a piece of professional advice. The next time you encounter a list of topics with numbers on them, start with one, then two, then three. Lists are numbered for a reason. It is the intended order, anyway. Now? Now we put him in a body bag and I drive him to Forborg for processing. Honestly, I'm not sure there weren't marks on his wrist. That part got blurry for me. The stench. But you are right, I was ready to call this. Now I think we should leave it empty, at least for the time being. Let's wrap this up. I pronounce this field autopsy over, for processing. I need a copy of that autopsy form. Then I will drive him to Faubourg. Hmm, yes. I didn't want to mention it before, but you really should find your clothes. Losing your paperwork is not a small issue. I'm sorry if I came off as patronizing. Very dramatic. Nevertheless, I would appreciate it if you just put your clothes back on. Very dramatic. Nevertheless, I would appreciate it if you'd at least put your jacket back on. Very dramatic. Nevertheless, I would appreciate it if you'd at least put your shirt back on. I guess you've got to start finding at least some of the things you've lost, before they hurt someone. Ah, we've heard the nom de guerre. Lely. It's better than nothing. Write it down. Always good to think ahead. Now, I'm afraid we can't continue before we've gone through both the external and internal examination first, thoroughly. All right. Bite marks, contusions on head and chest, and the ligature mark encircling the neck. Let's see, what did we find? We observed hemorrhaging on the skin, above and below the ligature mark, well pronounced, consistent with a drop from 1 or 1.5 meters. The chest was intact, normal contours, abdomen protuberant, pelvis intact, no injuries in genital region, back was symmetrical and intact, upper and lower extremities also, but asymmetrical. All combat injuries on the right hand, thigh, and hip. Also, numerous residual scars covering about 40% of his skin. Extensive scarring, to say the least. <coughs> Hands were clean, no sign of injury from struggling. That's about it. This, I remind you, also necessitates the removal of the belt from around his neck, so we have a visual on the injury. If we must, then we must. Police paperwork is confidential material, officer. <sighs> They are better than nothing. Tell you what, I perform the anatomical side of things while you will take notes. Here, the rope rises to a point, leaving a gap in the ligature mark. The suspension point is in the back of the neck, on the nape. Mr. Measurehead has done a good job. Nothing is too broken or compromised. The victim is ready for a field autopsy. Yes. 1. Investigation of the scene. 2. Initial examination of the victim. 3. Field autopsy. 4. Transportation of the body to the morgue. We are on number 3. Come on, officer. You know what a field autopsy is. You've done a hundred of them. An honor and a burden. 
attached to your rank once you've proven yourself able, usually after five to eight years of field work. Mine is Lieutenant Detective. You are. Your station would not have assigned you on this case if you weren't. Now, no, you and I are detectives. The honorary rank of detective signifies our ability to handle the entire incident chain, from autopsy to clean up to social work, everything. It's not about cutting. And no, you and I are detectives. The honorary rank of detective signifies our ability to handle the entire incident chain, from autopsy to clean up to social work. It's either this, or we complete the initial interviews. We already met Evrart, that only leaves the Wild Pines representative. There's one in town, negotiating the strike. She could have information. It's either this, or we complete the initial interviews. We already met Evrart, but didn't quite get this interview done. For that, we have to ask him about the lynching. There's also a Wild Pines representative in town. She could have some information. It's either this, or we complete the initial interviews. We already met Evrart, but didn't quite get his interview done. For that, we would have to ask him about the lynching like we did with Joyce. Not much later, I hope. He's about to melt away soon. Good. Now, the way I see it, Elise Cortenard. We have a full name to provide here. What's next? Uh, date of birth? I'm not seeing anything yet. But we know there's tampering here. Write down, yes. Non-visual. Corroborated by witness. See report. Good. Mm-hmm. Cut with as much precision as you can, please. Mm -hmm. We have a real museum here. Of battles, wars. Not particularly him being dead when they carried him over. Not from where I look, no. But you're right. Your hunch was right. He was having sex when he died. That he was dead. Yes. They moved fast. This is a good treatment. It's what it would look like. But we know better. We know the ligature mark is a treatment. That's right. No clawing marks on the neck. No signs of struggle on the crime scene. And a witness statement from the perpetrators all confirm. One is post-mortem. Treatment. Lividity appears consistent with hanging, but is not. The head is congested. Contusions are present on the head and chest, consistent with stones thrown post-mortem. Low velocity. <clears throat> Lividity appears consistent with hanging, but is not. The head is congested. Contusions are present on the head and chest, consistent with stones thrown. Low velocity. That's it. Field autopsy done, detective. All that remains is to see if the alleged cause of death, the bullet, is truly lodged in his brain. I'll leave that to you, colleague. Or to processing. I won't force you in there. Seriously, I can just back him and drive him to the morgue any time you tell me to. No need for heroics, unless you want to. Clothes. The deceased... The deceased used to wear a pair of armored boots. They're gone now. Interesting. But he's still wearing his white briefs. Thank God for that. The make of the briefs is Babrodin, I think. Let's see. The boots were ceramic. Vitreous enamel. They were fused to his skin from blood flowing downwards post-mortem. They were removed post-mortem by scavengers. Fortunately, we already wrote down the serial number. It begins with X5415. Let's move on. Fortunately, we already wrote down the serial number. E50.100.100. Let's move on. You told me the wrong serial number. Why would you do that? Why would you jeopardize your own crime scene? And now the boots are gone too. This could have been a lead. Sorry doesn't cut it here. Let's move on. You took the boot? Or we could call it a day. It's incredibly late. Good call. Of course. Honestly, I'm not sure there weren't marks on his wrists. That part got blurry for me. The stench. But you are right. There should be signs of struggle. Let's leave the cause of death empty for the time being. Hmm. Not just yet. Let's get what we know it isn't out of the way first. <clears throat> we already did that, remember? We started, but we need the chain cutters from my motor carriage to finish it. I thought we decided to leave it to processing. Let's not turn this into some kind of circus. Mm -hmm. Withdraw your hand four centimeters, please. Can you push it out? A bullet. Unknown calibre. Rifled. 
You may remove your hand from the victim's head now, officer. Well done. Here's your prize. Wait, detective. A non-caliber. Rifled. Some kind of brittle alloy. Fractured on impact. Don't be silly. You've earned it. Consider the binocular episode forgotten. No, no, you deserve it. We can log it later. We need to add an item to the injury list. Injury number four. Oval entry wound with an abrasion collar. Soft palate, back of mouth. High velocity. Temporary cavity in brain tissue. Small exit wound on the occiput. How does that sound? Opinion, fatal injury. And one last thing. We can now fill in injury number three. Ligament mark. Opinion, non-fatal. Post-mortem, treatment. That was then. This time we have extensive tissue destruction away from the wound track. This time we have a bullet. Good, good. We have extensive tissue destruction away from the wound track. We have a bullet. Treatment, officer, is an attempt to manipulate the body after death, to hide the real cause with a false cause. In this case, this injury here. I have had this doubt since I inspected his hands, officer. There were no signs of struggle, no claw marks on his neck. Why? Why didn't he fight for his life? Yes, and the belt around his neck, the hanging, even dragging him to the yard. All of it was done after this man was already dead. Dead, 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 dead. There have been other signs too. Small details. Everything is too neatly designed for us to assign probable cause here, as we did, foolhardily. Well, no more. There have been other signs too. Small things. We were right not to assign hanging as cause of death, as the perpetrators expected we would. No such luck for them. I have had my doubts for a while now. Since I saw there were no signs of struggle on his hands, and no claw marks on his neck, I did not just come up with this. I have had my doubts since we found no signs of struggle on his wrist, no claw marks on his neck. Why? Why didn't he fight for his life? That's for us to find out. But this, it will make finding them just a little easier to hide something. The real killer? The real motivation? What really happened here? To put him out of his misery? It's possible, but it doesn't explain all the other dubious things here. Lack of struggle, primarily. I may be intellectually sloppy, but I prefer one theory at a time. And this just smacks of treatment to me. Oh, you really, really do. I am glad to hear you say that. Your room in the whirling in rags should come with a bathroom. Be sure to make use of it in the evening. There is no need. We have been thorough with the genitals. Do you think we missed something? Okay, well, we are in Livor Mortis here. He is disintegrating. We need to refrigerate the body if we want to conduct another examination, and we need to do it fast. I worked as one of those processing guys for a year. They are butchers and clowns. I once saw 20 CODs go misidentified in one week. Chances are slim to none that they'll find anything useful in processing. In short, you and I are the last line of detection. If you're not sure we got everything, we need to look again. And for that, we need to refrigerate the corpse. If you want for this task to slowly become impossible, then yes. Otherwise, no. He's been hanging out far too long already. We need to ice him. It would have to be industrial in size. Let's start by asking the proprietor of the whirling in rags. Then the frit store down at the gates. And if neither has one, mm -hmm. this is one task we cannot sideline. With every hour, whatever we are looking for will become harder to find. If you think so, officer, I'm not going to object. Hey, wasn't there a giant ice bear sarcophagus below that building? Okay, I need a little help for carrying him to the holding pen of my kinema. I can take care of the rest. Continue working here. The locals, the case, or attend to your own business. I will meet you downstairs in the whirling in rags tomorrow morning, 7.30 sharp. I had my doubts. There were no signs of a struggle on his hands, no claw marks on his neck. But still, and if we are to believe the Hardy Boys, it's somewhere in there. Try putting your hand in his mouth and probing for the bullet in his head. It's too late to take him into processing today. I'll take him first thing tomorrow. Yes, we should take a closer look at it. I am certain it has more to tell us. I need a little help for carrying him to the holding pen of my kinema. I'll take it from there. Now, detective, I've rarely been disappointed by the size of a giant ice bear fridge, but I think we should still take a look at it first, make sure it's big enough before we carry him over. Classio told us the bullet hit him in the mouth. Try putting your hand there. Yes, now, 
I've rarely been disappointed by the size of a giant ice bear fridge, but I think we should still take a look at it first. Make sure it's big enough before we carry him over. Let's move. With every hour, whatever we are looking for in the deceased will become harder to find. Now, that's an overstatement. It's not actually for storing cadavers, or at least I hope so. I think we should take a look at it first. Make sure it's big enough before we carry him over. Only if all else fails. Hurry. This is one task we cannot sideline. With every hour, whatever we are looking for will become harder to find. Class, you told us the bullet hit him in the mouth. Try putting your hand there. If the heart is hard to be trusted, there should be a bullet in there. Try putting your hand in his mouth and probing for the bullet in his head. It'll come to you sooner or later. At least he's safe here until then. We put him in a bag and carry him to the holding pen of my kinema. The body bag should contain the odor for the duration of the transport. We bag the corpse and carry him to the holding pen of my kinema. I can transport him to processing myself, but I will be gone for the rest of the day. Work on the case. Tend to personal matters. Try not to do anything too dangerous. An officer needs backup in a neighborhood like this. I'll leave that choice to you. And one more thing. Great work, detective. One more thing. This was really good work, detective. I would drive him to processing, but it's too late to do that today. I'll do it first thing tomorrow. No problem. All right. I will need a little help carrying him. You take the hands. I'll take the legs. As I said, treatment is an attempt to manipulate the body after death, to hide the real cause with a false cause. In this case, all right. I can drive him to processing today. No problem. Since we stalled with this. But this does mean I will be gone for the rest of the day. Work on the case? Tend to personal matters? Try not to do anything too dangerous. An officer needs backup in a neighborhood like this. I need a little help for carrying him to the holding pen of my kinema. I'll take it from there. Okay. I need a little help for carrying him to the holding pen of my kinema. I can take care of the rest. All right. All right. Can you... Can you get to it? We have the makings of a very small exit wound here. Mm-hmm. Keep going. I see it. A bullet. Of course. You've earned it. Okay, you've said it. You needed to say it. And now that you have, you need to get your shit together. That's probably a good idea. Clear our head. But before we can do that, no. This is a two-man assignment because it needs two officers to complete. I need your help. An appropriate attitude. No, it's not, officer. Then the world will turn away from you and leave you behind. No. You will get your shit together. We should go talk to the locals. Find something else to do while the wind changes. It's pretty bad right now. Give it half an hour. Get yourself together. Then come back and have another go. Officer, you just need to be stronger. Learn to keep it in long enough for us to work. There's nothing else to do. It is. It's expensive. We've requested similar material for our tactical units for years now. The constabulary is deemed it too costly. In that time, we've lost six men to semi-automatics. For a full set, about four years of wages. Not too much, yes. By catching, do you mean, let's not log them as evidence? Let's steal them? I have no idea what that means. It's a sorry situation, I agree. Active decay. It's okay to throw up, officer. No one is judging. Did you hear that? A click? This material is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads kinetic energy horizontally, from plate to plate. When the plates connect, there's a click. See these lines? This is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads the incoming energy horizontally, from plate to plate. When the plates connect, there's a click. That's the sound you heard. See these lines? Ceramic plate. Zirconium dioxide, most likely. This is where the make would be. Indeed. Technically speaking, these are sabatons, not boots. Under the heel. Fair weather. Fair weather model T500VE. I'm guessing that's vitreous enamel. This is advanced stuff. The locals probably scavenged it. It would be odd if he had more on after seven days. Piece by piece. He's been out here for seven days. It would be odd if they didn't. No, he must have worn something precious underneath his clothes. They've removed all his clothes to get to it. They did not just strip him for the putrid rags. They usually hang them completely naked for that. La puta madre. The Mazda. The Besmertis and the like. This one still has his underpants. Someone could have cleaned the yard. But that's a question for the red-haired thing. Of course. So they don't get shot in the foot? 
I think our extremities are fine without a dead man's boots. As a wage, it's regrettably small. But for a piece of hardware... Yes, that's a lot. Good. Can you read it to me? We have a make and a number. That's something. We can use a radio in my kinema to run it later. Either station can chase it for us. Officer, the decomposing corpse has temporarily suspended my sense of humor. Let's continue in a less playful manner. Anyway, we have a make and a number. That's something. We can use the radio in my kinema when we're done. Either station can chase it for us. That doesn't sound like a serial number. Where's the structure and logic of a line of manufactured products? Well, no matter. We should run it anyway. It's anything but. This material is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads kinetic energy horizontally, from plate to plate, dissipating it entirely. See? That's for us to find out. Mr. Gart implied he was security personnel for the Harbour Company. This confirms my own assumptions. That's for us to find out. My initial report on the area suggests he was a security guard for the Harbour Company. But that's just hearsay. They do after seven days, yes. We are deep in decomposition here. No, your first instinct was correct. This equipment is way beyond what a security guard can afford. I agree. This equipment is way beyond what a guard can afford. They are armor, no boots. Technically speaking, these are sabatons. Stop! You are going to pull his head off! Yes, that's what I said. You'll compromise the coroner's case if you do. So please, don't. You're about to pull his head off. Even the mongrels can see you're about to pull his head off. Stop obsessing about your sexuality, officer. You are about to seriously compromise the coroner's case. Pull his head off. There's no point performing an autopsy if you do. We'll have compromised the coroner's case. What are you trying to achieve, anyway? Why are you hanging on to that boot? Officer, if I may ask, what were you trying to achieve by putting on the deceased foot? This is not the enemy. This is the deceased, the victim, in a murder investigation. There's no way you are getting them off. All the organic matter in his body has been flowing down into the boots for seven days. They are fused to his feet now. Why do you think they are the only thing left on him? You do understand the boots are steeped in cadaverine odor, don't you? There's no way you are getting them off. All the organic matter in his body has been flowing down into the boots. They are fused to his feet now. Why do you think the locals haven't scavenged them yet? You'd have to boil them in acid. Besides, you have a point there, detective. You have a point. But that doesn't mean anything, detective. Besides, it does make sense, doesn't it? Besides, one way or another? I can't even think of the one way. Magic? Semenis corpse salt? Besides, how many clues do you need? You already found the number. Besides, maybe we should concentrate on what's outside the boot and leave what's inside to the boys at processing? Just this once. Besides, for a full set of armor, I wouldn't blame you. But these boots are hardly worth a disciplinary hearing. There are better ways to pay a hostel bill. Besides, Honestly, a whole set of ceramics, the breastplate, the pauldrons, I wouldn't blame you. But these two? Not worth bringing internal affairs into your life over. Besides, okay, fine. You want to protect the feet of six dead men. That's commendable. But I don't think we should do anything just for the hell of it. Besides, processing will take care of them. With the situation in the morgue, it will yield nothing. But we must pick our fights. Should we continue? Just something I scraped together from my station. An area report on Martinez. I'm sure you did the same. How should I know why you are squinting, officer? Oh. <coughs> you are trying to assess lividity. I see it. His neck, too. The lividity goes right up his chin. We have good, well-pronounced discoloration here. The victim appears to have contained no more than half a kilogram of digestion at the time of death. Did we? I don't feel lucky. Maybe. I think he was upright immediately after death. Blood has gathered in his hands and feet. And his neck. Maybe it looks faint to you? It could be more pronounced, actually. Du mon noter. Yes, there's always a chance we are wrong. We should check for ligament marks on his neck to see if they're in tune with the belt. We'll have to get him down first. There's always a chance. We should check for ligament marks on his neck to see if they're in tune with the belt. We'll have to get him down first. There's a strong build-up of gases, yes. Rigor mortis becoming liver mortis. He'll be fully limp by tomorrow. 
I don't think he'll explode. I hope not. I've kept an eye on the forecast. It's been below freezing since last Sunday. Today is the first chance to thaw. Things would be worse if it had thawed earlier. Keep it. It's not pity. You should wipe your mouth after vomiting. It's okay. Happens to everyone. Keep it. If you can handle the headache. Some officers use it to deal with cadaverine odor. Sure you do. You just threw up a lot. That young woman, the gardener, mentioned she used salts for the smell. There is Frit nearby, east of the hostel. They usually have a small apothecary. If they don't, there's a greenhouse here, and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of the whirling in rags. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Nor does the wind right now. I've seen strong men turn themselves inside out for hours. You are facing tough odds here. Alcohol withdrawal makes it considerably harder. Are you okay, officer? You're facing tough odds here. It's aggravated further by alcohol withdrawal. I've seen captains puke their guts out. It never gets easier. You never get used to the smell. Every Monday is cadaver day. Throw up, investigate. Throw up, initial autopsy. Throw up, bag it. Then drive to the station. Maybe throw up on the way there if you didn't bag the thing tight enough. I think I've lost my sense of smell. Not being hungover helps too. Monday, make sure you bring your handkerchief. Get a hold of yourself. The cadaver is already compromised bad enough. We don't have to make it worse. We still need to get him down somehow. Someone else? You mean like the police? And what kind of lesson is that? I think you're underestimating the gravity of this situation, officer. We need to take a breather from this scene. Now. That is not important right now. No. Think of the boys from processing as murderers. Only instead of people, they murder crime scenes. Processing is a wrecking crew. They know how to commission off items and how to work the incinerator in the morgue. Someone like a paid garbage man or a cleaning crew? I have bad news for you. That is a detective. I know it's hard, but I assure you, the others won't come to help us. And we have a growing sanitary concern here. We need to get him down, fast. Someone already did. You know who came? We did. Because we have made bad life decisions. Sadly, yes. The whole RCM is out there right now, doing the exact same thing we are. Are we in a rush to help them? Not with this on our hands. At least you understand the gravity of the situation, detective. We need to take a breather from this scene. Now. Ace is high. By being a damn good shot. Ace is high. Okay. Maybe it's not customary in the 41st to perform an Ace is high. In the 57th, we've carried over the custom from the revolution. Maybe it's bad luck. Anyway, we will perform a field autopsy and determine the cause of death. But before... Excuse me. It looks like I feel like taking a break from the stench. I'm sorry to interrupt the jubilations here. Just a little breather before we do the autopsy. Officer, let's keep our attention on the victim. This makes getting him down much more problematic than I had assumed. The stench is getting bad. I'm sorry to interrupt the jubilations here. I need a little breather before we do the autopsy. Yes. The four phases of a murder scene. 1. Investigation of the scene. I can't say I'm satisfied with that part yet. We should search for prints, maybe. And a trash container too. I can't say I'm fully satisfied with that part. We should search for prints, maybe. I'm satisfied with that part. The trash container, the prints. We've been thorough enough. I can't say I'm satisfied with that part yet. I still want to know what's in that trash container. 2. Initial examination of the victim. We were not exhaustive in our efforts. Should have looked at the tattoos, maybe? But what's done is done. 2. Initial examination of the victim. We were exhaustive in our efforts there. Good job. 2. Initial examination of the victim. We were pretty good in our efforts, and the autopsy will provide another chance. 3. Field autopsy. This will not be pleasant or easy. And it will have to be performed on the scene. As I said, it's been below freezing since last Sunday. Today is the first chance to thaw. Things would be worse if it had thawed earlier. We should have a look at that belt before we even consider taking him down. It looks worrisome. Industrial strength. The can used for tying cargo to lorries. I do. Most of them are post-mortem. Maybe even all of them. The delinquents have made our jobs harder with their little sport. No, you should not get a drink. You should perform an initial inspection of the victim's corpse. We are on the rope part. Airlifting. 
I thought it was used on lorries for strapping cargo to them. The local harbor uses six rotors to shuffle containers around. I get the sense they use whatever was on hand without paying much attention to not incriminating themselves. No, you're right. The harbor uses six rotors to shuffle containers around. They use whatever was on hand here without paying attention to not incriminating themselves. I'm still approaching this as a lynching, yes. Motivated by the ongoing strike. You? Yes, it looks like they use whatever was on hand, paying no attention to not incriminating themselves. Uh, no, more like in uh, Harbour, like the one just east of here. I get the sense they used whatever was on hand, without paying much attention to not incriminating themselves. The brief suggested as much, politically motivated by the ongoing strike. Did you not get a briefing? Then you should ask me the first moment we get. Okay, you should ask me for one the first moment we get. Yes. It often is. This bell worries me. 70% of the cases I get are just filling in the blanks on the initial report. This belt worries me. We all are. This belt worries me. I was afraid it would be. Thin steel wiring. Parallel strands. This makes getting him down more problematic than I had assumed. It's not merely polyester. It's still reinforced. See these lines? This is where the wires run. I see rabbits for more than 20 strands. I have only a cursive knowledge of the science of cybernetics. I would not know if it were. But it's not quite complex enough, is it? Of no nation that I know of. If anything, it reminds me of religious illumination, last or penultimate century. Men who live harsh lives often turn to innocentic worship. But which one? I see no trace of a humanoid figure. A map of the stars. I do see some similarity to astronomical charts. Great century Messinian, maybe. But this seems more particular. Customized, somehow. So am I. In case we need it. A Trigat Sunshine. Mini. An instant color camera. I have only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. It contains insight to the victim's person. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter. To us. Someone should decipher it. We'll need to show it around. I agree. Sure. Just don't lose it. Yes. It is pretty cool, isn't it? So, what do you think? I agree. Totally dead. No siree. Agreed. Especially on the neck. The belt acted like a tourniquet keeping the blood in his head. The hypostasis supports her hanging. He is. Absolutely. dab dub dub dead that sounds about right, yes. So am I. Why do you think so? Okay. Hmm. There are no supernatural reasons. Who is he? He is male, 40 to 50, with an athletic build. Good. The victim is of occidental descent. Light brown hair, blue eyes. I mean white. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting it. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting the airship strength material. I don't doubt your physical prowess, officer, but this is a grueling surgical procedure. I saw 20 steel strands in there, and we do not have a secure platform for the cutting. I don't doubt your physical prowess, officer, but that's aircraft strength material, and we do not have a secure platform to perform the procedure on. Hmm... It's tempting, but decapitating him will make it impossible to ascertain whether he was really hung. The damage to the neck would make coronary work pointless. I have thought of that, yes. But the tire tracks would compromise the scene. Any prince would become illegible. That's if we get it through the hole in the fence. Also, my MC has a sloped roof. It's a sports model. The roof is slippery. An all-around bad platform to stand on. Yes, I am attached to it. But it's also unsuitable. We can't bring a supercharged tractor through that tiny gap in the fence, then plow the scene with it, then fall off the roof. It would sound bad on Channel 8. We are not getting him down already. Not getting him down is a task that's already accomplished. Sadly, it's not our job to keep him up there, but to get him down. How about I take you, piggyback? Yes, it's not a good idea. I wasn't actually implying I would. I meant it's a bad idea. Climb up there and... So the branch? There has to be a less risky way. 
with less falling down of trees. Honestly, I prefer a non-acrobatic solution to this. I don't trust that ladder. The assailants didn't use it. It's rotten and less sturdy than it looks. And I don't see another good way up there. Clown cops climb tree, fall down. Enraged cop assaults children after falling from tree. Creating cop, they like that word, sows the branch he's sitting on, literally. Local children report corpse mutilation. No, I do not see the future. I made those up using two decades in the Revacholian police force as a reference point. Oh no, we should be very afraid of newspapers and the radio stations too. We should be wary of enticing them in any way. What I'm proposing is, we save acrobatic tricks as a last resort, after we've tried everything else. Yes, we should use acrobatics as the very last option, after we've tried everything normal. How? Where? Ah, yes, I see. If the shot hits that, there might be a chance to release the belt. It absolutely will not, officer. That's not how physics work. It will maybe cut one thread loose. Yes, the buckle, where it ties the cargo belt to the tree. If the shot hits that, then there might be a small chance to release the belt. What else can we do? I'll blow his head off. God damn it. I think you have your sports mixed up there, officer. Squaring my shoulders has nothing to do with this. No, we are lucky as it is. We didn't break anything, and the victim remains uncompromised. Any more mistakes could put us in an unfortunate position with the locals. We have eyes on us. I didn't do us any favors with that. Remain collegial, officer. It was an honest mistake, and I will not repeat it. It's bad as it is, us shooting firearms like punks. But what else can we do? I have to say, it's beginning to look unlikely we can get him down without assistance. Don't. I agree. Enough gunslinging for today. Go ahead, I'm not stopping you. Just don't lose it. Go ahead, I'm not stopping you. Just don't lose it. It's bad as it is, us shooting firearms like punks here. Go ahead, I'm not stopping you. Just don't hit the victim. Officer, why do we only have one gun? Extremely unfortunate. You need to contact your station about it as soon as possible. Try not to lose this one, please. Are you sure we've finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might miss some of these things once he's done. Don't provoke her. In the name of God, please get a hang of yourself. We try something else. The armistice is sufficiently precise, officer. Especially at close range. I agree. Police work is overrated. It is trying and stressful. However, it is still our job to get the dead body down from the tree. For and final, transport of the coroner's case to the district morgue. I'll do that. God, it stinks. No, you and I are detectives. The honorary rank of detective signifies our ability to handle the entire incident chain. From crime scene to autopsy to clean up, we do it all. Your station would not have assigned you the case otherwise. This case is important. An honor and a burden attached to your rank. Mine is lieutenant detective, unfortunately. I can't tell you how tired I am of this corpse. Good. In the meantime, we should try to interview Evrard Claire, the leader of the Union. Harbour property was clearly used in the hanging. The harbour just east of here. Getting in might prove a challenge, though. Yes. And those were the interviewees. Let's go. I would also suggest we interview Joyce, the Wild Pines representative. But we've already done that, so good for us. One down, one to go. Everything here seems to corroborate that assumption. But we should still get him down before signing a probable cause of death. The risk of acrobatic failure is one we cannot take. We must not become comedy for the locals. That ladder can't carry a grown man. I didn't see any splintering either, did you? I think they lassoed the branch, then pulled on the belt to close the buckle. I think they lassoed the branch, then pulled on the belt, buckle closes. It's what I would do. Seems easier than climbing up there. A noose is one of those things that's easier to use one way around. Extremely. Try what, exactly? I see what you mean. But even so... No, I think he had something precious underneath his clothes. They had to remove the jeans we found in the trash to get to it. This kind of armor is often worn under fabric. A good point. He could have been intoxicated, or something we cannot yet imagine. I shouldn't have assumed so much just from the clothes. We should keep a look up for these pieces. The armor could yield information. Maybe he'll know something. 
The noose acted like a tourniquet, keeping the blood in his head. The hypostasis here is in tune with the hanging. That's what I think. Yes, we do. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. I can't handle the headache. If she doesn't have any, there might be some in the Frit store nearby. We should go and do something else. Give it half an hour. Then come back when you've gotten your act together. This had better not turn into another demonstration of yours. I'm at a loss as well. I could swear your shit was together, detective. He worked for Connell, like Joyce told us. This is military equipment provided by a wealthy security contractor with state ties, way above what we have. Looks like he worked for a private contractor, like Evrard told us. Wealthy, with state ties. This is way above what we have. Mm -hmm. It means disciplinary hearing. Here, a souvenir. Don't lose it. Please stop trying to perform a necromantic ritual. We have other things to do. We need to access the harbor and ask the leader of the Union to have it taken down. They have the tools, and they have men. I did not want us to be indebted to Everard Claire. I wanted us to be able to deal with it ourselves. That is clearly not the case. We need help. I agree. I suggest we go to the harbor and ask the leader of the Union to help us with the body. I would have preferred us not to owe the Union anything, but we clearly cannot do this ourselves. Let's go. The bad way. The way I didn't want us to. <sighs> By asking the harbor for help. They have the tools and the men. If they put him up there, they can take him down too. Hooray for us. From the gates, by negotiating or fighting. I'm unenthusiastic about fighting. Or we can try to find some secret third path. It's unlikely though. To ask the suspect for help with the victim's body? To be indebted to Everard Claire? Very much, yes. Which is why I would have preferred us to handle this ourselves. Clearly we can't. The leader of the Union a dangerous and corrupt man, from what I hear. You don't want to owe him much. In the meantime, we should locate the representative of the logistics company. My preliminary information suggests the Wild Pines have sent a strike negotiator to wrangle back control from the Union. I bet she has a fresh perspective to offer us. Since we've already talked to Everhart in the harbor, that interview is done, for better or for worse. I would suggest we interview Everhart and Joyce, the leader of the Union and the Wild Pines rep. But we've already done that, so it's up to you, detective. Take us where we need to be. With shooting like that? Of course you are. Your station would not have assigned you to this case otherwise. Fine, then. I was really hoping we wouldn't. The Union appeared to be suspect in this case. It seems like a dangerous route to go down. <sighs> okay. Let's do it in the lousy, dangerous way. It's tempting. But decapitating him might be against regulations. Yes. The debrief we got from the Wild Pines representative appears to be solid, too. A lynching is what this looks like, to purposefully mislead us. They must have hung him fast after that bullet hit. This is well done. It would have fooled me. There's the frit nearby. Maybe they have some in the apothecary. If they don't, okay. They do have the tools and the men. And since it looks like they put him there, right now, everything seems to fit their confession. We should keep a lookout for these species. The armor could yield information. This is one thing he might actually know. Yes, the debrief we got from the Wild Pines representative appears to be solid too. A lynching is what this looks like. Our internal RCM brief said the same. By the way, when you get the chance, perhaps you should ask me to share the RCM brief with you. I'm pretty sure you've forgotten it. From the gates. By negotiating or fighting. Or we can try the secret route we found. Where your cloak is. It looked doable. No, that ladder is not climbable, and I don't really see another good way up there. Or we could talk to the representative of the logistics company again. I know we already met Joyce, but that didn't count as an interview. We need to ask her how the strike and lynching are connected. Or we could ask around for the representative of the logistics company. My initial information says the Wild Pines have sent some sort of strike negotiator to wrangle control back from Everhart, the leader of the Union, a dangerous and corrupt man, one you don't want to be indebted to. He's a dangerous and corrupt man, and we cannot predict what he will want from us in return. He's a dangerous and corrupt man, and we cannot predict what he will want from us in return. What is this, then? A tool shed? Let's investigate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cadaverine odor is faint. If this belonged to the deceased, 
they were removed when he was still in the early stages of decay. Guitar marked blue jeans. Pocket empty or emptied. He wore them with a belt, too, a white belt. The loops appear stretched, but the belt is missing. That's it. Do you see anything else in there? I have another bag here. This is a military type overgarment. No label or serial number. This is the kind of rib knit shirt that's worn over light armor to conceal it in an urban scenario. Anything more? All right. We should go to Gart again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostel cleaning the yard. Or that one. I'd advise against confronting that force. See? Information from that source has truly been invaluable to the investigation. I cannot wait to hear more. Not really. All we know is the victim's clothes are in the trash, the lid was locked, and his establishment had the key. It's just a small loose thread. Officer, is that your paperwork? Yes, it is. Look. This plastic has the RCM street grid on it. You've even got an autopsy form. There's a lot of it, too. And you've got an autopsy form in there, in the back. That light pink copy paper. It is. Look. The plastic has the RCM street grid on it. You've even got an autopsy form in there. If you don't mind me asking, how did this get in the trash? What are you talking about? The quality of metal is not the problem. From what I see, it's sturdy enough. Do us though also thorough inventories. You should take stock of your notes. Make sure it's all there. Official notes contain informants' names. If some of it has fallen into the hands of the RCM's adversaries, Bloodletting may well ensue. I don't know either. You should take stock of your notes. Make sure it's all there. Official notes contain informants' names. If some have fallen into the hands of the RCM's adversaries, bloodletting may well ensue. Officer, this is an official piece of paperwork. It probably contains notes on numerous ongoing investigations and could even list undercover operatives, informants. I suggest integrating it into your style. For all our sakes. Well, lucky we found it. You should take stock of what remains, just to be sure some has not made it into the hands of the RCM's adversaries. Organized crime and the like. There might have been police secrets in your notes. Boring. Try dangerous. You should do a thorough inventory of that. Be sure some has not fallen into the hands of the RCM's enemies. Organized crime or worse. Official notes sometimes contain informants' names, even undercover operatives. Yes, if we are still assuming the clothes were taken off to get to the armor, they must have stripped him of it fast, the scavengers. In a matter of days, yes, I think the clothes were taken off to get to that armor he wore, then discarded. They must have stripped him of it fast too, the scavengers, in a matter of days. Did he? I must have drifted away. Somewhere between the copious mentions of pigs and homosexuality. Looks like we found your paperwork. Tell me, see if your badass more in there, or are we done here? It would also not hurt to start taking notes on the case. Now, tell me what your eagle eyes see. Or are we finished? It would also not hurt to start taking notes on the case. Anyway, where were we? I see, yes. You are what we call a badass, aren't you? Tell me, does your badass see more in there? Or are we done here? Understood. The strange thing is we don't have to. We have the key, remember? The manager gave you the key. I agree. We should get someone from the remote viewers division here. No, because they don't exist. What do you mean, feel? We should still access this container. There may be evidence in there. There isn't. But we should still access this container. All the detectives from all the precincts who experience extrasensory perception go to the remote viewers' division. Their work is invaluable to the force. Mm-hmm. There isn't. Oh. It might also be evidence. The mob could have disposed of something in there. We should get it open. Trash? Food waste from the cafeteria? They lock these containers to keep the derelicts from flocking in. Could be evidence, too. None. Because they don't exist. We could try using a pry bar. There's one in my motor carriage, or... Or we could ask for a key from the manager of the Whirling in Rags. He probably has one. We might want to ask for a key from the manager of the Whirling in Rags. He probably has one. And he also has information. Drop them in here, officer. 
Ah, oh, yes, uh, and it will also be appropriate to start taking notes on the case. It's what cops do. Officer, now that you have your ledger back, it would not hurt to start taking notes on the case. Officially. Interesting. Reminds me of the mug collection we saw in our weasel's apartment. Maybe he or she has been dumping their garbage here. Or it may just be a coincidence. Either way, something to keep in mind. What else do you see? Let's ask the manager for the key. This is clearly not working. We could try using a pry bar. The one you took from my motor carriage, or... Officer, this is sensitive information. You need to take this seriously. <sighs> Me too. You are. The pry bar is quite satisfying and handy. But you are just not good enough at prying. We should get the keys. Good night, detective. No, no, we need to investigate now. We're just in time. This hasn't been emptied for over a week. We should return later, officer. I don't think we were thorough enough. There may be more in there. That's one thing off the list. I think we got it all. There must be another way into the building. Make this quick, detective. Why must we stop to look at this wall every time we pass by? We have business to attend to. Huh? If you must. I suppose we have to pass by it again at some point anyway. Mm-hmm. Sure. He's gone. No point in running. Tenements like these often have multiple exits. If he doesn't want to talk to us, then he'll know how to hide himself. He could be a witness. Him or his Sunday friend. Either way, we need to look into that muscular type who's asking about our case. He could be a witness. Him or his Sunday friend. It's worth looking into. He could be a witness. And either way, we need to look into that muscular type who's asking about our case. He could be a witness. We shouldn't rule out the possibility. There has to be a way of getting inside the building. Once we've found a way in, we can ask around for his apartment. He did leave us a sign. Did you see that? He wanted to draw our attention to that stone right over there. If we find a way inside the building, we can ask around for his apartment. We will remove the body as soon as possible. Now tell us, where were you last Sunday? There has to be a way of getting inside the building. Let's go check out the door near the pier again. Once we found the way in, we can ask around for his apartment. And when did you speak to this more muscular gentleman? What were you doing last Sunday? You didn't answer the question. What were you doing last Sunday? This must be for the front door. Pity doesn't have the apartment number on it. This building has hundreds of apartments. This must be for the front door. Let's see if it works. We'll just have to go in and see. This must be for the front door. Pity doesn't have the apartment number on it. This building has many apartments and a man can be in any of them. This must be for the front door. Let's see if it works. We'll just have to go in and see. Another set of old bullet holes from the revolution. A history of violence, streaking all across Revachol. Plenty. Bullet holes generally look the same, so... probably. But you're right. More old bullet holes from the revolution. Remnants from the revolution. These are over half a century old. Not much. I don't have a fresh perspective on it. Should we go? No, we are not constructors and renovators. And these bullet holes do not warrant an investigation. Perhaps a crime of a sort ages ago? But no, these do not warrant an investigation. You okay there? You were looking pale there for a second. What are you looking at? Might be the after effects of your past escapades. What are you looking at? But... We are the police. But why? We work 12 hour shifts. We get shot at, spat on. Very poetic. Real poetry. Should we return to our murder investigation? I hear there's a really bad one we are supposed to solve. Hmm. Laziness, self-interest, and negligence certainly fit the doctrine espoused here. At least some people are willing to make the necessary sacrifices in order to reach higher and to better the world. Because we don't. We don't have our support or any of those other things. What happened? Did you? What else? How does it come off? I agree, officer. Let's focus on the hanging, and later some junior officers can take care of the rest. Nice and balanced. Some junior officers can take care of the rest. All of it? There are junior officers out there, eager to prove themselves. I would leave some for them, but okay. Let's find all of it. Okay, but where did you get the key from? Understood. This has been of limited use. Still, thank you. By that, you mean corruption? He can be very enterprising. All of it? There are junior officers out there, eager to prove themselves. I would leave some for them. 
and I would leave the boots to processing, but okay. Let's find all of it. It's certainly been an interesting development to witness firsthand. Yes, he certainly has a way of just coming out and saying things that normal people wouldn't. Or oh, he certainly likes to take his time with things, especially when politics are at issue. He's not the only one, it seems. <clears throat> not to interfere in your personal errand, but it might have something to do with that passphrase Cindy mentioned earlier. She said that you would need some kind of passphrase to gain access to this so-called mega-secret meeting. Of course you were, detective. Apologies for interrupting. You're right. How foolish of me. Won't happen again, detective. You go ahead and have your talk. I need a few things from Fritz anyways. We'll catch up later. No one is the new measure head. Let's go, before he gets up. <coughs> it's not good. This is the uncomfortable result of not taking it down ourselves. I can live with a compromise. And who are you? What is your business here? Why are your clothes four sizes too small for you? Spoken by a mercenary pretending to be a worker. I think this racist is better than the last. But the next racist will be the really good one. I don't think anything about this. We are wasting our time having this conversation. He will grant us three wishes. There always is. Hmm? You hear that? That sound. He's breaking something. Interesting. Do you? What thing? We already got in the harbor. You just want to hear about races, don't you? There must be another way to accomplish police work without racecraft. Yes, it would seem nonsensical. Access to the Union is important for our investigation. But there may be another way in. Without becoming a race theoretician. Please, stop doing this. You are making us look bad. Well done. Let's go. Finally. Let's go. Let's go, officer. Let's go do some work. Perhaps we should go and do some work now. We still need to get into the harbor. There's an interview to conduct. There must be another way. We still need to get into the harbor. We need help with the tree situation. There must be another way. We still need to get into the harbor. There's an interview to conduct. There must be another way. We still need to get into the harbor. We need help with the tree situation. There must be another way. We are not picking a side in this just yet, sir. Why not? I see numerous reasons not to pick a side in this local matter. I have a question. Why do all these men follow your leadership? Okay. Of course. Actually, I think we should maybe even get going now. I think we should maybe even get going now. Everyone understands you are the low. That's why you have that insignia on your arm. So you don't have to keep saying it. Yes, people get that you are the low. You really don't have to keep saying it. It would be better for the neighborhood if you went home. At least for now. If you can't get in anyway. Still smelling for communists, detective? Everything in order, detective? There's a lot to take in, isn't there? You're developing your... your smelling for... a personal errand? You know what? I'll just leave you to it. Carry on, detective. I'm struggling to see the connection with our investigation, but I'm sure all will be revealed in time. In the interest of our investigation, I suggest you focus on the case at hand. You can pursue your political projects after hours. Well, I'll be over here when you're finished. Uh-huh. No offense, detective. But you are not particularly subtle. We are not here on some political quest. We are here to solve a crime. Don't make the situation any more volatile than it already is. There must be some other way. Let's go see the yard again. It faces the other end of the harbor. We are done with Measure Head here. Let's think of something else. I'm not even sure the one bullet my chamber holds would even prick that hulk. And you're just going to let him manipulate you like that? Really? What happened? Couple of months? A year, maybe? What happened in there? René, finally! I thought I have to come looking for you. What took you so long? No, I don't. But you are reminding me of him more and more. It's not a compliment. I don't like it. You are really starting to remind me of him. It's not a compliment. I don't like it. That's probably best for everyone. Let's go, then. That's probably best for everyone. My condolences, of course. But solving this case will make you feel better. I promise. Hmm. Huh. So there is something we agree on after all. I didn't see it coming. But let's move, I'm getting cold. Based on other things he believes, I wouldn't put much weight on it. Now let's get back to work. Right. Did he teach you a way to turn back time? Wasn't that back when you became his race pupil? I hope you don't take offense if I don't pressure you for details. We really need to get back to work. Good, good, that's very good. I almost feel bad that we need to focus on our investigation now. But we do. Let's go. Oh, of course. I didn't realize that. Ah, oh, of course. 
Now it makes sense. I completely agree. Your current state seems to make you very vulnerable to suggestions. And he's got a lot of them. I hate to repeat myself, but was that not what happened back when you became his race pupil? Huh. So there is something we agree on after all. Didn't see that coming. But let's move, I don't like being up here. That's probably best for everyone. My condolences, of course, but solving this case will make you feel better about it, I promise. Based on other things he believes, I wouldn't put much weight on it. Let's get back to work. Ah, right. Did he teach you to turn back time? Shocking. Did you learn how to turn back time? But why? Actually, do me a favor and please don't tell me. Let's just quickly go and that'll be it. Him? But he's not going to, because this is not a schoolyard and we are not children. Rough like you know? Yes. I got that vibe from him too. Explains a lot. Let's go now. It's getting cold and it's too late to put him in a foster home. Everyone had it rough around here. It's a rough time, in a rough place. I'm not trying to belittle him, but find me Reva Sholian who didn't have it rough. They don't exist. All right, let's go. It's getting cold. Let's get back to work, detective. I don't like being up here. God damn it. It's becoming a thing now, huh? No, you don't. You need to help me find out who killed our hanged man. No, I cannot. Just make it quick, please. Another one? <sighs> Just make it quick, please. You go ahead and have your talk. I need a few things from Fritz anyways. We'll catch up later. No, really. We are not joined by the hip. You want to talk about women with him, and I want to do pretty much anything else. Don't let me hold you back. This again? Really? I promise he isn't. Just please make it quick. I'll organize my notes in the meantime. No, it won't be. And even if it were, it would be a waste of a minute. Just please make it quick. I'll organize my notes in the meantime. I promise you it isn't. Just please make it quick. I'll organize my notes in the meantime. You've got to be kidding me. What is this, detective? The lieutenant is a rank above sergeant and below captain. It's the highest rank in the RCM that still does field work. I am a lieutenant. The title of Yefrator is added to your rank when you decline a promotion to a higher rank. In your case, captain. You have declined twice, thus your double Yefrator. There are many reasons one would do this. The rank above you in your precinct's décomptage might be taken. Or sometimes promoted officers do not want to replace their superiors, out of respect. And sometimes they just prefer the type of police work available to their current rank, in your case, lieutenant. The lowest rank is junior officer, usually teenagers. Then there are the patrol officers, then sergeants, lieutenants, and then a captain. That's basically it, except for a few kings. Kings like satellite officers and the additional freighter rank I already explained. My pleasure. You are given the title of satellite officer if your partner is quickly promoted through the ranks and you rise with him. You don't seem to be a satellite. I'm not putting up with anything. You put your life on the line and we came out on top. That matters. No, I've been putting up with you because despite an unconventional approach, you are doing good police work. More than driving your motor carriage into the sea. The upside of that is, of course, you finding your badge. It matters more than driving your motor carriage into the sea. And now we've even found your badge. A new badge usually comes with a new rank. You seem to have been doing well then. Four months ago. Seems like a new document was recently made. One is handed to you as part of a promotion, or if you lose the old one. It's a tough station to work in. You have all of Jamrock to cover. That district should have three precincts, but money is what it is. But then again, it's a legendary district and a hell of a station too. It must be an honor and a curse to work with people like Price, McCoy, Berdiaeva. Harrier? That's long for Harry. So you are Harry. Evrat was half right. Probably not a lot of people know your full name. Whoever told him your Harry Dubois didn't. Harrier Dubois. It suits you. I'm going to call you Harry, since it's short for Harrier. Not strange at all. Your name is Harrier Dubois, like it says on your police badge. It's a wartime name. Revolutionary. The kind mothers give their sons during troubled times, like Undying or Boxer or Ironhide, Lieutenant W. Freighter. Yes, it's the designation of your precinct. 41, like mine says 57. The 57th is mostly industrial harbor, a lot of asphalt. The 41st is four months ago. I'm guessing that's when you were promoted to the rank of Lieutenant W. Freighter. That's just the serial number. 
Revachol, Jamrock, Prison 41, with some numbers thrown in there for good measure. Yes, uh, apparently you've had a rather successful career in the past, and this leads me to believe maybe your current situation is only temporary. Good. People have been through worse and gotten back on their feet, Lieutenant de Bally Freighter. I um, don't really know how to respond to that, Lieutenant de Bally Freighter. It does seem to be a rather special relationship the two of you have forged. Yes, Lieutenant de Bally Freighter. Décontage is the hierarchical system employed by the Revachol Citizens Militia. It means counting down to twos. Why? It's a cool name. I like it. Besides, you're Harry, anyway. No one's ever called Harrier. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Harrier Dubois. At least something good came out of all this. Doeorg, huh? I was always more of a Sid or Huldur guy myself. Please, let's not go through this again. No, thank you. <sighs> don't take it personally. Food of my choice, on my own schedule. I just don't want any. Please enjoy, and then let's move on. That's a ridiculous notion. We are not living in a highly ritualistic society where not sharing food with someone indicates animosity. We are in Revachol, where people ought to be free not to eat topping pie when they are not hungry. All done. Shall we? That wasn't terrible. Well, shall we? <sighs> Haven't I already proven that we are comrades or whatever by splitting that sandwich with you? Why? I thought it was the symbolism that was important, not the type of... Please, just enjoy the pie. Well, then, no, thank you. That depends on one's perspective. Please, just enjoy the pie. This isn't going to work. It doesn't even look like a name. Just a scratch mark. No, it's just a little line. Let's get an actual signature on top of it and it'll be fine. Yes, being an asshole makes this much easier. Let's go. We'll need to find you a new weapon and we'll need to hope to finish the case without Evrard's help. <sighs> you made the right choice. Now let's move out and solve this case. Yes, it's probably the smart choice. Any halfway competent notary should be able to handle this. Not getting her signature was probably the best thing to do. Of course, I should have seen it. Evrard probably has eyes on us, but if the second signature were to be somehow wrong... Forgery, yes. It would render the document invalid. I am not sure whether working with Evrard is particularly ethical either, but I understand and respect your position. Not a decision I would normally condone, but... Under the circumstances, I am not sure whether working with Evrard is particularly ethical either, but I understand and respect your position. Not the sort of act I would normally condone, but under the circumstances, if done discreetly, it may be the only way to save what's left of the village. I should have seen it. People will move away on their own accord. Yes, I suppose change always has a price. You probably don't have a pen? Here, you can keep this. I have another one. It's not the sort of act I would normally encourage, but under the circumstances, if done discreetly, it may be the only way to save what's left of the village. Now all we have to do is mail these. I think I saw a mailbox on the plaza. Now all we have to do is mail these. I think I saw a mailbox on the plaza. Any halfway competent notary should be able to handle these. Not getting their actual signatures was probably the best thing to do. Good. Evart will have to start over with his scheming. When Isabelle and Lillian dispute the signatures, the document will be rendered null and void. Yes. Too bad we can't see Evart's face when he finds out. No, it's just a little line. Let's get an actual signature on top of it, and it'll be fine. Of course, I should have seen it. People will move away on their own accord. I'm not sure they should. However, we'll need access to the coast before we do anything. Evart won't believe you got villager signatures if you can't even get to the village. You can try a forgery as soon as we can cross the waterlock. Hmm. Good. Evrat will have to start over with his scheming. When Isabel disputes her signature, the document will be rendered null and void. Any halfway competent notary should be able to handle this. Not getting Isabel's actual signature was probably the best thing to do. Evrat probably has eyes on us, but... We could try to get other people to sign this instead of those listed. Or you could forge their signatures yourself. By the time he finds out, we'll already be gone. I should have seen it. Yes. Too bad we won't see Evart's face when he finds out. I'm no property lawyer, but it looks fine. I like the print size. They're not selling or leasing anything. It's not a perfect solution, but I should have seen it. The people in the village are going to move out on their own accord sooner or later. All we can do now is not mail these to Evart's content. Your gun would probably stay missing, though. 
For what it's worth, I think you're doing the right thing. Firearms can be replaced. People, not so much. Let's go get it, then. Good. Evrat will have to start over with his scheming. When she denies that this is her signature, the document will be rendered null and void. A big political and military conflict. Ask around or buy a book. The revolutionaries, so the communards and the anarchists. White's their color. But the custom started in the suzerain's army, so it held meaning for the kingsmen too. This is the insulindian lily, called Mabel's or Lucille's tears during the revolution. Girls used to pin these on soldiers before sending them off to battle. It's about girls and boys more than sides. Girls sending off boys who are going to their deaths, then also dying themselves in the ruins from dysentery and consumption. It's a symbol of the civil war. Yes, but not this early, not to my knowledge. It looks dried, preserved. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. As I said, an insulindian lily or a maybell. Girls pin them on their boys during the revolution. Mysterious. Okay. Either way, we'll know when we find the girl. Okay. And? Hmm. What are you thinking? Bullet? What's your best guess? You mean some turn-of-the-century surplus firearm? An antique. That makes sense. There can't be many breech-loading rifles floating around in Martinez, or anywhere in Ravachol, really. I have to hand it to the monarchs. It's quite admirable that they took the advice of criminologists last century and banned the use of breech-loaders in peacetime. Sure, there's some arms trafficking, but the laws prohibiting the use of breech-loaders we inherited from the monarchy have been effective, from what I've seen. Some new RCM recruits get impatient with their muzzle-loaders once they've trained with military-grade weapons, but they realize it's worth it in the end. Imagine if everyone, cops, citizens, had access to firearms that could shoot multiple rounds without pausing to reload. After the first shot, the second, third, and so on come much easier. But back to the investigation. Doesn't seem that likely, but we'll check out all possible leads. Next step, finding the gun itself. Let's find out. Next step, finding the gun itself. What can you say about the bullet so far? Even the RCM uses ordinary and jacketed conical bullets. This is strange. Very strange. I like this, officer. Strange means unique. Unique means incriminating. We need to find a gun that shot it. A jacketed bullet. Okay. It would have been shot from a military-grade breech-loading rifle. Not from a muzzle loader, like those typically found on the streets of Martinez. What? Well, if I was the bullet, which I'm not, I would say, find the weapon that shot me. If we find who owns it, we will have likely found who used it, possibly to kill our victim. In conclusion, the more we know about this bullet of yours, the better. I'll pass. Thanks. Camaraderie? Thank you, but no, I'm not hungry. No. Then sure, let us strengthen our bond. Is it really necessary? Okay, okay. They are all necessary. Let's share the sandwich if it matters that much to you. Stop that! Some people would feel compelled to take it. Yes, I know. Sure, sure. Time to go solve a murder investigation. No, it's... it's okay. Let's share it, okay? I mean I'm not hungry, and therefore am not gonna take it. Thanks, though. No. Officer, we have serious matters to attend to. I suggest we get to them right now. I'm just not hungry. No. Great. Wonderful. Good job. I mean, why wouldn't you throw it? Wait, turns out I don't actually care. Leave it and let's go. But you go right ahead. Go through all that and then just dump it? You better just eat it. No need for dramatic gestures. Good. Very nourishing. Let's go solve crimes now. What's going on with you? Okay. Huh? Take what? Uh-huh. If by special you mean marred by extreme dysfunction, then yes, I suppose it is pretty special. I would say we share a perfectly average connection for two law officials working a case. I suppose we do work quite well together. It's true that you and I do share a similar addiction, but that's hardly remarkable among officers of the RCM. That happened exactly once, and only under extreme duress. We have never shared a sandwich, detective. Despite your heroic efforts, I might add. Did I? My bad, detective. Won't happen again. My apologies. I thought leaving your partner hanging was simply the style at the 41st. Like a magpie? What a coincidence. Then it would also have collected the other objects, which would be highly unusual. I can see how the helmet could wash up on the island. And the scope. Maybe Mr. Dross lost it. 
But to seek this out would be very unusual behavior for an arthropod. Like a magpie? What a coincidence. Then it would also have collected the other objects, which would be highly unusual. An octopus belongs to a very different class. It's not even an insect, it's a mollusk. But yes, I see your point. Phasmids are not capable of holding grudges. Only humans and some trekking predators do that. Yes, somehow she managed to lie to us. One more time. In a way, she's still lying to us right now. No, she lied to us. Her so-called real name was not her real name. Somehow she's managed to lie to us about that too. I don't know. But it was not Katarzyna Alasio or Anouk Meyer-Smith, or Classier. Whoever she is, when we get back, I need to warn our holding cells. We need to double the security around her. I don't know. But it's not Katarzyna Alasio or Classier, or Anouk Meyer-Smith. We didn't even scratch the surface with her, detective. Perhaps it's better that we didn't arrest her. Who knows what hell she'd be raising in my district by now. I don't know who Katarzyna Alasio is, but it's safe to say it's not her either. In short, we got light too, again. Good luck to whoever is questioning her in the 57th right now. I don't know who Katarzyna Alassio is, but it's safe to say it's not her either. In short, we got lied to, again. In a way, she's still lying to us. Maybe our man Mr. Dross took it from Classius, or whatever her name was, hiding place, or... Classius hidden documents. From the empty boy. Classius hidden documents. That she said would be in a boy on the coast. She said it would be for... Anouk Meyer-Smith. Anouk Meyer-Smith. Perhaps. But that still doesn't explain how it got into the nest. I can imagine. Something tells me there's not exactly a glut of young communists teaching to write about tip-top for la fumée. Ah, oh, come on. Can this article read your mind? I can safely say the thought had never crossed my mind, detective. I'm sure most things are, if the young men who wrote this article are to be believed. You can still like it, detective. Just because a couple of fools wrote an article doesn't mean it's true. If I had to wager, I'd say they've never even seen the inside of a motor, much less a motor race. I take whatever they write with a large grain of salt. A certain kind of young man reads one or two books and suddenly thinks he understands the secret structures of reality. Well, there you have it. No reason to get hung up on the pretentious ramblings of a few young men. You know, most people would just write a letter to the editor. Or even better, just leave it be. What do you expect? It was laying around the office of the Debarders Union. They're probably bankrolling the thing. The Samaran People's Republic? No, I should expect not. Why do you ask? I suppose that would be something to see. What you do in your spare time is your business. In the meantime, I would prefer you focus on our case. You know, not too long ago, I listened to a fascinating radio program on traditional Samaran folk dances. The costumes they wear are supposed to be extraordinary. In any event, no, I haven't seen any evidence there's a Samaran angle to this case. They're quite the spectacle, as I understand. I've heard they make the people in the front rows wear plastic sheets. On account of the blood, you see. I don't know either. You should take stock of those. Make sure it's all there. Official notes contain informants' names, undercover operatives even. If some of it has fallen into the hands of the RCM's adversaries, Bloodletting may well ensue. Do is thou also thorough inventories? You should take stock of those. Official notes contain informants' names and cover operatives even. If some of it has fallen into the hands of the RCM's adversaries, bloodletting may well ensue. Boring? Try dangerous. You should do a thorough inventory of that. Make sure some has not fallen into the hands of the RCM's enemies, organized crime, or worse. Official notes sometimes contain informants' names, even undercover operatives. Excuse me, I just have to ask again. How did it get in the trash? Okay, good. But why? What? Yes, uh, allergen watermark used for adding information to RCM property. It depends. Aside from an anti-counterfeiting stamp, mine has my station number and address. The information varies by date of issue. Any capable light with the right wavelength will do. Yes, RCM vehicles have had lights tuned especially to reveal halogen watermarks. Okay, what? That thing. It's a halogen watermark. We use it for adding information to RCM property. All RCM vehicles have had lights designed to reveal halogen watermarks. Mine too. Know that I give this to you with resentment. Huh? Two complex cases to undertake is a lot, yes. You really have to push yourself. I would not suggest it.
lest you start making mistakes. Good, yes. We can return to the dead body. By now, it smells exquisite. That's okay. We all make mistakes. I prefer a normal caseload. It's a matter of method. You mean the alphanumeric? Officer, precinct, time of arrival at the scene? Good. That's a good one. But do you also use the titular? Oh, you mean the titular? Yes, well, so do I. In our defense, almost everyone in the RCM does. Right, of course. Well, so do I. In our defense, officer, almost everyone in the RCM does. It's a holdover from the early days of the RCM. Right after the revolution, when the organization had little idea how to do things. It persists in an unofficial capacity. Officers use these titles to refer to their work among themselves. Again, in your defense, I seem to have named one the man with the hole in his head. That was a real person. His death was real. Still, I named it that, to amuse myself. I pray his loved ones never find out. Rail spiked through the head. He died. It was a workplace accident. Detective, is everything all right? Huh? Oh, yes, the name. Good. What is it? Huh? Yes. I have to tell you, officer, I don't appreciate ironic titles. Other officers will have to use this as reference. If it's idiot or cockfinger. Okay, okay. It's a good name, but it has one problem. This case has nothing to do with the setting sun. At all. It has nothing to do with that, so... Furies. Yes, well, I don't know. I have to be honest, I'm not experiencing the internal strife that it refers to. And also, could you make it less poetic somehow? Just a normal case name, you know? Think, what would that be? A good normal name. Great, that's great. That's actually what I was thinking too. The Hanged Man. Good, strong name. We have a very good name for the case now. I'm going to start calling it The Hanged Man. It's good we sorted this out. Oh, well, then maybe I can suggest one. The Hanged Man. Okay, then. The case doesn't need to have a name. Something more concrete, perhaps? Do you have something concrete? Mundane. Usual. They're not going to get it. They're going to think an idiot and a cockfinger were on this case. So, do you have something less funny? Oh, that's actually what I was thinking. The Hanged Man. I like that. A good, strong name. We have a very good name for the case now. Thank you. I think so too. Good and normal. Are you sure? I think it's pretty serviceable. You had to lose because of dark vibes? What are you talking about? Now, if you'll excuse me, that thing has filled me with the sudden urge to make sure mine is in perfect order. Two? That's a lot. I didn't mean to say you are making mistakes, by the way. That was presumptuous of me. Yes, how very childish of you. In your and my defense, almost everyone in the RCM uses the titular system, in addition to the official alphanumeric. No, actually. Any ideas? Officer, however damaged, that is still an official piece of paperwork. It probably contains notes on numerous ongoing investigations. It could even list undercover operatives, certainly informants. I suggest integrating it into your style, for all our sakes. <clears throat> I don't think this is the time to be going through personal effects. Let's move on. I'm sad to hear that. That's okay. We all do, sooner or later. You had to lose it for the bloodletting to begin? What are you talking about? Okay, no problem. In any case, we are lucky you found it. Make sure it's all in there. Official notes are... Well, they are dangerous. They contain confidentialities. End of recording. Court, it could be short for Cortenar, one of the other mercenaries, the one he was talking to. The third one must be relaying the signal. One of the other mercenaries, I think. The one he was talking to. A friend of his? A village on the Samaran Isola, in South Safre. Grad committed war crimes there, the kind of thing he talks about. Who knows? Maybe the tattoos would have an answer. Or maybe Kohoi is just murk talk for atrocity. Slaughter. No, the tattoos did not say so. They said he served on Semenine. I think Kohoi is murk talk for atrocity. Still, indeed, but I think we've got a few more questions for class here, don't you? This seems to contradict her testimony, at least to some degree. It seemed authentic enough, probably recorded off the shortwave, then edited to seem more incriminating. He sounded like he was on patrol around the harbor walls. The harbor? That's the son of a Kvalsund crane. Yes, 
It was just locker room talk. Good. We should give them a call from my kinema. See if we can learn anything about Billy Mejean. We already decided to let the station handle this case, so there's no need for us to call the library. We should first decide what to do with the body, before taking any other actions. Let's take another look at the body and talk things through. Good. We've examined the library card. That should be enough for our colleagues. Now we can call the station from my kinema and hand over the case. What's the matter, detective? That's probably for the best. Those books aren't exactly famed for their tight plotting. Are you really reading that, detective? Too bad, detective. If it's any consolation, the resolution is almost never very satisfying. And on that note, perhaps we should get back to making sense of our own case? Ah, yes. The problem with mass market paperbacks. They are not made to last. Perhaps this is a sign that you should get back to solving your own murder, eh, huh, detective? Well, you won't find it in there. Those books are much more about ravishing dames and gunplay than real police work. Good luck finding it. He's not much of a character, I think you'll find. Just a stand-in for the reader. What's the matter, detective? Then perhaps you should stop reading it. Sulislav. Wasn't he one of Miss Lucan and Kilda's co-workers? I remember coming across this name when we were reading her personal log. Does it say anything interesting? It belongs inside a radio computer, storing its memory. It's like a tape. You listen to disco tapes, right? It's like one of your disco tapes, only for a computer. Some local miscreant, probably. There are tons of them running around in Martinez, ready to stir up trouble. We usually dispatch our junior officers to deal with them. Really? You don't have a single guess? I'm placing my bets on a certain red-haired miscreant we met before. He'd probably try to pawn it for speed, based on our encounter. Oh, I'm sure that child would love to get his hands on a filament memory. Even if he doesn't know what to do with it, he'd probably try to pawn it for speed, based on our encounter. Looks like someone from that radio game company upstairs. I'm a little surprised they just left their property lying here. Someone who owns a radio computer? My guess is as good as yours, officer. That's a plausible hypothesis. That's implausible. I don't know. I assume it's somewhere close to the ice bear fridge. Good. I also know the alphabet. Maybe she had an accomplice. Either way, we need to keep an eye on her. No, it's dirty. Classy was the one who pointed the finger at Ruby. Perhaps she was trying to steer us away from herself, or... I wouldn't go so far as to say that. We have other reasons to arrest her. One thing is for certain. We have business back in the whirling and rags. Questions to ask. We should get to it. Besides, I'm not sure her life as a fugitive is going to be much better than with us. Either way, we need to keep an eye on her. Maybe there's a hardy boy we've yet to meet who acted as his accomplice. Either way, we need to keep an eye on him. I don't think she killed the mercenary. It looks like she might have been... framed? We could learn a lot from this. It's good she left in a hurry. We could learn a lot from this. What about this M? Could this be La Puta Madre? Here. March 9th and March 15th. By the Hardy Boys? By Classier? By us? There could be useful information about local operations in those notes. We have a junior sergeant at my station who's good with codes. I can give this to her after we finish this. The head of a major Jamro gang specializing in drug production and trafficking. A very bad person. Could have been Titus. Then again, it looks like she might have been... framed? Ah, no, I don't think you are. Ask someone in your precinct if you want to be sure. She was in plenty of trouble, even without the murder charge. Still, it's a nasty business. Either way, we need to keep an eye on him. Somewhere along the way, we might have been fed a lie or two. Oh, those are nice. Ah, more or less. See? I warned you, investing in your workers wasn't going to pay off. A little late for that, I think. Noble as that sentiment may be, it's not exactly a winning strategy in a game that revolves around resource extraction and exploitation. They're nice tokens, yes. Very impressive. Ah, that's the problem with certain games. At some point, they just end, as though no one expected the players to make it that far. Now, let's tally up the scores, shall we? That's up to you, detective. But remember, the objective of the game is to earn victory points for the suzerain. Well played, detective. That museum is worth three victory points. Hmm. Too bad investing in your workers just isn't worth many points. Come on, detective. Don't be a spoilsport. 
you'll have plenty of chances to earn your own points. The workers are just there to produce raw resources. You're not supposed to worry about them too much. Because the way you earn points is by pleasing the suzerain. And the player with the most points wins the game. You can't do that, detective. Well, I suppose you could try fulfilling some contracts. Or you might try to relocate your workers. There are any number of strategies open to you. This is a game of economic strategy. You can't directly attack the other players. You'll have to do something else. You do realize the game is called suzerainty and not workers' paradise, right? I don't think the suzerain cares much about the welfare of its workers. Here, watch this. No, not at all. I suspect this is going to be a rather low-scoring game. I have no idea what lesson you think you taught me. Somehow I don't think this is going to work out well for either of us. Now we find out what's left of our economies. Points are nothing. They don't exist. They're just an arbitrary convention that games use to reward or punish players for certain behaviors. There are some paranoid types who believe the moral intern keeps detailed score sheets for everyone in the real belt. But that's obviously nonsense. Now, I believe it's your turn. That's just the way it is. Game designers, I imagine. Otherwise, no. There are no points. Just your actions and the consequences of those actions. Now, I believe it's your turn. You know, detective, there's something admirable about that, in its own way. Let's tally up the scores, shall we? Yes, you're really sticking it to the game designers. Just like I'm about to stick it to you. Are you sure? It's going to take a while to set everything up again. Are you sure? It's going to take a while to set everything up again. Come on, detective. This is the end game. Let's just finish up quickly. You should probably pick one strategy and stick to it. Trying to do a little of everything is usually a bad idea. A risky gambit, detective. Sorry, it didn't pay off. Not bad, detective. An aggressive opening, detective. Well, winning is usually the point of playing games. Here, watch this. I'm not going to play with you if you are going to act like a child. Now come on, take your turn. Take a look at the scoring tables in the back. You see in table 8c that investing in territorial infrastructure multiplies your final victory point total by one, which is to say not at all. Whereas erecting monuments in Revachol gives you a multiplier of five. Yes, precisely. Now, let's tally up the scores, shall we? Uh, all right, you've convinced me. How do we play? I hope you learned your lesson. Never fuck with Kim Kitsuragi. Now, let's tally up the scores, shall we? Now, let's tally up the scores, shall we? Don't be a sore loser, detective. Your moves were your own. That might have helped, yes. In your dreams, maybe. I've thrashed my share of trash talkers before. Now, come on, let's put childish things aside. <sighs> Holy shit! The average playing time for this game is one to six hours. Hmm. I do feel like my thinking has become somewhat rigid. Maybe a little diversion to keep the mind limber is just what's in order. All right, detective, your turn. That's a subject for another time. All you need to know is that they are a powerful transnational organization, of which the coalition and by extension the RCM are but one small piece. I see you bring the same unorthodox technique to playing board games as you do to detective work. When I thrash you, I want to make sure it's by the book. As I recall, it was your turn, detective. As I recall, it was your turn, detective. Hmm, this doesn't look right to me. I think we need to start over, unfortunately. I've got 26 points. Looks like you won convincingly. Well played, detective. I've got 26 points. Don't be glum, detective. There's always next time. Figuratively, I mean. There's no way we have time to play this game again. I've got 15 points. A tie? Well, I suppose that's what we deserve for trashing the suzerain's economy. Good game, detective. I've got 15 points. Don't look too glum, detective. There's always next time. Figuratively, I mean. There's no way we have time to play this game again. Hey, at least you went out playing the game how you wanted. There's something to be said for that. Ouch! You know, detective, there's something admirable about that. In its own way. Come on, detective. You knew the rules of the game going in. That might have been a good idea, yes. Now. Let's tally up the scores, shall we? I've got 20 points. Well, there's always next time. Figuratively, I mean. There's no way we have time to play this game again. I've got 20 points. Now let's clean up and get back to work. All right, detective, you win. 
How do we play this game? What? You're not going to offer to let me punch any of them out? I'm not sure we can afford to set aside that kind of time for a game. That's a market. It's worth two victory points. Don't worry, it was mostly just luck. You'll earn some points soon enough. A communard. One of the leftist revolutionaries in the anti-centennial revolution. I have a feeling the figurines are more there to set the scene than anything else. Hmm. Good luck finding people who'd want to play as communards. Huh, interesting. A communard. The figurine is not a part of the rural game setting. I guess someone misplaced it during the packaging process. It is not. The communards are not a part of the game setting. I guess someone misplaced it during the packaging process. Let's talk to him anyway. An officer of the RCM shouldn't be sleeping in the street. We'll figure something out. Good to know. I'll be wherever is necessary in the morning, bright and early, 7.30 sharp. I'll also take a room at the Whirling. I'll also take a room at the Whirling. One cannot get much closer to the crime scene. You should take care of that then. Let's continue tomorrow, bright and early, 7.30 sharp. I'll be waiting downstairs. You certainly have been avoiding it. Do that. I'll be waiting for you downstairs tomorrow. We can pick up where we left off tomorrow morning. Above all, though, today was exhausting. What's with all the running? You run a lot. Is that a standard Precinct 41 practice? It's impressive, especially for a man your age. And in those hills. Where shall we begin? We should talk about the investigation, first and foremost. But I also remember you wanting to discuss the RCM. They're quite limited, actually. The power officers of the Revachol Citizens Militia exercise most frequently is imposing fines of up to 1,000 real for offenses, in accordance with an interdepartmental schedule. Yes, although indirectly, as citizens can always request records from their local station. Officers of the RCM have been known to take bribes of less than the prescribed fine amount. It undermines trust in the RCM. The RCM's primary role is to ensure safety. We are not really supposed to play any part in the economic structure of Revachol. We can arrest people, of course, but rather than bringing someone in directly, it's preferable to serve a station cold sleep. It prevents confusion and overcrowding. You can't. Those who don't show up become fugitives, though, and have fewer legal rights when they are eventually caught. It's about power projection. Thus far, they seem to mostly show up. We are permitted to use whatever force we deem necessary, even lethal. You have to supply compelling evidence for why it was necessary to use lethal force. In these cases, your partner is usually your witness. Yes. The last time was four years ago. That's an improbability. Perhaps even impossibility. Not a good position to be in, by the way. Internal Affairs handles these cases thoroughly, by cross-examining you for inconsistencies. It is hard to cover for anyone, which is for the best. Prison 41 is known for a higher-than-average rate of police violence, perhaps. But Prison 41 is known for a higher-than-average rate of kills. Then you shot him in the chest, which wasn't ideal, and we still have to get him down from the tree. And the moral intern, more broadly, but yes. The coalition government, and the moral intern, more broadly. The RCM was formed by the coalition government to restore order in the international zone after the revolution. So we did. Now we attempt to maintain that order. No more, no less. Or perhaps it is better to say we were allowed to form. It's a point of contention whether the citizens of Revachol or the coalition government founded the RCM. Then you shot the body down, which was quite the shot. You really got him talking. And now we know a lot about local politics, including Claire's ambitions and drug trade, and also have some viable suspects. You really got him talking. And now we know a lot about local politics, including Claire's drug trade, and also have some viable suspects. You really got him talking. And now we know a lot about the union, and also have some viable suspects. You got him to talk to you about both the union and the murder. So we are definitely making progress there. You got him to talk to you about the union. But he wouldn't talk to you about the murder without having you do a favor for him first. You got him to talk to you about the union, and even his drug trade. But he wouldn't talk to you about the murder without having you do a favor for him first. You got him to talk to you about the union, and even his drug trade. But he wouldn't talk to you about the murder. You got him to talk to you about the union, but not the murder. Though he wasn't forthcoming about the union, you got him talking about the murder. Good one, that. Though he wasn't forthcoming about the union, you got him talking about the murder. And now we have some viable suspects. Though he wasn't forthcoming about the union, you got him talking about the murder. And now we have some viable suspects. Moreover, 
we learned something about Claire's personal ambitions in all of this. He wasn't particularly forthcoming with useful information, however. Yeah, it's getting very cold now. Let's go. And there's still much to do at the crime scene, too. We didn't search it thoroughly enough. But we performed a thorough search of the premises of the crime scene. That's great. It's not my job to evaluate your methodology, officer. I'm just going through the facts. As for the interviews, we are both doing our best under the circumstances. Just don't drink tonight, please. As for the interviews, what if this murder is important? As for the interviews, we are both doing our best under the circumstances. Just don't drink tonight, please. As for the interviews, it's not my job to evaluate your methodology, officer. I'm just going through the facts. As for the interviews, what if this murder is important? As for the interviews, then you shot him in the chest, which wasn't ideal. But we did manage to get him down from the tree. So as they say, all's well that ends well. Right. As for the interviews, being sober also tends to help with precision. But moving on to the interviews, being sober tends to help with precision. But moving on to the interviews, on this occasion, I must agree. At any rate, your shot enabled us to perform a field autopsy on the victim. We didn't learn much, though. On this occasion, I must agree. We still have to perform the autopsy, though. And there's more work to be done at the crime scene. I admit I wasn't sure whether I should give you the gun, but I'm glad I did. We still have to perform the autopsy, though. And there's more work to be done at the crime scene. It was something. We still have to perform a field autopsy, though. And there's more work to be done at the crime scene. I admit I wasn't sure whether I should give you the gun, but I'm glad I did. Your shot enabled us to perform a field autopsy on the victim. I just wish we'd learn more. It enabled us to perform a field autopsy on the victim. We didn't learn much, though. Unfortunately, the body is still decomposing in the yard. We should take care of that as soon as possible. It would have been even better if we had been able to examine the bullet. But what really worries me is that the body is still decomposing in the yard. Very important indeed. Well, we conducted an interview with Evrard Claire, I'm sure. Well, we conducted an interview with Evrard Claire. Our inspection was also very thorough, and we've already started following up on leads. Mm -hmm. Including Evrard Claire, a daunting adversary, if there ever was one. But despite your misanthropy, we conducted an interview with Evrard Claire. No small task. I'm glad we can agree on that, at least. I hope your confidence will translate into results, officer. <sighs> one doesn't need to like the people one is interviewing. Indeed, it's better if you don't. Not always the right people, I'm afraid. I look forward to that. As for the interviews, either way, we'll have to approach him again. Anyway, as for the interviews, right. Then we performed the field autopsy on the victim. We didn't learn much, though. Right. We still have to perform the autopsy, though. And there's more work to be done at the crime scene. Being sober also tends to help with precision. Anyway, we performed the field autopsy on the victim. We didn't learn much, though. Being sober also tends to help with precision. At any rate, we still have to perform the autopsy. And there's more work to do at the crime scene. Being sober tends to help with precision. Anyway, we performed the field autopsy on the victim. We didn't learn much, though. Being sober tends to help with precision. At any rate, we still have to perform the autopsy. And there's more work to do at the crime scene. Moving on to the interviews. However, you found that the hanged man wasn't just hanged. He was also shot. That was some excellent detective work. Just don't get carried away. At any rate, your shot enabled us to perform a field autopsy on the victim. We didn't learn much, though. Just don't get carried away. At any rate, we still have to perform the autopsy. And there's more work to be done at the crime scene. In addition, we got that body down from the tree. And performed the field autopsy on the victim. We didn't learn much, though. I would say our initial inspection was very thorough. And we have solid leads to follow up on. In addition, we got that body down from the tree. We still have to perform the autopsy, though. And there's more work to be done at the crime scene. As for the interviews, as for the interviews, I look forward to that. As for the interviews, I look forward to that. As for the interviews, the autopsy may reveal additional importance. As for the interviews, our inspection could have been more thorough, as it always can. But we have some leads we can follow up on. The autopsy may reveal additional importance. As for the interviews, it's not my job to evaluate your methodology, officer. I'm just going through the facts. As for the interviews, <sighs> we're both doing our best under the circumstances. Just don't drink tonight, please. 
As for the interviews, we're both doing our best under the circumstances. Just don't drink tonight, please. As for the interviews, it's not my job to evaluate your methodology, officer. I'm just going through the facts. As for the interviews, we did perform a thorough search of the crime scene, though. That's great. Now, for the interviews, and there's still work to be done at the crime scene. Now, for the interviews, well, we will have to work through that. Claire also helped you, how should I say, remember your name? That's a relief. You can look into the process of changing your name after we finish this investigation. That's normal. It's best not to give it too much thought. Moving on. Your personhood was never in doubt, officer. Moving on. I would advise against that, officer. Moving on. Although I see the appeal, being thus adrift interferes with performing one's duties. Moving on. Change? No, not exactly. But I think all of us at some point imagined what our lives might have been had we been something else. And then we feel trapped by the names we've been given as symbols of the intentions and expectations of others. Even if I were to change my name now, upon hearing any syllable that sounds like Kim in the street, I turn to see who was calling me. But let's move on to the Wild Pines rap. But let's talk about Joyce Messier for a moment. Getting her to really talk to us took fantastic interpersonal skills and perseverance. Good work, detective. I have a feeling Joyce knows how dangerous the situation really is. We have to get her to talk to us. I have a feeling that she knows how dangerous the situation really is. We have to get her to talk to us. No, we didn't. It's very important that we do it tomorrow, latest. I have a feeling Joyce knows how dangerous the situation really is. We have to get her to talk to us. We tried to interview the Wild Pines rep, but she asked us to do something for her first. But fine, so be it. We learned some interesting things along the way. We have to get Joyce to talk to us. I have a feeling she knows how dangerous the situation really is. But we also have to be careful about what we share with her. Moreover, you found that the hanged man wasn't just hanged. He was also shot. That was some excellent detective work. Indeed. We have to get Messier to talk to us. I have a feeling she knows how dangerous the situation really is. But we also have to be careful about what we share with her. All right, but... And forgive me, this has been bothering me since this morning. How have you managed to run around all day wearing only one shoe? All right, but... And forgive me, this has been bothering me since this morning. How have you managed to run around all day wearing no shoes? Nice shoes, by the way. I like the green. Goes with the orange. Well, there seems to be a shoe that is a match to the one you're wearing further down the balcony. Perhaps you can collect it when we're done talking. Well, there seems to be at least one shoe further down the balcony. Perhaps you can collect it when we are done talking. Imagine how much faster you could run wearing a cool patent leather shoe on each foot. It's impressive, to say the least. For a man your age, especially. Those are some stylish shoes too, by the way. Those loafers. Must be hard to run in those like you do. It's impressive, to say the least. For a man your age. But I guess those sneakers are a perfect fit for running around. Goodbye, that. Yes, the international community's mission in Ravachol. And the moral intern, more broadly. And you managed to locate and pull out the bullet. So we can get ballistics, make of the gun. All this is invaluable. Now then, we should talk about the investigation. But I also feel you're a bit hazy on the RCM. Our role here, our rights, our jurisdiction, basically. I apologize, but I only brought one with me. I have exactly one cigarette every night while going over my notes. You're cold, detective. Again, I only have exactly one every night. If you want to smoke like a rock and roll star, that's up to you. Again, I only have exactly one every night. You mean this? This isn't cool. It's an unnecessary trial of will and unhealthy. I have a cigarette every night when I go over my notes. It's something of a ritual. Yes, it's been a long and even full day. Be sentimental if you like. Either way, the Moralinton leases us the right to keep the peace in this city, and they will take it away if we misuse it. It's probably more honest, yes. Either way, the Moralinton leases us the right to keep the peace in this city, and they will take it away if we misuse it. The Moralist International are the world's largest political organization. You know who they are. They have been running this place after the revolution failed. What do they believe in? They are DeLoreans. The they believe they continue the humanist project set forth by her innocence Dolores Day four centuries ago. Others say they are just technocrats. Interesting question. It's a blue forget-me-not. Their motto is love, compassion, self-discipline. 
I think you can gauge what they want you to think of them from that. A historic figure? The author of the modern age? You will have to look elsewhere for opinions. The subject of humanism is too abstract for me. The moral intern are a fact. I try not to have opinions on facts until they change. And it doesn't look like that's about to happen. Yes, I did, when I was younger. In my twenties, I considered myself a moralist. A blue forget-me-not, a piece of the sky. They're not all that bad, but the years have changed that. I don't know what I believe in now. No, I believe in the RCM. That's enough for me. Do you? No. We are stooges of the world's biggest bourgeois organization, protecting the people of Revachol. That's the hand we were dealt. Without the MI, we would be common vigilantes. Well, you were so hungover that you couldn't keep it down when we approached the hanged man. So we didn't even inspect the body. In fact, we would need them even if you didn't think that way. We are in what is called the twilight of international law. The laws we claim to enforce come from the MI. Without them, we are simply vigilantes. We are in what is called the twilight of international law. The laws we claim to enforce come from the MI. Without them, we are simply vigilantes. We don't convict. We arrest and send them to coalition government courts in Couron and La Delta. The prosecution works off our testimonies and records, which is why it's paramount to keep them. Well phrased. I understand answering to foreign powers doesn't sit well with immigrant bashing, but without the EMI, we would be common vigilantes. That's just the way it is. My kind of police officer. Me too. But I wouldn't count on any drastic changes in our lifetimes. Spoken like a revolutionary, not a cop. But hypothetical aside, in Martinez we already are vigilantes. At least the Union thinks so. I expect our job here to prove quite challenging. Then you will adore Martinez. For many of these people, the Union especially, vigilantes is precisely what we are. Personally, I don't enjoy it much. Sadly, it is what we already are to the people of Martinez, most of them at least, especially the Union. Vigilantes. I expect our job here to prove quite challenging. The dying lights of the city shimmer below. Slowly, like luminous clouds, they pass on his lenses. The lieutenant looks at his slim cigarette, contemplating the next drag. Probably not. Anyway, positive change happens slowly. We never really get to see the impact of our actions. They really don't like us here. And the mouth on that kid, Kuno. It's different in land, in Jamrock and the GRIH. They really don't like us here. The Union, the teenagers too. It's different in land, in Jamrock and the GRIH. It's our fault for leaving this place to the dogs, to the Union, to the company, not daring to come here more often. It's like I told you, this place is an orphan, fallen between the cracks. That seems unwise to me. But it's too late for an all-out political debate. It's our fault for leaving this place to the dogs, to the union, to the company, not daring to come here more often. This place has fallen between the cracks, the jurisdictions of our two precincts. We run this city. West of the river is our CM land. It's incredibly hard. Human beings are... But we are in control, and it's worth it. The organization works. Our systems work. If they didn't, the city would disintegrate. There are a union of center-left and center-right parties across the real belt. Our coalition government is just one of its many projects. They also run the ICP, EPIS, most intergovernmental organizations in the world. Silence. A great comment to such a conundrum. Okay. There are a union of center-left and center-right parties across the real belt. Our coalition government is just one of its many projects. They also run the ICP, EPIS, most intergovernmental organizations in the world. Well, we didn't really look at the body. All right, but, and forgive me, this is just something I have to ask. If you have shoes, then why aren't you wearing them? Suit yourself. But you should probably consider wearing them anyway. Well, we didn't even look at the body. Now, as for interviews, my list of people to talk to here in Martinez, I mean, we conducted an interview with Everard Claire. Well, we inspected the victim's body, so that's good. It was not easily approachable in that state, but we did it. We couldn't conduct an interview with Everard Claire because you refused to take a seat. We met Everard Claire, but you left the conversation abruptly before we could really interview him. We met Everard Claire, but didn't conduct a full interview. 
So that's one for the to-do list. The body is still hanging from that tree, which is unfortunate. And there's still much to do at the crime scene. I still feel like we are missing something. And there's still work to do at the crime scene too. I still feel like we missed something. But at least the corpse has been refrigerated. There's still work to be done at the crime scene though. I still feel like we missed something. But maybe the boys in processing will surprise us. We still have work to do at the crime scene. We didn't get to meet Evrard Claire, but we did get into the harbor. It'll be easier to reach him tomorrow. We weren't able to find the union leader, Evrard Claire, much less interview him. So that's on the to-do list for tomorrow. We interviewed Joyce Messier, the Wild Pines rep, and learned a lot. None of it very good news for us or Martinez, but we tried to interview the Wild Pines rep, but she asked us to do something for her first. Fine, so be it. We talked to Joyce Messier, but didn't get any information from her. I have a feeling Joyce knows how dangerous the situation really is. We have to get her to talk to us. We didn't talk to the Wild Pines rep. We really must do that tomorrow. The Union muscle finally turned up, and they look rowdy. We need to talk to them. I've got some good news. I took care of the body. The thought of him decomposing in my MC wouldn't let me sleep. I mean, ungovernable. Martinez isn't exactly enthusiastic about the RCM being here. They prefer to be policed by the Union. These men here. In fact, even the death of two detectives might not warrant an all-out war. So let's keep a cool head, okay? That would just escalate tensions. No captain would sign off on it. Solving one murder isn't worth a conflict between the RCM and the Debarders Union. Everything points to the Dock Workers Union. The belt used for hanging him. The circumstances in Martinez. My preliminary information. Everything points to the Dock Workers Union. The tracks in the mud. The circumstances in Martinez. My preliminary information. We can't be sure, of course. Evart may have lied to us. He definitely has an agenda of his own. Either way, we need to interview them, and it won't be easy. Which may, of course, all be wrong. But we still need to talk to them, and it won't be easy. A lot of things point to the Dock Workers' Union. The circumstances in Martinez, my preliminary information... Uh, mm, actually, that's not a lot of things. We should have dug up more yesterday. Still, we need to talk to them, and it won't be easy. Men who drink beer for breakfast... I have no doubt these are the hearty boys Evra told us about. The ones who keep the peace around here. Men who drink beer for breakfast? There's talk of an armed wing of the Union called the Hardy Boys, who are responsible for state policing. I think it's them. And the big one must be Hardy himself. I completely forgot. Sorry, I had a rough night's sleep. It's them by the looks of it. Loud and nasty, just like the manager said. Looks like we can get to work at once. The Union muscle turned up. They look rowdy. We should talk to them. This is clearly the Union's peacekeeping force Evrard told us about. The one he said hanged our victim. One loose thread less to worry about. And one big problem to replace it. Looks like we can get to work at once. The Union muscle turned up. They look rowdy. We should talk to them. One more thing before we do. We don't have to talk to them immediately. We can walk right past them. Continue with our business. They're in no hurry to leave. They think they own the place. Anyway, I leave that choice to you. Whatever you decide is fine by me. And one more thing. This was very good work, detective. I'm just glad he's gone. We have other matters to attend to. Well, he's in processing now. We have other matters to attend to. Well, he's in processing now. We have other matters to attend to. I'm just glad he's gone. We have other matters to attend to. I understand you sometimes employ extreme interrogation tactics, but I want you to understand that was too extreme. We can't have RCM officers going around putting guns in their mouths. We can't afford to have that image. Few institutions can. The gloaming? Now, that's exactly what we can't have. Couldn't have put it better myself. I would need to recontextualize the hell out of that. Now let's go. And let's keep guns out of our mouths. And not say anything about any gloaming or anything like that. The theatrical suicide attempt. We need to talk about it. Good. I'm glad we had this talk. After you. Yes. Very, very, very wrong. I'm glad you see it my way. Let's go. No need to apologize. Just keep your gun out of your mouth and we'll be alright. Let's move. No. You are not. You are not going to put your gun into your mouth when we interrogate people. That is never going to happen again. Never. Now let's go. Phew. No, no. We are talking about it. 
I was able to recontextualize it as a dark joke. I will not be able to recontextualize it the next time. We do. I was able to recontextualize it as a dark joke. I will not be able to recontextualize it the next time. Yes. Well, I was able to recontextualize it as a dark joke. I will not be able to recontextualize it the next time. I don't know why she left you. Let's go. Yes, well, I was able to recontextualize it as a dark joke. I will not be able to recontextualize it the next time. No, you're not. Miss! Would it help if we offer to show you our badges? Madame, I assure you, we are real police officers. Actually, there is a shortage of people who talk to us in a normal, calm, informative manner. Let's be realistic. What are you going to do? Climb up there? Fuel? That wasn't paint. It was heavy fuel oil, marked red for use by government vehicles. Red dyed heavy fuel oil, intended for exclusive use in government vehicles, to be precise. That fuel oil was marked red for use by government vehicles only. Oh well, nothing we can do about it now. My fuel oil is for my kinema. Use your own fuel if you are unable to contain your artistic impulses, but please, leave my kinema out of it. Go where? Accosting a minor? The streets will not flow red with anything. Who are you? Or a weakness for police officers, miss. Thank you, either way. It was not a concern of mine. Yes, we should go talk to her. She is a professional negotiator, though. I have the feeling she will be very cooperative while telling us nothing. Probably the Wild Pines rep. We should talk to her. She is a professional negotiator, though. I have the feeling she will be very cooperative while telling us nothing. <clears throat> Not to interfere in your personal errand, but I wonder whether it might have something to do with that phrase Maniana mentioned overhearing. You're right. How foolish of me. Won't happen again, detective. Of course you were, detective. Apologies for interrupting. Remember Dobreva and Abadanaiz. You should take the lead. Ask her unexpected questions, you know? Do your thing. Don't be afraid to get a bit wacky. Throwing her off is our best bet. No, we will not check anyone down today. Great. A little foray into the art world continues. Perfect, she isn't interested. All the more reason to move on from this little side task. We have a policy that means we cannot hire any Skull members onto the force. Do you know something about that? True. They never cleaned up the war damage. The rest of Revachol looks better, though. The bridge is fine enough. Locals use it all the time, after all. It's nothing to worry about. Shall we? Still smelling for communists, detective? Everything in order, detective? A personal errand. You're smelling for... You're developing your... There's a lot to take in, isn't there? You know what? I'll just leave you to it. Carry on, detective. I'm struggling to see the connection with our investigation. But I'm sure all will be revealed in time. You do remember that we're investigating a murder, yes? I would appreciate it if you reserved your political project for after hours. Well, I'll be over here when you're finished. Uh-huh. No offense, detective, but you're not particularly subtle. A coalition. But that was a long time ago. I think we should move on. It's chilly up here. <clears throat> Opinions expressed here do not reflect the official position of the RCM. My position, ma'am? My parents got ripped to shreds in the revolution. I would have gone the same way. I was saved by being two years old. That's my position. The abattoir. Yeah, it was a kerfuffle, all right. Or you could not eat all the candy at once. Let the ma'am rest for a while and return to this later? This does not represent the official RCM opinion. Yes. Knowing this does not really change our position, however. No. If there is reasonable suspicion, we must investigate. Otherwise, she could claim we are siding with the Union. Or that we are on their take. We'd never hear the end of it. What I propose is, we ask her, then we investigate. Briefly. But do not share the outcome of this investigation with her. We tell her it's done and demand for her information on the lynching. Oh, that would be fantastic, but do we have the time? The world is large and your badge is 8 by 6 centimeters. You could request a new one from your station, but that would literally take months. I'm sure you will, detective. It would not hurt if you tried more in the future, yes. This isn't going very well. Honestly, I was expecting you to use your unorthodox technique to keep her off balance and, you know, not volunteer us to be her henchman. This woman is running circles around us. She might have known about your misplaced badge all along, or she's simply an adept improviser. Either way, we've played straight into her hands. I wouldn't go that far. Her reaction did come off as sincere to me. I think she's just quick to adapt. She's a professional, after all. 
This may seem like odd behavior for a police officer, ma'am, but it's a perfectly common side effect of his uh, unusual medical episode. You're right, ma'am, that donations are permitted under the Emergency Act, uh, unseemly as it may be, as long as they are properly logged with a precinct. Uh, no, he's not. Our friend here has quite a sense of humor, part of his technique, you see. <clears throat> no matter, detective. We are losing the threat again. Disappeared? Thank you for your concern, ma'am. We'll be just fine. The Wayfarer Act specifically denies the RCM the authority to demand anyone's operator license. It's a little known fact among us low officials. His medical condition makes him a little grumpy, ma'am. I hope that's not a problem. Actually, you don't. And this is my colleague from Prison 41, Detective Dubois. And this is my colleague from Prison 41. Ah, <sighs> good. We won't be needing to go to my kinema then. It is a little known fact among those who police that the Wayfarer Act specifically denies the RCM the authority to demand anyone's operator license. Well, at least this solves one mystery. Why I had to call East Motor Tract and beg them to open a drawbridge for me. I'd wonder since I first drove in, on my motor carriage. I was just being polite. Even school children know the Wayfarer Act. How about you share your information on the lynching, now that you've seen his badge? Unless it's their passport. No. Do you want to ask for the lady's passport? No need to resort to self-pity, detective. You can still ask for her passport. No need to politicize this. You may still ask for the lady's passport. I'm afraid my partner doesn't shake hands. Please, don't take offense. I'm enjoying this part of the interview. It has so little to do with the murder we're investigating. Detective, may I remind you that Mrs. Messier is a professional negotiator? That is good to hear, madame. My colleague will take the lead on this interview. I should let you know that he is recovering from an unusual medical episode. Very unusual. But I can assure you of his ultimate competency. I told you his methods are unconventional. Except he isn't. The thoughts happen inside his brain. Don't worry, he'll be fine. It's all part of his unusual medical condition. Continue, please. He has questions. Don't worry, he'll be fine. It's all related to his unusual medical episode. Continue, please. He has questions. But the strike began in December. This isn't the first time the Union has gone on strike. And when did you first arrive? And how are the talks going? My colleague has his peculiarities. Let's not go into this particular one just yet. What the man means is that the Emergencies Act and the RCM both get their authority from the coalition government. Excuse me, from whom did you hear about this lynching? A mob. The debarders are a crime syndicate. Sad as it may be, we are forced to cooperate with them. Of course, ma'am. We should have introduced ourselves. I am Lieutenant Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. And this is my colleague from Precinct 41. I'm afraid he doesn't have his badge at the moment. I hope mine will suffice. As I said, ma'am, his technique may be very unconventional, but he is an officer of the RCM. I understand the dictates of protocol, ma'am, but is there no way around it? And this is my colleague from Prison 41, Detective Dubois. I'm afraid Harry doesn't have his badge at the moment. I hope mine will suffice. Detective, a word in private before we continue. Ingredients for what, ma'am? While Pine seems to be well apprised of the local drug trade, ma'am. Do you mean to say the Union also produces the product? Sells drugs, I mean? We know the company has launched its own probe into the Union's alleged involvement. We also know it's come up empty. It's not just the RCM. No one's been able to find any hard evidence. There was a shakedown of local businesses preceding the strike. Many were squeezed to bankruptcy to fund it. Or not. Though, if you have evidence to the contrary, I'm eager to hear it. It appears we are being monitored every step we take, colleague. Did we have any other business here? If there is an investigation, it will be part of an ongoing operation, subject to confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Actually... That motor carriage has been specially issued to serve as a patrol and pursuit vehicle. It's for crossing long distances in the Greater Ravachol Industrial Harbour. It's not a toy. Ideas like this one are all part of his rare medical condition, ma'am. Nothing to be worried about. It appears you found it, yes. And I'm not happy for you. Do you know a lot about the inner workings of the RCM and the ICP, ma'am? meaning they are used to operating in war zones. What is the purpose of this, detective? What would you say was his eye color? The deceased. That's all right, ma'am. Anything else? Nationality? What would you say was his age? Indeed. This matches the dental reconstruction we saw on the body. What else? 
nationality, accent, what else? Nationality, accent, and that seems to corroborate the ethnicity we gave. Had him down as Mondial. Should change it to Occidental. It was taken with a trigger not long ago. This is the man's upper body. There were no more markings on his hands or legs. You said you can't read it. They don't report their progress to you? Since you are sharing, ma'am. This is also the RCM's worst case scenario. What next? We will be careful, ma'am. Odd. We haven't heard any reports about an assault in connection with the lynching. Where did it take place? And when? Did you miss the part about ceramic armor and automatic weapons, detective? Every worker and the other must be in one of the four-story buildings overlooking the roundabout. He or she was reporting back to you while we were canvassing the lorry drivers. Ma'am, with all due respect, I've been around Martinez and there's a giant hulk of a man in ill-fitting clothes at the harbor gates. Mr. Right to Work. His heart really isn't in it. For all your talk of averting this catastrophe, the situation at the gate is a border keg. Does this not bother you? Your concern may be appearances. Ours is keeping the peace. Where is your radio for contacting them, if I may ask? Do you have an earpiece? This does not come as news to us, but still. To your knowledge, where did this assault take place, if you know? Occidental. That fits the statement of another witness. Who are they, exactly? So, what happened? What is the nature of this so-called investigation? The Debarda have over 2,000 men. It will be a thousand to one. You're right, detective. That whole undertaking was very unimportant. Why did we do it? Yes, detective. What were you hoping to accomplish with this strange thing? Truly. But that's how he operates. He just does things, ma'am, and then talks about them, even if it's inappropriate. Frankly, what was done was not pretty at all, but neither was it illegal. And it was not for nothing. I advise you to be very selective with what information you choose to share. This may have consequences beyond our line of sight. There's always that risk, ma'am. But if I may offer my opinion, he means it. We cannot discuss the specifics of an ongoing investigation, ma'am. Besides, you haven't exactly been forthcoming yourself. I've seen the Union's forces. They are better organized than these mercenaries. They also have the support of the people of Revachol West. It will take more than Connell to wipe them out. Wild Pines will need to send more and better equipped men. Make no mistake, ma'am. I am sure you have the money. The question is, how many years and how many lives are you willing to sacrifice? Officer? One day you will realize you can't simply go around saying these things about the citizens we are here to protect. Ah, <sighs> maybe so, detective. But that doesn't mean we are not obliged to try and stop it. Unconventional police officers sometimes lose their guns. They then go around and tell people about this, to gauge their reactions. It's all part of detecting. Ma'am, this may well unravel property law this side of the river. If that occurs, we may never see the end of this kind of confrontation. The next time there will be two strikes, then four, then a hundred. We do for this, officer. The gangs will run wild, jacking motor carriages, ferrying amphetamines through Cold City. Spring is tough in Revachol. Please, don't get him in a loop. If he gets in a loop, it will last forever. Ask him to say something else, please. That's right, detective. And next time, you should confer with them before you go setting events in motion. Don't worry, madame. I am very sane. How far along is Cronell's investigation? You're wrong, detective. And next time, you should confer with those superiors before you go setting events in motion. The position of my unusual colleague does not reflect official policy. I hope you understand. The RCM does not pick sides. The RCM does not pick sides in this, madame. I hope it doesn't come off any other way. And if it were a conflict, the RCM would not pick sides. My colleague's unusual approach to police work does not represent the organization at this time. The RCM does not pick sides in this. I hope it doesn't come off any other way. In all good humor, that was a donation. It has been registered and it will yield you no favors. Another thing. Detective, I advise you to be very selective with what information you choose to share. This may have consequences beyond our line of sight. One that has apparently driven local shops out of business. We're not at liberty to discuss that, ma'am. You will find he doesn't approve of foreign wisdom. It's part of his condition. You will find him a big fan of the ancient ways. It's part of his condition. My reality-impaired colleague is not so far off. Many of the RCM's fashions, even weapon preferences, borrow heavily from classic Vesper time cop shows. My precinct alone has three officers who go by the name Ace. But please, do continue this reality exploration. I was just remarking. Yes, we are the Revachol citizens' militia. Yes, 
all of them. We are, except the ones who are philosophers. All three are good to know when we are out policing. That's somewhat of an exaggeration. In reality, ours is a mutually beneficial arrangement. Ravacholians get to keep the peace in Ravachol, and the coalition doesn't have to worry about it. <coughs> anyway, sorry to intrude. Please continue. Except the ones who are detectives, naturally. Hmm. Seditious talk, ma'am. Don't be faced, madame. He functions perfectly well. He only needs a low down on all of reality. Don't be faced, madame. He functions perfectly well. He only needs a low down on all of reality. Yes. Also, I think we've had enough excitement for today. We do have a case to attend to. Ma'am, remember you are dealing with a very sensitive and impressionable police officer who is still recovering from a recent medical episode. We've been through this. Ask something else or let's return to work. Yes. Why don't you tell Mrs. Messier what you told me? Hmm? Are they now? Yes. There is a stranger reason, isn't there? Ma'am, this philosophical police detective is very sensitive and impressionable because of his recent medical episode. Fine. Yes. There is a stranger reason, isn't there? Fine. Good. You have not passed out from it. Perhaps I worried for nothing. Are we still on the reality lowdown, or should we do actual police work now? Good. You have not passed out from it. Perhaps I worried for nothing. Are we still on the reality lowdown, or should we do actual police work now? Good. He has not passed out from it. Perhaps I worried for nothing. Are we still on the reality lowdown, or should we do actual police work now? Good. He has not passed out from it. Perhaps I worried for nothing. Are we still on the reality lowdown, or should we do actual police work now? Yes. Why don't you tell Mrs. Messier what you told me, hmm? But I did. Anyway. Yes, well, the rest of us have dealt with it for thousands of years, so... This has been informative. Thank you, ma'am. I'm sure my memory-impaired partner has many more questions to ask, about even more fundamental aspects of reality. Might I suggest not asking them all right now? Ma'am Messier will be here later, too, and tomorrow. Isn't that true, ma'am? Oh, of course not. You are already diligent for getting this far, and diligent boys remember where they left off. It's better not to eat all your candy at once. That is understandable, but perhaps it's better not to eat all your candy at once. You will find that most things concern the coming apocalypse. It's part of his condition. See anything interesting? Still, interesting. Yes, for muscle loaders like the ones officers of the RCM carry. Interesting. Someone hid it as extra ammunition? I don't know. Could be. The washerwoman was clearly withholding something. And she does rent this place out of people. Either way, this is enough to confront her with. That's a big leap. But from what I've heard, this ruby sounds pretty desperate. Either way, this is enough to confront the washerwoman. That's something of a leap. But we should be on our guard. Either way, this is enough to confront the washerwoman. Mm-hmm. I'm happy for you. I'm not your mother. I don't care. Do what you have to do. Well? Smelling much communism around the union boss's office? Now let's move on. I find this subject tiresome. I don't care what that delinquent said. And no such recordings exist, to my knowledge. Seoul has bigger squid to fry. In case you've forgotten, men and women in our profession rarely make it to retirement, and certainly not if they do not trust their partners. I respect you as a colleague, and so I will have this conversation with you. But only once. There is no Seolite conspiracy. And even if there were, I would not be a part of it. I was born and raised Ravacholian. So was my mother. As for my father, I didn't know him. I don't know who he was, and I don't care. From what I've heard, he wasn't a very pleasant person to be around. At least you were forthcoming with your doubt. Now let's move on. I find this subject tiresome. Nothing from surreptitious recordings collected by Seolite agents in an effort to compromise the militia. Yes. Now let's move on. I find this subject tiresome. My people? What are you talking about? I'm not here to tell you what to do, detective. If you must. But please hurry. We are pretty easy to spot up here. Let's get going. The entire neighborhood can see us up here. Why did you take that? Of course you are. What murder investigation would be complete without an arbitrary photo collage? Fine. But let's move. I don't want to be seen snooping around here. I suppose René is not going to be needing it anymore. It's a bit too colorful for my taste, though. I don't know about stealing people's very colorful clothes like that. Fantastic. Try not to wear it with other similarly colorful clothes, okay? You're really interested in that old soldier. 
Not sure I understand your fascination, but sure, as long as it doesn't take up a whole lot of time. You really took an interest in that old soldier. I guess there's no harm taking the picture. The dock workers would probably throw it in the trash anyway. Hey, hey, what happened? Hey, hey, what's happening? You okay? It's okay. You're just having a little panic attack. Try to breathe as slowly as you can, all right? Sure. Just be careful, okay? Looks like you almost strained the muscle there. I was under the impression we are on our way to meet the king of this castle under siege, Evrart, one of the people we are interviewing. This way, we may be able to get around his henchmen. I think there's a certain beauty in this giant pair of pliers. But you're right, we were focusing on your cloak. Yes, that's one way of putting it. It's certainly an impressive achievement of engineering. Is it? Qualzun makes a lot of heavy equipment, but this is phenomenal, even for them. Yes, it was probably you. It does bear the RCM insignia, after all. The service cloak issued to you by your station? Yes, yes, I do. I knew you could do it. My climbing down might not have been as disco as your jump, but at least we can explore the harbor now. I understand. We can always come back when you are feeling better. It's just a cloak, after all. Or it could be that we are just exploring. But I digress. We were focusing on your cloak here. Well, it doesn't seem too dangerous. Two meter stops? Whenever you're ready to do it, I'll be right behind you. Good. We can always come back when you are feeling better. It's just a cloak, after all. Yes, it does bear the RCM insignia. And we are the only detectives in Martinez. Yes. We were in the middle of something, uh, your cloak. Yes, it is probably yours. It does bear the RCM insignia, after all. Now, how to retrieve it? You could probably make the jump. You look like you've done some track and field in your day. Hell yeah! My climbing might not have been as disco as your jump, but can we still get an aces high? The cloak? I do think it's yours, yes. As to whether you should go for it, I was under the assumption we could ask the leader of this union to help us get this body down. This is why we're here, right? What are we doing? We're awfully close to breaking into the industrial harbor. They are bound to have information for us. I thought that was our intention. Yes, this place really seems to run like clockwork. Keep it up, Leo. Yes, they are hiding it from the inside. All the red containers have the Debarders Union logo on them. I had to break this bonding moment. But the red containers mean they are replacing the company livery with the union livery which means this strike isn't going to stop anytime soon. So no one is working? Easy, Leo. Let's keep this on the hearties. Who is this, Miss Beaufort? Looks like it. Told you. Thank you for clarifying that, sir. Mr. Clare, the man was hanged with a cargo belt. A steel reinforced cargo belt. It's safe to assume the Union had something to do with the murder. Besides, getting the body down would benefit all of us. It's a stain on the neighborhood. You might have noticed there's one hanging on a tree behind the hostel cafeteria. I assure you we are working on locating the missing sidearm as well. The officer is exaggerating. Of course we care about the missing firearm, and we are actively looking for it as well. Of course. I understand. We help you, you help us. Unfortunately, I can confirm this. My partner has some decidedly outmoded views. He got the name from the Census Bureau. And everything else from your actions here in Martinez. I'm sure it's not that bad. At worst, he has an old RCM folder. And I very much doubt even that. I'm sure it's not that bad. At worst, he has an old RCM folder. And I very much doubt even that. I think the odds of that are very low. Are you trying to tell me you've gotten hold of some of our documents? <sighs> Whether you are a family man or not is unimportant right now, officer. We are here for a different reason. In fact, we should probably move on to the murder. I find that very suspicious. May I have a look? I see you have gotten hold of some of our old documents. They should have been destroyed some time ago. Did one of his complex theories turn out to be true? Yes, yes. Do you think this weasel is somehow connected to the murder? Would he? I'm not so sure about it. So these idealists killed our victim? Aren't you worried we might arrest them for this? He was shot in the head before he was hanged. So you believe the scabs were organized by the security contractor? You mean our victim? What makes you think the Wild Pines negotiator can't control them? By negotiator, you mean Joyce? Interesting. Who's second in command? And what would this entail? It depends. I don't think what we just got from Mr. Clare was very useful. I'm not sure I understand. If you're asking us to break down someone's door, it's not going to happen. 
You want to send someone a message that the police are working for you. Yes, we both understand what you meant. Yes, that sounds good. Let's do that. How did this woman come to be in possession of the firearm? I, for one, find it refreshing. Finally, someone calls themselves a pig. And what do you have to gain from a war? Drug trafficking. And the kids on the street can get speed and pyrolidon. More fun stuff. Seems like we already have fun stuff to do. So the village is doomed. So that's why you haven't let Joyce in? Understood. Officer, we will deal with this later. We don't need Mr. Clare's help with this. Don't be dramatic. I can see your condition isn't terminal. I think we'd like to ask you a few questions. Don't you think so, detective? Okay, enough. We are here to ask you some questions pertaining to a murder investigation. Funny. She was trying to set up a narcotics operation in the old church on the coast. It sounds to me like you are trying to start an amphetamine lab in the district. And you're using some delinquents you found God knows where to set it up and run it for you. You wanted us to relay all this information to her. Where are these boys? You know what, detective? I am going to leave this out of my report, and I suggest you leave it out of yours too. There was a guy in the container, but he didn't bend any light. That was in the detective's head. You go ahead, detective. Thank you for your understanding. We will continue to do what we must. None taken. Did we have anything else to do here, Harry? We are. And we will do our best to ensure that's what happens here. You wanted us to relay all this information to her. Hmm. What the detective means is that we are in Martinez, a sub-district of Jamrock in the capital city of Revachol. Could you please stop asking everyone for money? It does not reflect well on the RCM, and to be perfectly frank, we can't afford to look worse than we already do. And yet, it never seems to get us any closer to solving the case. I'm not unimpressed. Let's leave it at that. Yes, uh, I'm all right. Can we get going now? No, I'm not having a stroke. You are just still full of surprises, most of them bad, but some good. I guess the inordinate amount of time they put into drawing mythical creatures did not generate a return on investment. If you ask me, he's only serving one of them thus far. If you ask me, he's only serving one of them thus far. I can assure you, Mr. Diodor, that despite his vices, he is a competent detective. Oh Lord, not this again. He should what? Mr. Diodor, I am Lieutenant Kim Kitsuragi of the RCM, and this is my partner. Just a minute. The RCM has its difficulties, but generally speaking, if I could interject, the RCM's problems are mainly structural. We are hamstrung by a lack of clear lines of authority, and our system of performance reviews strongly disincentivizes interprising cooperation. Yes, yes, that's precisely what we need. Could you please stop asking people for money? It does not reflect well on the RCM, and to be perfectly frank, we can't afford to look worse than we already do. I don't see how it's appropriate for a representative of the law to ask a wealthy person for money. This shines a bad light on the RCM, if you catch my meaning. It is not. Ah, never mind. You would not even believe. We have a murder to solve, and yet you go around bothering everyone about money, arguing that you think it's somehow related to the case. Not the plasma gun again. It's not even possible. Oh, nothing. It's just that we've got this murder to solve, and yet you go around asking everyone about money. And every time I ask, are you sure this is related to the case, you say, sure, Kim, I think it is. Please behave yourself. I see nothing of the sort. To be frank, all I see is a gentleman who is unusually well-dressed for Martinez, in a cargo container, which I admit is odd. I can't see how that was worth the records, except for seeing the crane in action which I admit was satisfying. You do? Because I don't. Damn it, now you got me curious. This is not what we came to the harbor for. There are a million containers here. Why are you fixating on this one? We are not here to interact with containers. We are here to get the body down from the tree. We are not here to interact with containers. We are here to interview the union boss. We are not here to interact with containers. We are here to talk to the union, right? I don't hear anything. There may very well be, but we are not here to look for that. It's a cargo container, detective. Just like all the others. Why are you what? <sighs> is this like your thing with that wall again? Are you satisfied, detective? Now is not the time to get philosophical, detective. You can do that after hours. Because what wasn't an option? Satisfied, detective? You can't be serious. You just picked one out because you wanted to interact with a cargo container. You're right. This certainly confirms the theory that the belt must have come from inside the harbor. You're right. This is probably where Titus and his men got the belt. More ammo on our belt for the remainder of the investigation. 
could find Detective. Well, yes, I think we can say with relative confidence that it was you. Yes, this scene isn't exactly ripping with joy. Let's just move on. It really, really doesn't. Let's turn our attention elsewhere and move on. I am, but it doesn't matter right now. Let's just move on. Yes, this looks pretty advanced, all right. For now, let's just move on. It's unfortunate for the Union to just leave their paperwork lying around like this. Is that what you're doing with those folders over there? Right. This is probably not relevant to our case. After all, we're not investigating an accounting mystery. Good. This is probably not relevant to our case anyway. After all, we are not investigating an accounting mystery. My thought exactly, officer. Shall we? Everard Clare, probably. The head of the Debarders Union. One of his aides must have left it. Nothing incriminating here. The leader of the Debarders Union, Everard Clare, has someone running errands for him. Nothing incriminating here, though. That's enough for you today. Let's conclude this call. What do you need with another transceiver? It's almost exactly like the one you took from that radio computer in the doomed commercial area. But now you've got what you came for. So I suppose we'll have to see this business through. I certainly understand the impulse, but this is our job, detective. Our whole raison d'être. You can't avoid it forever. To be perfectly frank, I have my reservations about this whole antenna scheme. But who knows? We may yet be surprised. I'm more interested in why you're so fixated on this idea in the first place. But here's the thing, detective. We are the proper channels. Doing our work right here on the ground is how we'll solve this case. There's no need to bring the coalition into this. Let me make a prediction now, detective. You are not going to see the inside of a coalition warship anytime soon. You sound pathological, you know that? Now come on, let's stop wasting time. There's usually a little switch somewhere. Ah yes, it's the one that says release. I wouldn't like to guess. Your performance so far doesn't exactly inspire confidence. But all sorts of things are possible. You could reach the coalition and have your talk about la responsabilité. I could grow 10 centimeters and become a flanker for the stormers. Who's to say what's possible and what's not? It doesn't, frankly. Don't get me wrong. This appears to be a fine transceiver for a general audience. But it's not something a serious radiohead would use. Of course not, detective. This is strictly business. I suppose it will. Show me what, detective. I'm sure the transceiver understands, detective. Now let's go. Hmm, I don't think the people who typically buy these machines are very concerned with questions of style. Yes, reliable and unassuming are definitely words I'd use to describe you. I'm not sure where you're getting that. It's a perfectly fine transceiver, and this is a perfectly ordinary office. I suppose it does have a certain no-nonsense appeal, if you prefer that sort of thing. Very good. Let's get going, then. You've surprised me more than once during the course of our investigation. But I have to say, it still seems like a remote scenario. You? I wouldn't worry about that. What are you doing? The big deal? I guess we really do come from different upbringings. Then why are you elbow deep in your pants like... Oh, never mind, officer. Carry on. Really? It seems more like a personal hygiene thing. But let's not delve deeper. I can see that. But do you have to do it where everyone can see you? Have you no self-control? Please spare me this sight. Well, uh, don't! Everything all right, detective? It has been a long day. It is rather late. A little early in the day for a nap, isn't it? This again? Come on, detective. The joke has gone on long enough. Oh, for God's sake. This is a bunch of... No, but you see, you don't. You are not a firewalker. You are not an icebreaker. No. But you see, you don't. You are not an icebreaker. Or a firewalker. Or even tequila sunset. Are you fucking insane? Don't answer that. And stop doing it. Let's go. No. But you see, you don't. You are not an icebreaker. Or a firewalker. Or even Rafael Ambrosius Costo. What happened to you? No. But you see, you don't. You don't plow anything. You help me solve this case, please remember. No, but you see, you don't. Your name is Harrier Dubois, not Icebreaker. No, but you see, you don't. You are not an Icebreaker, Harry. Please stop. No, but you see, you don't. You are not Tequila Sunset, and you are not an Icebreaker. Stop, please. 
No, but you see, you don't. You are not Rafael Ambrosius Cousteau, and you are not an icebreaker. Ah, <sighs> it's okay. We are both under a lot of stress right now. Let's just try to not let it get to us and remember what we came here to do. Okay, that's all right. As long as you understand it is a metaphor and don't build a persona around it. Oh, good. Thank you. And sorry I asked about it. It's none of my business. Let's just get back to work. You look... different. Constipated somehow? Yes. Your face. Looks like you're having a stroke. Can you even move it? No, you are not. What you are is an officer of the Revachol Citizens Militia, conducting a murder investigation. And what is that? A walking mask? So now you want to go blind as well? How about we become those who solve murder cases instead and get back to work? Including drinking? No, you are not. What you are is an RCM lieutenant conducting a murder investigation. You don't look fine, and I'm very worried about it. I just don't understand, officer. Please help me understand. I don't think you are supposed to call yourself that. But I appreciate the honesty. Now let's get back to work. The last king's man. That's fitting, I suppose. Almost as if you did manage to turn back time. If only for yourself. All right, detective. Let's get going. We've got a killer to catch. What temptations is he withstanding then? You know what? I don't even want to know. Let it be one of your internal side cases. I just want to get back to work. Hmm. Admitting a problem is the first step forward. Perhaps now we can finally get some work done. Shall we? That's good to hear. I don't want there to be any unnecessary friction in our relationship during this important case. I suppose your reasons are your own. And what exactly do you think should happen to those with undesirable traits? So you don't find his views, say, unbefitting of a police officer? There are tens of thousands of people who grew up in Martinez and somehow managed to avoid becoming racists who yell, come here, saffron picker, at passers-by. Our position in Ravachol is already precarious. Many people think we are vigilantes as it is. I can't have them thinking we are racist vigilantes to boot. Apology accepted, detective. And what point would that be? There's a difference between saying something crude and an ideological racist. Wonderful. I'm going to stop this conversation. This is Martinez. People have certain attitudes here. You will find plenty of citizens to agree with you. As for me, let me say just one more thing. As you've seen, these sorts of attitudes are quite common in Martinez. So I expect this to happen again and again. Stop right there. I know what you're going to say. Don't. Also, these attitudes are quite common in Martinez, so I expect this to happen again and again. I've had this conversation enough times in my life. From now on, I'm going to stay out of it. How you choose to respond is your business. Now, let's get back to the task at hand. I don't know what you mean by death's head, but it certainly looks like you're becoming a racist, officer. And one more thing. As you've seen, these sorts of attitudes are quite common in Martinez, so I expect this to happen again and again. I've had this conversation enough times in my life. From now on, I'm going to stay out of it. How you choose to respond is your business. But be careful. Now let's move on. Well, you've made your views on the subject quite clear. I suppose that's a relief. Just be careful how often you avail yourself of this technique. A lie may be useful in the short term, but I have a way of catching up with you later. It was never my favorite either. At the station gym, I mean. I prefer running. It clears your head. You're right. The weight may fall off. Better not touch it then. It would be a violation of EPIS safety regulations if the gym was still operating. But it isn't. No one's supposed to come here anymore. Wearing gloves would definitely make it easier. Proper weightlifting gloves would definitely afford a better grip. Weightlifting was never my favorite either. No one does until they get smashed under the barbell. Good technique. Very smart. Opening the lid should be much easier after the ice cream maker has defrosted. Why did you do that? Great. The owners of this building will just have to keep paying for the electricity sucked up by this monstrosity a little longer. Very smart. Opening the lid should be much easier after the ice cream maker has defrosted. But we're still going to need a proper pry bar. Great. The owners of this building will just have to keep paying for the electricity sucked up by this monstrosity a little longer. Let's return to the fridge. Uh, what are you doing? We need the fridge for the body. You can't just unplug it. What are you doing? Wait, really? Maybe it's coming from behind those safety curtains we saw upstairs. Wait, really? Take your head out of the chimney, please. It's not safe. Wait, really? We should investigate, see if someone's upstairs. You're right. 
The rooms do look like they're connected, but malignant entities don't exist, at least not the supernatural kind. We should ask the lady in the bookstore what's going on with these curtains. Looks like it. Looks like an old central furnace used to heat the building. It's connected to the chimney. What? What are you doing? Yes. Yes, it was. Please wipe your face clean, officer. Thank you. So, where were we? And this protects you. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Hmm. Maybe you should let your voice rest, officer. Try again later. After you, officer. No one has used it in ages. No signs of any recent fire. Only dead rats. Can you please try to refrain from attacking random things? Thanks. Why do you think there's something on the other side, necessarily? <sighs> Ghosts aren't real. Didn't your parents tell you that? In any case, there's no way we can get in right now. Let's investigate further. In any case, there's no way we can get in right now. Let's investigate further. There must be another way to wake up whoever is in there. Maybe we can try yelling into the furnace downstairs. There must be another way to wake up whoever is in there. Maybe we should ask the lady in the bookstore what's going on here. Don't worry, the ICP has a separate division that deals exclusively with unlicensed sub -roses. This isn't our problem. Officer! Miss, I apologize for my colleague's behavior. He is still recovering from an unusual medical episode. I'm afraid it is, ma'am. Sona Lukanen killed. The former lead programmer of Fortress Accident made the discovery. It's not real, ma'am. He's making it up. Your window looks directly onto the courtyard. You're saying you didn't see or hear anything unusual last Sunday evening? Creative. Men like that are a curse. Miss, I apologize for my colleague's behavior. He's still recovering from an unusual medical episode. My money is on electrical anomaly. I've heard of these. Especially in an old building like this. Agreed. Pinball is the worst. Yes, I've been meaning to ask about that. What happened? In any case, I'm afraid you won't get any help here. This place is deserted. I see. I don't know what happened either. We should probably stop playing with this thing. I see. Hmm. This button looks new. I wouldn't be surprised if it hasn't been connected yet. Is it the dice makers? It must have been some kind of faulty wiring. We should maybe stop playing with this doorbell. It looks ancient. So, it was a recording trapped in the circuitry from some ancient tenant. This sometimes happens. Shall we conclude here? We have other mysteries to solve. Don't take this the wrong way, but during our short stint working together, something weird is almost always happening to you. Mm-hmm. I don't have time to explain it to you right now. Maybe sometime later. Ahem. <clears throat> That's insanitary. You just keep on beating those things, don't you? Huh. This button looks new. It's probably not connected yet. No. Not a window-related one. No idea. My God. It's as if the less money they had, the more ambitious their project became. The schedule. I know doom when I see it. The company was running out of funding. Exactly. This schedule. I know doom when I see it. The company was running out of funding. Seems like an old bunker from the revolutionary period. Look at all those rifles. Must be an old weapons cachet. There is, yes. And there also appears to be something inside the hole. Interesting. Do you want to take a look? Sure. Okay, here's some more rifles. None of these seem to be working. And, and oh, an old Belmagrave rifle. That's rare to find in such good order. Seems to no longer be functional, but still rare. Here, it's yours, officer. You found this place. Are these any good? An old Belmagrave from the revolution. Seems to no longer be functional, but still a beautiful thing in its own way. It means there are firearms, albeit inoperable, still lying around in Martinez. It's an interesting coincidence, I would say. Might come in useful in the future. It means there are firearms, breech loaders, still lying around in Martinez. This would have been good in our case against Ruby for Titus. Too late for that now. But still, might be useful down the road. It means there are firearms, breech loaders, still lying around in Martinez. This could prove useful in our case against Ruby for Titus. Men are easily swayed by the sight of a rifle. It's the same type of weapon, yes, a breech loader. But it's not the same gun. This one's been out of order for years. I'm afraid our search for the real murder weapon must continue. It's the same type of weapon, yes, a breech loader. An interesting coincidence that we should find something so similar. But I'm afraid our search for the real murder weapon must continue. For that, we would have to take a closer look at the bullet you found, officer. I wouldn't read too much into this yet. 
What we have discovered here is an inoperable antique. It's certainly an eccentric choice, but it is big enough and cold enough too. It's an eccentric choice, but it definitely fits the body. Now the only thing left to do is plug the fridge back in. It's certainly an eccentric choice, but it's more than big enough and cold enough. Honestly, it's perfect. All we have to do is plug the fridge back in. It's certainly an eccentric choice, but it is capacious and cold enough too. Of course. I'll take the head, you take the feet. Hold on. There's no use if the fridge isn't working. Let's plug it in first and then return here to move the body. Of course. I'll take the head, you take the feet. Beautiful. A dead body in a nice bare fridge. This is some of the best police work I've ever done. No, not really. Look at that. What have we done? We stuffed a dead body in a nice bare fridge. This story does not leave this room. Of course you don't. Look at that. What have we done? We stuffed a dead body in a nice bare fridge. This does not leave this room. As impressive as the fridge is, this is a small victory. Among numerous defeats. At least we've stopped the body from decomposing further. Now you can conduct another inspection under controlled circumstances. If I were an artist, this would certainly not be my vision. I would be much, much more conservative in my work. Did we though? <sighs> okay, maybe we did. At least we've stopped the body from decomposing further. Or we'll have, once you plug the fridge back in. Then you can conduct one more inspection. No, they do not. They need to hear about our uneventful, boring, downright conservative murder investigation. Of course. A giant ice bear shaped fridge. Let's take a look inside. Talk of the ice bear sarcophagus must not leave this room. I knew you would say that. I knew this would lead to drinking. No, no more. This is paganistic enough and it does not leave this room. The electricity bill must be catastrophic. On the other hand, it did help us with a certain corpse situation. What is even worse, the bear is still costing them money to this day. Of course, just a giant ice bear shaped fridge. Shall we go and get the body then? I'll take the head, you take the feet. The stairs won't be easy, but we'll manage. It's not going to be the easiest thing in the world, but we'll manage. At least it's not running them a loss anymore. Now that you've unplugged the cable. Just what we were looking for. Let's see what's inside. Good question. It looks like an ice cream fridge. Good question. It looks like an ice cream fridge. I know. What an unfortunate marketing choice. Someone must have taken it. What does the note say? I have no idea, officer. This ice cream maker isn't important enough to requisition a special tool. Didn't Sona give you a perfect tool for this kind of job? The Kval Sund. You should take it out. A scoop of ice cream would have been nice, yes. We should take it back to Miss Lucan and Kilda as soon as possible. I'm not sure how well unused filaments tolerate room temperatures. I have a pry bar in my kinema, in case you want to try again. Though it might be that my pry bar isn't strong enough for that lead. Yeah, well, that's a good pry bar. I'm not criticizing it. But this ice cream maker is frozen shut. It takes an advanced tool to get it open. An inordinate amount of time has gone into drawing these little welking creatures. Some people really like building a world, I think. Even if it's just for a game. Mm-hmm. Political commentary. That one has a great beard, too. This looks like concept art for a project. It's not really real. Looks like they didn't make it. Just look at those details. So much effort. Odd. Something is obviously broken here. But we are looking for a fridge, and we are pressed for time, so... A radio computer. Just sitting here without anyone in sight. Another radio computer. Just sitting here without anyone in sight. Maybe the body has stopped decomposing somehow. I don't know. You're in charge of this expedition, officer. It's your call. You're in charge of this expedition, officer. We have one of these down at the station, but I never really learned how to use it. She repeats passwords. Programming people are all paranoid. What, you're just going to guess? I'm afraid we are not doing that. Unless we want to wait for a month. Really? She just used the same password? Maybe those radio computer guys aren't that paranoid after all. Really? She just used the same password? This is where the memory should go. Good God. A hidden room. I doubt the electricity still works. We should find a flashlight if we want to go on. There should be one in my kinema. I doubt the electricity still works. Good thing we have a flashlight on us. Don't forget to take it out of your bag before we move on. Sounds good. Yes, because it's closed. No need to look for supernatural explanations where a banal one will do. Now let's move on, shall we? I think you're right. 
though it looks like no one's been here in ages. Now let's go get the flashlight, shall we? No need to look for supernatural explanations where a banal one will do. Now let's go get the flashlight, shall we? Now let's move on, shall we? I doubt the electricity still works. Good thing we have a flashlight on us. You didn't have to ram the door down, you know? No one's been here for ages. No, it's a gym. Though it looks like no one's been here in ages. Yes, but no one's been here in ages. We don't have to explore an abandoned gym, you know? Besides, no one's been here in ages. Yes, you might even call it a feature of the universe that you need to hold tools to use them. Right, now let's get to it. I'm sorry the fundamental laws of the universe don't seem to agree with you, detective, but the fact remains that it's too dark to see in here without the flashlight. So come on, we've got work to do. And the flashlight works a lot better if you hold it in your hand. This would be a lot easier with a flashlight. I've got one in the kinema's toolbox. We should go back for it before we continue. No sense in tripping around in the darkness. Yes, that is the question. It looks like one of those popular pen and paper role-playing games. Only these people were trying to automate it. Make it work on radio computers. No, that's not it. I think, not to my knowledge, they make automated games in Grad, Messina, Konigstein. You know, places with industry. Through call-in stations. None of the players have to be physically present. Anyone in the world can participate in the game, as long as they have a two-way radio. What do you think is going on here, with the radio computer, chalkboard and fireplace? Indeed, those Welkins are a dead giveaway. Role-playing people love that stuff. The world looks like a modified version of the Wii World board game, with heat death thrown in. No idea. They stopped filling out the schedule on the chalkboard. Got you. Indeed, it's ambitious and untethered from reality, but... Then there's the Game Master frequency that listens in on the smaller calling stations. I think that was supposed to coordinate the stories, functioning as a master of ceremonies of sorts. It's too late for that, I'm afraid. Okay, let's keep moving. Yes, especially in here. Ah, yes, the doom of bad business practices. Precisely. It's absolutely mad. An automated role-playing game. Okay, well, I think. But I don't think anyone has attempted to create an inter game before. We just don't have the technology. I don't think so. I think they genuinely believed. Yes, I got that. What I meant was, what were they trying to achieve with this damn game? And by these people, I mean people in Sona's radio game company, Fortress Accident. It looks like one of those popular pen and paper role-playing games. Only these people were trying to automate it, make it work on radio computers. What were their ambitions? Because this here looks rather advanced. I'm beginning to feel better about breaking into this man's apartment. There's the missing teen soldier. Whoever lives here might have used the Whirling's container to dump his trash. And now they've drawn the ire of the Union. The plot thickens, as they say. Who knows? I'm not expecting too much from this clothes in the trash lead either way. It might turn out to be some random local matter. But still, a nice coincidence. That already defeats the point, doesn't it? Let's get out of here. That's probably the door I've had mentioned. We still need to get the key from this manana first, though. We should leave and go talk with Evrard. Tell him what happened, that we couldn't open the door. Maybe there's a walk around. I guess no one is in. As I already said, I understand this can't be avoided. Let's be honest. This isn't what I joined the RCM for. But every day tells you something new about yourself. Apparently. Working with the local union boss to get info on an investigation is not something I'm squeamish about. If the Merc Tribunal happens before we solve this, we are looking at casualties. What's one unlocked door compared to that? I mind that the local thug is using the RCM for his busy work. But if this gets us to the bottom of this hanging, then I'm willing to look over it. On the other hand, we could just leave and tell Evrat we opened the door. No one seems to be tailing us to see if we actually did it. Yes. Presenting a fabrication is known to get results here and there. You took this task. You make the call. But we do need to get the key from this manana, Evrard mentioned. Because we are not going to break the lock. It is. However, we should definitely get the key from this manana, Evrard mentioned. That would drastically increase our credibility. Mm-hmm. The tenant is an old-fashioned guy. But that there was an interesting find. An alternative path into the harbor that the kid uses. Well done. See that ladder there? It's probably another way into the industrial harbor, no? A secret path the local kids use. Perhaps not. 
This is below our pay grade, detective. However, of course, detective. Swift justice. Don't worry, we don't have to investigate every trace of narcotics. No, I'm just a regular detective, thank you very much. Oh, I'm not being sarcastic at all. We are making real progress here. Yes, I feel we are nearing a real breakthrough. If anything, the presence of the locust points to the opposite. The phasmid did not take the bait from the traps. It was Kuno. The phasmid doesn't exist. But what do I know? I'll let you handle the Kuno side of things. You are doing just fine. Well, detective, it appears you've solved the case. Well, detective, it appears you're on the way to solving the case. The missing locust case, which is a subcase of the imaginary insect case. So at least that's going well. If anything, the presence of the locusts points to the opposite. The phasmid did not take the bait from the traps. Instead, it was a kid's prank. But what do I know? Of course, I'll leave that to you. You seem to have a handle on the phasmid trap insect situation. I'll let you handle that side of things. You are doing just fine, of the locusts. For the missing locust case, which is a subcase of the imaginary insect case. So at least that's going well. The world turns as fast as it wants. Yes, yes. Crazy recklessness. I'd say it has been here since last Saturday or Sunday. It appears to be so. It appears to be so. I agree. We should definitely investigate. My guess is it started its journey from the plaza, where it biked through the fence. My guess is it started its journey from the plaza, where it biked through the fence. No. Not so daring at all. No. Not so daring at all. I agree. We should definitely investigate. I agree. We should definitely investigate. The ice hasn't closed around the vehicle yet. My guess is it's been here since last Saturday or Sunday. Yes, quite. I did not. But I'd say it has been here since last Saturday or Sunday. Yes, yes, clearly this is a triumph. I'd say the vehicle has been here since last Saturday or Sunday. Let's wait for the low tide and see what's inside. I don't know. An hour or two tops? That's right. Just keep at it. It will come to you. Just keep at it. It will come to you. Detective, I've been able to make out the mark ever since we arrived. I find it odd that you haven't. It's a Coupri, Model 40. It is a simple and rugged machine, favored by working men, government offices, uh, firefighters, animal control people. You know, those kinds of people. Actually, not a coincidence. The Kinema is the next generation sports edition of the old 40, which was a real workhorse favored by the police all over the city. I think I know now what my favorite blue thing is. Yes, my favorite blue thing is a blue police uniform. Or blue police livery. Yes, yes, it does. Actually, not a coincidence. The Kinema is the next generation sports edition of the 40, which was a real workhorse, favored by the police all over the city. But it could also be the number of a police precinct. Precinct 41. Your precinct. Right. Or 41 is the number of a police precinct? Your precinct. But it could also be the number of a police precinct. Precinct 41. Your precinct. A precinct? Yes. A police precinct. Precinct 41. Your precinct. I'm sorry, Harry. I'm so sorry. Yes, your car is in the sea. Face it, so we can start dealing with this. There were never any street racers. It was always you. You drove your car in the sea. I'm afraid so, yes. It looks like you drove your police motor carriage into the sea after you jumped across the canal. Of whom? I don't think so. If anything, you were probably drunk. Detective, we don't. A rescue operation really isn't viable at this point. I'm afraid it will have to be there like that for many years. Look at it. Parts of it might be salvageable. But overall, this machine is a write-off. That is very unlikely. All the electrics are toast. That goes for the electromagnetic steering and brake systems as well. You'd be lucky to find one undamaged component in there. In a few months, there will be nothing but rust left of this vehicle. It'll be cheaper to buy a new one. Well, not cheaper. This motor carriage costs 40,000 real. But in the long run, it still makes more sense to buy a new machine than try to refurbish this. Let's face it, this is a substantial loss to your district's budget. I mean, my station only has four other vehicles in addition to my kinema. Well, it isn't. It's you. I'm very sorry. People are more valuable than machines. 
training a police officer is even more costly. You can still whistle. Besides, the night is always darkest before the dawn. We can still do that. Besides, the night is always darkest before the dawn. Well, life has a way of pulling the rug from under your feet. But things can only go up from here. At least we have a pretty good suspect. If we found your motor carriage in the sea, maybe we'll find her too. Yes. Let's go take a look. Hmm. Let me think about it. My dad and mom are both half sailite. I believe it's following a pattern set millions of years ago by cosmic forces. But I suppose it could move quicker, yes? Well, historically, leeches have been used to prevent and even cure many ailments. Once again, differences in skin color are the result of melanin production, liver functions, regional adaptation, and various other factors. Luckily, I am already a member of an independent organization and therefore do not have to choose between a rock and a hard place. God, I hope so. Yes, 41. What do you think it stands for? It is indeed. Or more accurately, was. Looks like an abandoned building. I have no idea. Or think we do. This is a small loose end, either way. Not important, I hope. This wasn't a real identity. At least not as far as we know. Ah, <sighs> we should go. That may very well be the case. We should keep an eye on her. Uh, nothing more for us to do here. Let's go. Indeed. Let's see what's inside. We still got here too late. There's nothing of use here anymore. Simple construction. Very unsafe. That over there. Must be the boy class you told us about. The one she hid her passport in. We should take a look. Well, damn. Could be. We should keep an eye out. <sighs> nothing more for us to do here. Let's go. I wouldn't go so far as to say that. This is only a small loose end, but I do wish we knew who took the documents. Might have been Klaasje, might have been the people after her, might have been a local drunk. We should go. In my experience, cryptids are generally uninterested in travel documentation. <sighs> we should go. Mm -hmm. A black block, a part of the city left unrenovated after the war, or one that has fallen to gang violence or has become inhospitable in some other way. Practically, it's not an official term in any way, but look around. No sewage, broken power lines, crime, drunks. <sighs> Life is tough in the blocks. It's no place to build a summer house. Yes, and you picked it up as part of the jam rock shuffle. We should move. I don't think we will solve the murder with forays into the urban hinterland, at least in this phase of the investigation. We should move. I don't think our suspect is in this particular yard. No place to hide. And besides, it's too close to Martinez. Yes, for you to pick up as part of the Jamrock Shuffle. In this yard, someone thought they could have a summer house in a block obscure. For cheap. It didn't work out. They abandoned it about a decade ago. Did you notice something important? Okay, well. I'm not going to ask who Van Egg is. I'm just going to assume it's your business and move on, okay? Let's get going. We have a case to solve. The suspect? God, I hope not. I can't see a way in. Though many have tried. In conclusion, she could be under any building. <sighs> I hope not. No idea. Could be connected to one of the buildings around here. We might find her down somewhere. There's an old storm drain system beneath Martinez that's mostly collapsed. Revachol sewage system has been built and rebuilt four or five times now. I had a partner once. They called him Eyes because he had to show me things. It's that bad. Well enough, actually. It's odd how that works. I'm no sharpshooter, but I pass my shooting courses 7 out of 10. No. I won't even try. You know, looks like it. Hey, let's keep moving, detective. Not as such, no. Let's keep moving, detective. Huh? Sarcastic self-pity is not what we need at this moment, officer. Self-pity is not what we need at this moment, officer. I understand the situation looks grim. But we must continue with our investigation. It's just a piece of clothing you've picked up. You do that, officer. You collect clothes sometimes. Nothing. It's just a piece of furniture. Here. I don't see signs of recent habitation. This place is abandoned. In someone's abandoned shack. On the coast. In Martinez. In Ravachol. Yep. The next one has a crab trapped in it. These are just crab traps, you do realize? Of course. Noted. Of course. Noted. <sighs> Empty as all of them. One more of these and we are done. Well, debate worked on something. 
This doesn't mean it was a real monster, though. Unless you see one in there, I just see an empty trap, always up for a good job. Otherwise, would I still be on this case with you? I'm just glad we haven't found some poor cat trapped in one of these. No, no, I'm fine. I didn't mean to complain, it's just another empty trap. Perhaps our cryptozoologist have competition in the form of an actual entomologist, or someone else is sabotaging them. I could present more theories, but then I would be taking this on as a case, which I'm not. Surely. Anyway, the air is nice and fresh here. I'm beginning to feel somewhat sorry for the little guys. Big surprise. Anyway, one down, three to go. I meant no offense. Just... We did sort of promise to tell them, didn't we? Right. Anyway, that's for the cryptozoologists to figure out now. We are not cryptozoologists. We are cops. Okay. But after that, we get back to our own assignments. We've done a thorough survey of the coast now. Just running around is no longer useful. No, you weren't. Yes. Like a cat or another teenage psychopath? Good, good. We should be courteous and tell the cryptozoologist that one of the traps was empty. But then we can get back to our assignment here. Good. Now that's done. When can we get to our impending apocalypse of a murder investigation? Don't answer that. It was a rhetorical question. Good. Now that's done. When do you think we will return to our impending apocalypse of a murder investigation? I meant no offense. Just big surprise. Anyway, one down, three to go. Yes, like a cat or another teenage psychopath. I'm beginning to feel somewhat sorry for them. No, no, I'm fine. I didn't mean to complain. It's just... Well, the bait worked on something. This doesn't mean it was a real monster, though. Unless you see one in there, I just see an empty trap. We did sort of promise to tell them, didn't we? Right. Anyway, that's for the cryptozoologist to figure out now. We are not cryptozoologists. We are cops. Okay. But after that, we get back to our own assignments. We've done a thorough survey of the coast now. Just running around is no longer useful. Good, good. We should be courteous and tell the cryptozoologists that one of the traps was empty. But then we can get back to our assignment here. Perhaps our cryptozoologists have competition in the form of an actual entomologist. Or someone else is sabotaging them. I could present more theories, but then I would be taking this on as a case, which I'm not. Another empty trap. Don't answer that. It was a rhetorical question. Yep. The next one has a crab trapped in it. These are just crab traps, you do realize. Always up for a good jog. Otherwise, would I still be on this case with you? Of course. Noted. Empty as all of them. One more of these and we're done. Surely. Anyway, the air is nice and fresh here. I'm just... Glad we haven't found some poor cat trapped in one of these. Of course. Noted. No, you weren't. Perhaps our cryptozoologist have competition in the form of an actual entomologist. Or someone else is sabotaging them. I could present more theories, but then I would be taking this on as a case, which I'm not. Good, good. We should be courteous and tell the cryptozoologist that one of the traps was empty. But then we can get back to our assignment here. Okay. But after that, we get back to our own assignments. We've done a thorough survey of the coast now. Just running around is no longer useful. Right. Anyway, that's for the cryptozoologist to figure out now. We are not cryptozoologists. We are cops. We did sort of promise to tell them, didn't we? I'm beginning to feel somewhat sorry for them. Yes, like a cat or another teenage psychopath? Good, now that's done. When do you think we will return to our impending apocalypse of a murder investigation? Don't answer that. It was a rhetorical question. No, you weren't. I meant no offense, just surely. Anyway, the air is nice and fresh here. Another empty trap. Yep. The next one has a crab trapped in it. These are just crab traps, you do realize? Always up for a good job. Otherwise, would I still be on this case with you? Of course. Noted. Big surprise. Anyway, one down. Three to go. Empty as all of them. One more of these and we are done. I'm just glad we haven't found some poor cat trapped in one of these. No, no, I'm fine. I didn't mean to complain, it's just... Of course. Noted. Well, the bait worked on something. This doesn't mean it was a real monster, though. Unless you see one in there, 
I just see an empty trap. Good, now that's done. When do you think we will return to our impending apocalypse of a murder investigation? Right. Anyway, that's for the cryptozoologists to figure out now. We are not cryptozoologists. We are cops. We did sort of promise to tell them, didn't we? No, no, I'm fine. I didn't mean to complain, it's just... Of course. Noted. Don't answer that. It was a rhetorical question. Empty as all of them. One more of these and we're done. Of course. Noted. Always up for a good jug. Otherwise, would I still be on this case with you? Another empty trap. I'm just... glad we haven't found some poor cat trapped in one of these. Fantastic. Surely. Anyway, the air is nice and fresh here. Well, the bait worked on something. This doesn't mean it was a reed monster, though. Unless you see one in there? I just see an empty trap. Yep. The next one has a crab trapped in it. These are just crab traps, you do realize? I meant no offense, just big surprise. Anyway, one down, three to go. Perhaps our cryptozoologists have competition in the form of an actual entomologist, or someone else is sabotaging them. I could present more theories, but then I would be taking this on as a case, which I'm not. I'm beginning to feel somewhat sorry for them. Good, good. We should be courteous and tell the cryptozoologist that one of the traps was empty. But then we can get back to our assignment here. Okay. But after that, we get back to our own assignments. We've done a thorough survey of the coast now. Just running around is no longer useful. No, you weren't. Yes. Like a cat? Or another teenage psychopath? We should keep moving. Who knows when this snow will let up. Right. You might have found one person who doesn't know you are the low given how drunk he is. <sighs> you really don't have to. Besides, he won't understand you anyway. There's no use in yelling at drunks. He's barely holding it together. There was little chance he'd be a reliable witness anyway. It'll float. What? Fine, why not? Let's go. Fine. Let's blast Sadefem, then. This is ludicrous. And physically impossible. Sinuses can contain that amount of anything. You're aware that monument is supposed to look like it's exploding. It doesn't need renovating. We really haven't got time for this. In case you've forgotten, we are supposed to be investigating a murder. But we haven't solved the murder yet. We might have if you hadn't got distracted by this. Yes, they have. Not this again. I was hoping that we were done with it. I think that we should let him continue with the story. Wow. That's quite a story. A lot of cops go solo and hermit once they reach that level of alcoholism. I thought that he rode the headless pig. He won't, though, because it's just a stupid legend. Hmm, this wouldn't be the Deponte Delgado case, would it? I've read the case file, but please, go on. Naturally, Ula Deponte became the prime suspect in the disappearance of Eva Delgado. Deponte maintained that it was the so-called headless fallen rider and that she ran, fearing for her life. No, she committed suicide before she could be taken into custody. They found her in the bathroom with a rifle her face slowly peeling off the ceiling. During the investigation, it became apparent that there was a love triangle, the third party being some small-time businessman. I don't remember the exact details. The leading theory was that an argument broke out on the jetty and De Ponte pushed Delgado into the canal, then cooked up this stupid cover story. Not a pretty scene. That part, at least more or less, corresponds to the case file. I don't know where he picked up these views, but wherever it was, he seems to be sincere about them. Why didn't you go to the authorities? If you only knew. Hard to argue with that, I suppose. The kids on the streets also call it Snow Day. Can't see. For its popularity among the aristocratic class of the prior century. Or maybe it's in the air. Or in an ancient state pyramid offshore. That's all right. We've got plenty of adventures for one case. I have to agree. We barely have what we need to solve the case we've got now. We can't afford to run around chasing after quasi-mythical pieces of drug paraphernalia. Besides, it would look extremely bad for the RCM to be caught up in something that has the word cocaine writ large on it. The PR is tricky on this. Oh, dear God. You know, despite the guano, it looks like the jacket itself is stain-resistant. It may just need a good scrubbing. It's an okay jacket, if you are into that look. Okay, let's step aside for a second. I have something I want to talk about. At least you got a nice jacket for your troubles. Thank you for your services, gentlemen. 
Should we go and mail this? I think I saw a mailbox on the plaza. Thank you for your help. Should we go and mail this? I think I saw a mailbox on the plaza. Thank you, ma'am. Do keep an eye on your boat. Do we? What brings you here, madame? Fortunately for you, madame. The RCM is on the scene. Shut up. Don't punch your brother. Please, don't start crying. We still need to ask more questions. Anything else? What does this guy look like? Lights, fire guy. We should check up on that island. I don't think questioning four-year-olds without their parents present is going to crack the case. Lights, fire guy. We should check up on that island. And you, you need to keep your dark humor in check in front of children, okay? Nothing. What happened? Where do you hear bad words? Was it from someone on the coast? The radio? <clears throat> a word when you're done. I understand. Thank you. Let's have a word when you're finished, detective. Full circle. Back to Feld, then. When you're ready. You're bad with kids. Maybe I am. Now, how about some actual police work? We are not getting anything here. Don't worry, everyone is. How about we do some police work now? We are not getting anything here. You're right there. Let's see if we can find some police work, shall we? We are not getting anything here. Did you mean there are electrical lights? Let's go with yes. Congratulations. That's the gauntlet down then. We're doing good on the armor collection front. The little castle? The reigning lord must have come upon some really tough times to let it sleep in such decrepitude. Kids, press your damn cheek against Lamy, okay? <sighs> Maybe someone you know has acted a little different lately? I'll keep an eye on him, don't worry. I think she means revolutionary. Where did you get these gloves? We are going to need those gloves. It's for important police business. No, ma'am. We have no quarrel with sunny days. There was an exchange of fire on Rue de saint guilaine It's nothing to be worried about, madame. Of course, ma'am. It's only for a day or two. Official police business. Ah, oh, it's not serious. He'll be okay. Who has been there? Living with the construction noise is going to be a challenge. You've graduated to Lowbringer now? Can we maybe ask your twins about that place before we go? Would that be all right? I think I might. That's all we have time for right now anyway. Come back here in June and see how you feel about it then. It's not like it's going anywhere. Yes, that is a pity. But for now, let's focus on the things we do get to do. Like the murder investigation, for example. Let's call it a walk. I'll join you if the ma'am insists. Officer, I thought we had a walk of our own in mind. One that results in a solved murder investigation. I guess I can come along for a quick stroll. I mean, if the ma'am insists, of course. It absolutely does not. We are not going to look for him. He can talk human beings into telling him anything. And he doesn't stop. In all the time I've spent with him, he has not once stopped working on the case. He is tireless. Madly driven. Well, except that one time when he stopped to sing karaoke. Which, by the way, was a valiant effort. He really sang his heart out. Well, except that one time when he stopped to sing karaoke, which, by the way, I have to disagree with you, Mr. Vikmar, was a valiant effort. He really sang his heart out. Other than that one time, he has tirelessly worked on the case, and he solved it. We have a confession, a murder weapon, and the perpetrator, locked on the island right now, awaiting transportation. He apprehended a revolutionary brigade who stayed hidden for 50 years ever since the revolution, who's probably committed other murders over those years. Oh, and he also discovered a new species. And he solved it, near perfectly. In one week we have a confession, a murder weapon, and the perpetrator. Locked on the island right now, awaiting transportation. He apprehended a straggler who stayed hidden for 50 years, ever since the revolution who's probably committed other murders over those years. Oh, and he also discovered a new species, a colossal stick insect. It was on the island, camouflaged as the reeds. It uh, unfolded from the reeds. I think we may be dealing with the insulindian phasmid, a colossal stick insect, three meters tall. It's on the island, uh, camouflaged as the reeds. It uh, unfolded from them. I did not, unfortunately, get a photo. But I believe it may have been the insulindian phasmid. I know this sounds fantastic, but I'm a four times decorated lieutenant of the RCM. I do not make up encounters with cryptids to spice up my day. 
I am very, very sane. The killer did not seem to be aware of the phasmid's presence, exhibiting a strange, atypical dementia. He fell into a stupor after its appearance. He became near catatonic. Detective, wait. It's better if I... The old man was not aware of the phasmid's presence, exhibiting a strange, atypical dementia. He fell into a stupor after its appearance. He became near catatonic. Yes, but also... Detective, it's better if I do that. Yes, but also... He did everything he could. We did everything we could. The company hired unvetted mercenaries. Lieutenant Dubois got between them and the locals. He did so at considerable risk to his own life. He was shot, not once, but twice. We stopped an execution, not a negotiation. The loss of life was minimal compared to what it could have been. He did so at considerable risk to his person. Remember, he was shot. We stopped an execution, not a negotiation. The loss of life was minimal compared to what it could have been. On the case? It's worrying, especially considering his political views. Detective Dubois is, as you may know, a Mazovian socio-economist. He wants to liquidate the ruling class, which, again, for a police officer, is a little odd. Well, the drinking, the lost gun, also losing his badge, that's all true. And he's been drinking on the job. It's just strange, especially in light of his political views. Detective Dubois is, as you may know, a true blue moralist, a man of the center, not prone to political outbursts, which is commendable, but also at odds with his behavior. He did so at considerable risk to his own life. He was shot and survived only because of his armor. We stopped an execution, not a negotiation. The loss of life was minimal compared to what it could have been. Actually, you didn't. You had to see it. It had the subdued colors of a female and the nesting behavior too, I think. Not as far as I could see. There were other things there, though. Yes, but also reed-colored, beige and brown, a little green on the outside. After unfolding from a single stalk, it still retained parts that looked like reed tufts on its limbs. Stop being sorry for five minutes. Nothing is off the table. But I, I want to stress this. The fine does not have to be connected to the case. The case is 100% prosecutable without any chiromones. I tried to, but I only got a blur. Well, the drinking, the gun losing, also losing the badge, that's all true. Although he has not been drinking on the job this week. I told them a police raid will sweep the church in two days, which by the way, it will. If they have any brains, they won't be producing in there. Because I'm a police detective and manufacturing drugs is illegal. No. He just let some youth set up a club in the church. They thought they could produce in there. They won't. The building was abandoned. It was an okay idea. Better than having them out on the ice. Yes, it's very okay. When you were out. And then there's the motor carriage in the sea. Something I was not present for. But despite all this, he is a great detective. One of the best I have seen, in fact. Then there's the apocalypse thing. At first I thought it was a joke, but it's not. He actually thinks the world is about to end, in a bloodletting or gloaming. We are about to become vapor, even. Four kids were living in a tent on the ice. They were going to drown when it melted. It's not optimal, but the building was abandoned, so he put them in there. It's okay. There was a fridge we needed and a possible witness. He was just chasing a lead and ended up advising a local shopkeeper. It was okay. There was a possible witness in there, and it was close to the crime scene. He was just chasing a lead and ended up advising a local shopkeeper. It was okay. It's worrying, especially considering his political views. Detective Dubois is, as you may know, a Mazovian socio-economist. He wants to liquidate the ruling class, which, again, for a police officer, is a little odd. Then there's the superstardom. He likes to, from time to time, allude to being a superstar law official. At first I thought it was a joke, but now I'm not so sure. He says disco about 20 times a day. Don't make this harder for yourself. As you can see, it's about 3 meters tall. 
In fact, we think it may be the largest land invertebrate ever discovered. No, detective. We have a motive. A strange psychosexual fixation. Aggravated, possibly, by proximity to the phasmid and its chemicals. He himself gave a political reason. Said he had killed an enemy combatant. The RCM consists of policemen of the state that is. So, a little discrepancy there. A strange psychosexual fascination. The result of spending all this time in solitude on the islands of this bay. And trauma too. He himself gave a political reason. In his mind, he had killed an enemy combatant. Yes, until we stopped it. He saw the mercenary as an enemy combatant. There's plenty for prosecution to pick from, as far as motif is concerned. Also, we have a sniper's nest with full view of the room in which the mercenary died, right on the island, and two officers on the scene that Mr. Dross confessed to, possibly induced. But even without that, these men spent 50 years on the islands in the bay, in solitude, loathing what Ravachol has become. There's plenty for prosecution to pick from in terms of motive. Also, we have ballistics from the gun, matching the bullet found in the dead mercenary's head, and two officers on the scene that Mr. Dross confessed to. It's worrying, especially in light of his political views. Detective Dubois is, as you may know, a fascist, a far-right woman hater, and of course, also into race stuff, which, for a police officer, not good. It's worrying especially in light of his political views. Detective Dubois is, as you may know, a fascist, a far-right woman hater, and of course, also into race stuff. Which, for a police officer, not good. I had a major collision with him on the subject. He yielded, and is now striving to be a crypto-fascist. That is, a regular police officer who thinks these things, but doesn't say them. So that, yeah. Then there's the self-flagellation issue. He likes to apologize, profusely, making it sound like he's guilty of at least first-degree murder. It's not a good communication strategy for an officer. It's... Then there's the boring cop issue. Despite all the obvious and almost grotesque mannerisms and sartorial choices, he still insists he isn't characteristic enough. It's... It's odd especially in light of his political views. Detective Dubois is, as you may know, a hustler. He grinds. He makes the real. He's a visionary and a money engineer, which is just... This is a conversation for when we are no longer out in the open, in Martinez, where Everhart and Edgar Claire have ears everywhere. He didn't quite solve it. He cross-pollinated information between the company rep and Everhart, until the rep came to see that the union desires war. At which point Mrs. Messier decided to... Other still? He is also a Mazovian socio-economist who believes in liquidating the ruling class. How he reconciles these two points of view, I do not know. But he is vocal on both of them. It's not quite like that. The move allowed us to stabilize things here. It was not bad for Martinez. And we don't owe anyone anything. No, it's nothing like that. He was reckless with information, but ethical. We don't owe anyone anything. This allowed us to stabilize things in Martinez. Other still, he is also a full-blown fascist, an ultra-nationalist, woman-hater, and more than a little racist. How he reconciles these two points of view? But he is vocal about both. I don't even know which jacket he's talking about. There have been many things that he's found. He gets meticulous. But it's okay. It's just strange. Especially in light of his political views. Detective Dubois is, as you may know, a true blue moralist. A man of the center, not prone to political outbursts. Which is commendable. But also at odds with his behavior. Other still, he is also a full-blown fascist an ultra-nationalist, woman-hater, and more than a little racist. Which, I guess, goes well with the grind? I do not know, but he is vocal about both beliefs. You don't want to know. It's odd, especially in light of his political views. Detective Dubois is, as you may know, a hustler. He grinds. 
he makes the real. He's a visionary and a money engineer, which is just... Other still, he is also an ultra-liberal hustler who is always on the grind. How he reconciles these two points of view, I do not know. But he is vocal about both of them. No, I wouldn't say it was... Uh... Other still, he is also an ultra-liberal hustler who is always on the grind, which I guess goes well with some of his racism. I don't know. He is vocal about both beliefs, though. Harry! It explains everything. The running around, the jumping, the shot put, your inexplicable facial hair, the fact that you don't seem to know what homosexuality is, some of your more <clears throat> old-school social views. Of course. Contact Mike, high school. Harry, your goings-on with Kuno, Andre, Asel, the whole thing on the ice. That's why you are so juvy. Some of your more <clears throat> old-school wording choices. Your posture, even. The constant stretches. Your love of retro-style dance music. How you're able to perform a 360-degree spin kick. Your moves on the third floor, which honestly were just jump aerobics. Your use of the word graffito. I knew it. I knew no normal human being can run like that. He's an honest-to-God gym teacher. That's not true. Jamrock is too big for one precinct. You are just understaffed. And everyone respects the 41st. You have Captain Price. He's one of the most highly regarded men in the force. You're lucky. The press will blow over. Jamrock is lucky to have you. And it's often considered to be the greatest of the districts. You're lucky to have it. Well, first I will go back to my station and write the most detailed report anyone has ever seen. It will have to be good to cover all this. Then I will have a serious talk with my captain. Detective, we just stopped a small-scale war. Something is happening to Revachol. Detective, we just stopped a small-scale war. Something is happening to Revachol. I don't know what yet, but it's going to be a hard spring for the RCM. We need to get ready, infiltrate, investigate. Talk to Captain Price? I'd rather not ruffle the feathers of two captains with my doom-mongering. Work with... Price? I'm flattered, but I don't know if I... I would have to tie things up in GRIH first. But, I mean, whatever is coming, Jamrock will be more central to it than the harbor. Perhaps. There are people who say the zone of control will not hold up long. They are not on the radio yet. But there are parties out there. No. Good luck with your report. She and her husband were conducting the search for the Fasmid. It's their discovery, in part. They should know as soon as possible. It would do you good to deliver some positive news for a change. I do like the sound of that. He is very passionate about this. There were not any cameras around. They don't have cameras. In the crowd, there was a man and a woman in RCM uniform. In his defense, we were in a hurry. Yes, I'm still Kim Kisuragi, still a lieutenant from Prison 57. Lieutenant Kim Kisuragi, Prison 57. We've just come from the island, where our investigation led us. He is. He's getting better. And I can confirm that he drank a lot of alcohol prior to it happening. That is what I thought, at first, that it was a fantasy. But I've seen him work. It's not. He really is experiencing something out of the ordinary. He really does not remember. This sounds odd, but I was there. The church on the coast was shaking from an audio-spatial anomaly. It may have been anthroponetic or perhaps related to radio waves. Crab man is an unfortunate choice of words, but I was there. The church on the coast shook from an audio-spatial anomaly. It may have been anthroponetic or perhaps related to radio waves. Either way, I have put this into my report. You should read it. I do not, however, think it has anything to do with him drinking himself to the point of brain damage. Either way, it was real. I've even put it in my report. You should read it. I do not, however, think it has anything to do with him drinking himself to the point of brain damage. He did present this theory to me once before. I had trouble believing it then, but he seems to be convinced. And I've seen him work. His methods are unorthodox. We might need your help with something later. But this is clearly a departmental matter, so I'm going to leave you to discuss it among yourselves. 
He's wounded. It's been a long week, and he's handled an actual corpse. The 41st isn't... He has indeed had the possibility before. I have trouble believing him, of course, but he seems to want to convince himself of it. And I've seen him work. His methods are unorthodox. He's wounded. It's been a long week. Seriously? Are you? Fine. That is unhygienic and dangerous, and it does not endear you to me. Just wanted to make that clear, okay? I'm afraid we don't have time for rest stops right now, officer. We should really get back to the whirling. Good night. And try not to break the case without me. I'll wait outside to give you some time and privacy to check out your new living arrangement. But just so you know, after we are done with the day, I'll still be staying in the whirling in rags for the night. We'll meet in front of the shack in the morning. Good night, officer. We'll meet in front of the shack in the morning. I'll be sleeping in my room in the whirling. We'll meet in front of the shack in the morning. Well, if you are not in the hostel in the morning, I'll know where to find you. Here, in a shack. Riddles. Fits with the general ambiance here. That's for the police to find out. Right then. Please answer each question to the best of your ability. I'm sure we have a few. I wouldn't worry about that, ma'am. We are persistent. We are not here to cause any trouble, madame. You're not. No one around here considers us an ill omen. People would have told us. So, they don't hold services there anymore? The Ecclesiastes. I see, ma'am. I hope you don't mind if we look around anyway. In fact, he does. That's an excellent question, ma'am. Ah, <sighs> let's go mail it. What did you say? What? A bullet? Yes. That is a downside of having a 130 kilowatt engine. It lets the bad guys know when you are coming. Did she talk to you much during her last stay? It's too late now. There was a murder in Martinez. She might be a suspect. We would appreciate your help. We really should focus on some actual leads. Negotiating real estate deals isn't our main thing. Never mind. Let's just continue. I could use a breather before another rainy day begins. I could use a breather. It's been another track and field day. You didn't put it there, did you? She did. Hmm. I'm ready when you are. I'm ready when you are. Thank you, ma'am. Let's just get it out of the way as fast as we can. Contact dispatch from my kinema and ask them to connect you to the station. Maybe they can shed some light on this. Let's just get it out of the way as fast as we can. Contact dispatch from my kinema and ask them to connect you to the station. Maybe they can shed some light on this. You're still not saying it right. An aerostatic is an airship, a hybrid airship, semi-rigid. That is an aerostatic. Go home. It's an aerographito. It's meant for the coalition aerostatics that keep a lookout on the city from the low troposphere. Look, it's not something that can be explained on the go in a couple of sentences. We have more important things to focus on right now, so let's get back to them, all right? Well, I can't say it doesn't fit you. Still, you might try branching out a little. You know the expression, the clothes make the man. The right outfit in the right situation can make all the difference in the world. Then maybe you should change your look. Then maybe you should change your look. Oh, God. Don't start talking like those people too. There's nothing wrong with it per se. It's just a little much. This washed up tip top racer knows how to sew a lapel and center a back vent. Now, now. No need to despair, detective. You know the expression, the clothes make the man. We just need to find you a new style. That jacket you just acquired is a decent start. I'm glad you finally started dressing a little more like an officer of the RCM. Keep it up. It's good to see you looking like a proud officer of the RCM. It's important for the people of Martinez to know we are here. Anyway, we should probably get back to the case. Let's go. It's, well, a little eclectic, don't you think? How would you even describe what you're wearing? Right, detective. You are one regular cop. You are an officer of the RCM, not some bon vivant. You know the expression, the clothes make the man? The right outfit, in the right situation, can make all the difference in the world. If by disco you mean ungainly and sad, then yes, it's extremely disco. It would be better if you let them air out in the trash where they belong. For starters, you're wearing the exact same outfit I first met you in. For starters, you are dressed like an old fascist. Is that really appropriate? Well, all that fan gear makes you look like a bicycle courier. All you're missing is the shirt. 
To be perfectly blunt, you are dressed like a blood-hungry mercenary. Have you even smelled that jacket? It's like some wretched night-wandering creature died in it. Yes, and this mega binoclar knows how to sew a lapel and center a back vent. So if you want to wake up next to anyone other than Commodore Red, you might do well to take notes. Then maybe you should change your look. It might feel good to play Super Merc, but you might want to ask if it's actually helping you solve the case. Who knows? Perhaps something miraculous? Officers above the rank of sergeant are granted wide discretion when it comes to their uniforms. The idea is that civilians are more likely to open up to someone who's not dressed like a typical cop. <sighs> is that really the impression you want to give people? To be perfectly blunt, you are dressed like a bum. And you smell like one too. Then maybe you should change your look. It's just... Well, you look more like a high-flying businessman than a police officer. Then maybe you should change your look. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, detective. Yeah, drugs, shit, fuck. We don't care. Unfortunately, I can confirm that. I understand. People are usually afraid to do things if others aren't already doing them. Dancing makes you dance like sneezing makes you sneeze or yawning makes you... Yes, I suppose we did. Uh, anyway... That would depend on the circumstances. Tore it to pieces. I can see there's more to this story, detective. But you're not the first corrupt cop in the RCM. A crab? And a banger? Like a crab, you say? This is why I didn't go into the tent. Typical delinquency. Wonderful. Revachol really needed another cop for hire. Maybe later we can go and get some donuts. Good call, detective. You can lose your mind trying to mediate everything these delinquents come up with. Fate will take care of it for us. Please, officer, just finish your side interview. We need to move on to the case at hand. No. Conduct your side interview and let's move on to the case at hand. Okay. Now conduct your side interview and let's move on to the case at hand. As good a call as any. Better not to have made one at all, though. you lose your mind trying to mediate everything these delinquents come up with. Take this. You're called. It's okay. We are Jamrock. Sort of. Martinez is called North Jamrock sometimes. Jamrock is also a ghetto. Only smaller than Faubourg. <clears throat> Faubourg, not in Faubourg. It's a massive banlieue south of Jamrock Quarter. It is the largest ghetto in Revachol. Possibly the world. Agreed. Yeah, man. Got any dope? We need some dope bad. I got the boogie street checks. Trying to score some dope, man. Like we planned. Trying to score some smack. You got any? Trying to score some dope, man? Trying to score some smack? You got any? The D, man? Gotta hit that D. Diamorphine, girl. Quit cloning. We need a hookup for that D. Really? What's that? Okay. That's... That's real bad. Someone should definitely look into that. We're from the police, by the way. This is not a good questioning technique. As it stands, I'm going to have to thwart your plan by explaining to the woman that we are police officers. Yes. What do you mean? Aren't there any local authorities who might look down on such activities? Thing is, I haven't said party. Left it all behind? Are you sure you did? Who can tell, with all the delinquent behavior? And neither have you. Had you let me in on the script of this play before you performed it, I could have gone along. As it stands, the entire line of questioning has been compromised. We have nothing left to do but hope this was a play on your part, and to move on. Now, we have some questions for you. Who doesn't just love drugs? All the drugs. Just no? No, I don't think it would lead anywhere with Evrard. He's just going to deny it. No, it doesn't. You. If you were intending to use an unorthodox questioning technique for this branch of the investigation, which by the way is tangential at best, you should have let me in on it. 3.6 billion. Not counting those in sale. Thank you. Yes, a clever ruse. I see. A uh, what? In the future, could you please refrain from emoting too much on duty? The quasi-legal status of the RCM means we need to project strength twice as consistently as any other police force in the world. So you're saying you didn't break down in tears just now and nearly tear your shirt off? Do you uh, want to talk about what just happened? Uh-huh. Not when projecting strength. Then it's just weakness. Glad to hear it was minor. Can you go on? That's us. Revachol citizens militia. The police. Who indeed? So, what do you think happened? Normally, I'm opposed to discussing one's feelings, especially on duty. 
but I think this is an exceptional case. Okay, right. Enough of this. Good. Controlling your emotions sounds good. Yes, I've definitely never seen you cry before, nor lent you my handkerchief to dry your tears. Then, let's go. That may be so, but such is Revachol, and this is what is expected of us, in Revachol. Okay, you psychopath. I see what you're doing there. It's jacked up footwork, plus some... Is that Ubi folk dancing? A Code 31 emergency? Really? Get my what on? What's going on here? <sighs> Delinquent. What? Get to what? What's happening? We're done! Dance? Yellow? Monkey fucker? Dance? Monkey fucker? Are you kidding me? Excuse me, what? Okay, this is too imbecilic. Excuse me. The what now? The sound above your what? Sheesh, okay. Now, check this shit out. Good for you. Rock on, then. That all you got? I did 15 years in the juvenile crime unit. I can't do age inappropriate. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah? I did 15 years in the juvenile crime unit. I can do age inappropriate. It looks pretty dangerous, though. What happened? Are you feeling all right? Hardcore smartcore. I did 15 years in the juvenile crime unit. I can't do age inappropriate. Has anything like this happened to you before? It very well could be that something similar happened the night you lost your memory. Can you stand? That seems likely. Can you stand? Had a good rest there? That's all great, but we should really get going. We spent enough time doing aerobic exercise for today. So, we should get going, maybe? That's all great, but we should really get going. We spent enough time doing aerobic exercise for today. I hope you're not trying to dance with that leg of yours. Healing from a gunshot wound takes time and patience. Be careful! What's happening? How the hell are you dancing with that broken leg of yours? Then a breath of cold sea air fills the church as the lieutenant opens the door and steps out. It's his leg. Did you know he was shot just a few days ago? He shouldn't be dancing like a madman. He should be in bed, resting. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. What? It's not the beat. He was shot. <sighs> All right, party boy. Can you stand? I wouldn't. I wouldn't build a club and I wouldn't name it either. Of course, he had to smuggle in fury somehow. No, detective, it is not. We really should get to the whirling in rags. Now. Maybe we should circle the building first and look for another way. The building has seen enough mistreatment. I'm not as sturdy as you are. I have even less leverage. If you really think we should get in there, we need to find some other way. Can you hear the pulsing bass underneath the east wind? A sure sign of junior delinquency. It does seem rather irrelevant to our case. But maybe we should look for another way in first. The building has seen enough mistreatment. Maybe we should look for another way in first. The church has seen enough mistreatment. How about we go and check out that tent again? Tools break, officer. Try to control yourself. I thought this was a lousy way to enter a place of worship that's already in disrepair. I guess the church agreed. Besides, we should really get to the island. Looks like a dead man smiling. Suggests junior delinquency. I haven't seen that sticker before. And I'm not a youth. That level of conceptual thinking is not part of my skill set. Yes, there's a toolbox in the kinema. Can you hear the pulsing bass underneath the wind? A sure sign of junior delinquency. Somewhere east of here. I don't know. You don't? Or maybe we'll find a new one. I don't carry more than one pry bar with me. These acts aren't called crimes as they would be for adults. Crimes committed by minors are called delinquent acts. This was part of your officer's exams. For Revachol ZOC, the moral intern defined junior delinquents as minors between the ages of 10 and 16 who have committed an act in violation of the law. Let's go. I don't think that's going to work. Do you think our suspect is hiding inside? No. But maybe we should circle the building and look for another way in first. The building has seen enough mistreatment. People do look to churches for shelter. But an abandoned thing like this? I'm not so sure. Oh no, we're going to be in this church forever. It looks like a makeshift bridge. Could be convenient. We should ask that girl on the ice what's going on here. What's my problem? God, no. I'm a detective, not a charity service for shambolic degenerates who won't help themselves. Detective, enough. I don't want to hear about your degenerate ravings. I've heard plenty as it is. Just stop. 
You fucking asshole. I'm not here to be your loyal assistant, and I never have been. Of course that's what you think, contrary to all evidence and experience. I'm not here for your sake. You're a real piece of work, detective, you know that? Reva Cholien. I don't suppose anyone ever questions whether you belong here. No matter how badly you fuck up, no matter what a mess you make, you never stop being Reva Cholien. People call me all sorts of things. But you know the one thing they never call me? No offense. You think? I was born here. I grew up here. It's the only home I've ever known. And there's a good chance I'll die in the line of duty here, too. But to most of my countrymen, I will always be some monkey fucker. I don't suppose anyone ever questions whether you belong here. Whatever your faults, you're a decent enough detective. No one will ever doubt that you're a real Revacholian. I don't suppose anyone ever questions whether you belong here. Whatever your faults, you're a solid detective. You're obviously Revacholian. You what? I see. Suppose I don't recommend you be involuntarily committed for a moment. What did la Revacholia say to you? Yes, it does. In any case, I have some personal matters I'd like to get in order. If you don't object, I'm going to leave the rest of the day's investigation to you. Try not to break anything while I'm gone. I'll see you in the morning, detective. <clears throat> what good times. If they don't mean anything, why do you say them? Don't fuck anything else up while I'm away. Nobody's ever said that to me before. Well, good. Because we are partners. Now, I have some personal matters I'd like to get in order. If you don't object, I'm going to leave the rest of the day's investigation to you. A role to play in what? What kind of future are we talking about here? Quit fooling around, detective. What did La Reva Cholier tell you about the future? Really? It's not your fault that you are down with racism or whatever you told the lorry man? The world is going to end. Promise me something, detective. You won't tell anyone else what you just told me. No, I think I need to take care of some personal matters for a while. If you don't object, I'm going to leave the rest of the day's investigation to you. Detective, I'm serious. Have you considered what will happen to the RCM's reputation if one of our own starts going around talking about the end of the world? In an official capacity? Now, if it were any other day, I would leave for the night. But we have more pressing matters. We need to wrap up this investigation and we need to do it fast. Now, if it were any other day, I would leave for the night. But we have more pressing matters. We need to get to the island and we need to do it as soon as possible. This case is much, much bigger than just you and me. We are close. Let's keep it professional until the very end. It's not your fault that you subscribe to Measure Heads in any racial theories? This case is much, much bigger than just you and me. We are close to the end. Let's cross the finish line. Then we can part our ways. Yes. And? Now, if it were any other day, I would excuse myself for the night. But we have more pressing matters. We need to wrap up this investigation, and we need to do it fast. Now, if it were any other day, I would excuse myself for the night. But we have more pressing matters. We need to get to the island, and we need to do it as soon as possible. It's not your fault that you buy into whatever conspiracies bug-chasing crypto-fascists feed you? Apologizing would be a good start. Maybe it really isn't your fault. You might just be an irretrievable human catastrophe. Let me ask you something. What do you see when you look at me? Well, at least you're explicit about it. Most of the time, people try to be polite. You know what you did not say I am, though? Yeah, that's what most people say. But do you know what they don't say? That's what you are supposed to say, of course. But do you know what you didn't say? Ah, be serious a moment, please. You know, detective, one of your problems is that nothing ever seems to be your fault. Have you noticed that? Which I guess makes me the idiot for hoping you could be better. I mean, look at yourself. Detective, I just don't understand. We had been making real progress towards solving the case. You've been spinning your wheels here for how long? And what do you have to show for it? You've not just been unhelpful when it comes to solving the case. You've been an active hindrance to the investigation. But now I'm afraid I just can't trust you. Well, I'm done waiting for you to get your shit together. Stop. Stop. You won't even call me by my actual title. It's always Kim this, Kim that. Has it even occurred to you how disrespectful that is? 
But see, you can't, or you just refuse to. Not that the difference really matters. For the sake of the investigation, I'll stay. No, you fucking asshole. This isn't a game, and you are not the hero. You don't get infinite chances to do the right thing. That's not how the world works. I'm staying because I have to protect the investigation from you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some other matters to attend to. We'll meet again as usual in the morning. And, detective, get your shit together, detective. Yes, you really came through for the hardcore underground. How come? Okay. <clears throat> there is a difference between narcotics and groupilation. One kills you, the other does not. Forget it. It would become an imbecilic discussion. You two continue. It's more hardcore that way. Back across the waterlock. At least we are getting our exercise in today. Not even the RCM has access to that kind of equipment. The coalition is extremely possessive of its frequency bands. Something tells me Miss Messier would be less than thrilled to hear your plan to commandeer her boat so you can talk to a coalition warship. Yes, you two have grown quite close over the last few days, always doing little errands for each other. I'm not sure I'd use the word friendly to describe Mr. Clare's attitude toward us. It would also be incredibly stupid. Detective, did you not take elementary radio operations? I thought it was an RCM-wide requirement. And before you ask, no, you can't have the radio from my kinema. I highly doubt that. When I crank the volume on my dino wave, it's like you're in the front row at the National Concert Hall. Joke all you want, detective. Whatever radio you manage to scrunch up won't lay a finger on my setup. You go ahead. I'm too old for this. I'm sure you will feel right at home. I'll keep watch. We should leave. I doubt this place bears any connection to the case. We should probably let it be. This little foray bears little connection to the case, no? A radio computer. We have one down at the station. No, I don't know how to operate it or what it's used for. Let's go. She repeats passwords. Programming people are all paranoid. I'm afraid we are not doing that. Unless we want to wait for a month. Let's look around. There's no use trying to guess the answer. Maybe he knows something. Fourth of February. That's over a month ago. Whoever set up those machines has been here for quite a while. Our case? No, I don't think so. It must be some local eccentric. I doubt that we can find any. It's just idle fishermen's gossip to scare away the kids. Nothing spooky about this place either. It's just abandoned and cold and in an awful part of town. Her friends? Colleagues? She must be quite educated if she knew how to set up all this machinery. Seems like something to do with radio computers. Unfortunately, I don't know enough about them to understand what the author is saying. The strike. We are nearing the date of the murder. The pillar of silence. She is talking about the silence. Is she suggesting it's more than just an architectural quirk? A girl on the ice? Sounds like her, yes. Why would anyone need any of this equipment here? Is she talking about... I knew it wasn't a good idea to meddle with that machine. We should talk to her. After she has rebooted the machine. Keep reading. I'm interested now. I want to know what's that radio anomaly that sent this person here in the first place. Something about the backup data getting destroyed. And how everyone thought it was the author's fault. Let's just keep reading. I think these people worked in the radio computer games business. The one we saw in the Doom commercial area. They must be her former co-workers. It's also quite similar to the one we have down at the station. Must be the same model. Saint-Brune. That's the church. And Rue de saint guilaine That's the Doom commercial area. Psst. Someone's coming. I do apologize for the intrusion, madame. We are with the RCM, you see. A radio computer. And it's turned on. Another radio computer. And this time it's already turned on. We should probably let it be. It's becoming clear that there's no trace of the suspect anywhere inside the church. You do know there's no need to officially document this information, right? Good luck. I'm not coming in there. Great. After we've done this, we can finally get to the island. Great. And here I thought we were finally going to the island. She's not joking. Even the RCM has to receive special approval from the coalition to access that kind of equipment. Back across the water lock. At least we are getting our exercise in today. Something tells me Miss Messier would be less than thrilled to hear your plan to commandeer her boat so you can talk to a coalition warship. Problematically so, 
one might even argue. Detective, does the 41st not require its officers to pass elementary radio operations? I thought it was an RCM-wide policy. Ah, I see. This is connected to the drug manufacturing thing. And before you ask, no, you can't have the radio from Makinema. I highly doubt that. When I crank the volume on my dino wave, it's like you're in the front row at the National Concert Hall. Joke all you want, detective. Whatever radio you manage to scrounge up won't lay a finger on my setup. Ah, wonderful. It's the Wayfarer Act again. You can't just throw citizens out of public spaces, at least not legally. Wonderful. Now this place is also going to be a drug lab. Always something fascinating happening in tents. No, don't mind me. Go on with your little project. I'm sure you can spin it as an undercover op. Many cops do. It is, yes. It's against the law. We're cops. The law is important to us. Interesting. A police officer trying to evict a citizen from a public space, despite the Wayfarer Act. Apologies. I was just thinking out loud. Go on. And she's not. Disrupting any order, I mean. You okay? They should really allocate some renovation funds to this place. Is that really necessary, detective? Now this house of worship is also going to be a drug lab. Always something fascinating happening in tents. I've never witnessed a programmer work before. The pillar of silence? Are you sure it's not just an architectural quirk? You know, we don't actually have to tell the entire world about the fridge. We would appreciate it if you kept this knowledge to yourself, miss. In his defense, it was simply lying in the desk drawer of an abandoned cubicle. Incredible. This would also explain why we get it on the police radio all the time. Yes. And we have to get back to stabilizing Martinez. <sighs> Instead of demolishing it with loud bass noise of unknown origins. It was very hard not to. I think you're right. There is something going on here. And you need to be very careful with it. Detective. Put the gun down, detective. I also have a question, since we are piling them on. How do you know this? I'm not doubting you. I'm simply curious as to how a detective of the RCM, an amateur anthroponetic police officer. I'd like to say I've heard stranger things, but I'm not sure. This is a hell of a guess, however. Well worded, I might add. Man, you will certainly sound mad. Thank you, Egghead. Let's leave it at that, shall we? We have an anthroponetic detection to perform in this district. It's a minor landmark, not easy to find. Most maps misplace it. It was built not long after Ravachol's founding, 300 or so years ago, by first-generation settlers. There used to be seven stiff churches on the coast. Les Setsa, they called them, the Seven Sisters. Only one remains. The rest were burnt in the revolution or used for building materials. We should be respectful here, although the building appears to be deserted. I do not believe we'll find an instigator here. Something else, perhaps? We should be respectful here, although the building appears to be deserted. We have already found the instigator. I'm not sure what else we could want from here. Yes, I wasn't sure before, but this must be the DeLorean Church of Humanity in Martinez. It's called the Small Pinewood Church in some records. I have a theory, yes. There was a police raid a while back. I heard the place was shut to pieces. The old woman in the village was being tactful with us when she didn't mention it. She has more respect for the RCM than many around here. Well, your station was involved, I hear. Although I can be sure. Three precincts were involved in the raid, and people say Precinct 41 was one of them. I am pretty sure it was a clandestine operation. I don't know anything more about it, why it was conducted, or who participated. I try not to pry into extra-district matters. I'm sorry, I'm not saying you were. It was a clandestine operation. I don't know anything about it, why it was conducted, or who participated. I try not to pry into extra-district matters. Good luck. You will not get information on a confidential operation from your station secretary just by calling. If you really don't remember, it might be better to keep this one forgotten. I agree. It happened a while ago. It's an important to our business in Martinez now. It happened a while ago. It's an important to our business in Martinez now. Yes, we all are. Her name, body, and rule are synonymous with humanism. The laws we enforce are DeLorean in origin. It's not spiritual, it's constitutional. The DeLorean system does not demand faith, only accordance. I have no idea what you mean by that. We've been standing here long enough. We should look around or get out. It's Dolores Day. 
I believe we are in the Dolorean Church of Humanity in Martinez, or the small Pinewood Church in some records. It's Dolores' day. The old woman was right. This is the Dolorean Church of Humanity in Martinez, or the small Pinewood Church in some records. Death, life again. After the world, the pale, after the pale, the world again. This exaltation is common in Dolorean sacralism. In the early years, it was even incorporated as the RCM slogan. No more, however. Justice, union, prudence, and force. It was deemed subservient to use a strongly moral intern related motto. We already suspected of bootlicking. The sentence was also seen as too feminine. It was a macho thing. So do I. Not at all. Ice cool. You are brutal and dumb. Officer, you've stood there for over five minutes. What are you thinking of, if I may ask? She's been dead for 300 years. I am almost a thousand percent certain she isn't connected to the case. None of this is, in fact. This church, the coast, this isn't a good place to get lost in. Yes, glowing lungs are quite unusual. After that one time, they have not been reported to glow. You know, this church, the coast, we shouldn't linger. Finish what you came here to do and let's move on. This isn't a good place to get lost in. She introduced us to the idea of public education, retirement, and modern diplomacy. Either way, this church, we shouldn't linger here. This isn't a good place to get lost in. This church, the coast in general, we shouldn't linger here. This isn't a good place to get lost in. We should conclude our business and move on. Okay. This church, the coast in general, we shouldn't linger here. This isn't a good place to get lost in. Okay. It's just that you've been looking at that window for quite long now. And it's cold in here. That she is. A great sacred piece. I wonder what we are doing here, however. In this church, I mean. The coast in general. We shouldn't linger. This isn't a good place to get lost in. Either way. This church, the coast in general. We shouldn't linger here. This isn't a good place to get lost in. We should conclude our business and move on. I don't know about that. It was a different time. A different war. Okie dodo. I assure you I'm not. We should be respectful here. Although the building appears to be deserted. I do not believe we'll find anything connected to the lynching here. Something else, perhaps? I do. I heard it was a particularly bad one. The place was shot to pieces. If this man was really here when it happened, then it's better for all of us that he doesn't remember what happened. The old woman in the village was right. This must be the Dolorean Church of Humanity in Martinez, or the small Pinewood Church in some records. You know, actually, since we're here, you may want to pay attention to what the ceiling climber is saying. Do you remember your name, sir? <laughs> Did you witness it? This man is obviously a habitual narcotics user. Do we really need to question him? Did it ever seem to you like she was hiding here from something? I see. And where is she now? That was an interesting conversation. However, I'm still not sure how it's relevant to our investigation. However, I'm still not sure whether we'll find our suspect here. Officer, what are you looking at? Can you hear anything? The church just has strange acoustics, some engineering trick. I wonder why the church was built with such strange acoustics. Hmm. Could be. Please, detective. Not this again. Officer, is there something up there? Hmm. Maybe. Darkness often has that effect on people. Yes. Chemistry has many uses. In police work too. Feel free to come back later and have a blast with these exemplars of youthful avant-gardism. But we really need to return to the present now. Maybe we could, you know, ask the man who's pointing at the building? Right. How do we get in, though? The doors were on the collapsed side of this building. They're gone, basically. Some sort of industrial ruin? I don't recognize the name of the company. R&D used to mean research and development. It looks long abandoned. Looks like tomorrow never came. In case she's underground? Don't mind that. A bad attempt at humor. Ask Revachol sounds like an expression. For when you have no idea. We should continue our search, perhaps even get a little desperate. Of course, we should continue our search. Anyway, we do it the old-fashioned way, sector by sector. Go over the whole peninsula, ask the locals, enter the places where we can enter first, like we did in the village. Officer, are you okay? It looked like we lost you for a second. Doesn't look like it to me. Probably not, anyway. When you're ready, 
Right. Well, I'm sure that after... Okay, when you're ready, officer. How do we? I was really hoping she'd be in the village. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Let's move on. I don't think we need to stand around anymore. She's probably north of the village, and this place is a peninsula. I think there's people west of here. We could ask them. Because I hope you didn't mean to climb that ladder. It's not safe. I see. Political theory is detective work, right? After you, officer. You mean we should do that right now, don't you? Can that be done after the murder investigation? Then, if we're desperate, we can look where we can't enter. Bankers, storm drainage, this place. I'm sure it won't come to that. True. But how do we even get in there? The doors were on the collapsed side of this building. They're gone, basically. There's also still a question of how the twins tuned into Speedfreaks FM. I don't know. It's your call, detective. If you drop the radio lead now, just be prepared to leave without having done it. It's your call, detective. If you drop the radio lead now, just be prepared to leave without having done it. I'm only observing that there's another lead you wanted to follow. And that if you drop the radio lead now, just be prepared to leave without having done it. Ask the wind sounds like an expression for when you have no idea. We should continue our search. Perhaps even get a little desperate. Perhaps you can climb them. We are not climbing anything. I'm 43 years old and I plan to live to see 70. So how do we get in there? The doors were on the collapsed side of this building. They're gone, basically. Right. How do we get in there? The doors were on the collapsed side of this building. They're gone, basically. And then there's the church. If I were a murder suspect, I would not hide in the most prominent building here. But who knows? Maybe she's reckless. Looks like tomorrow never came. We should go. It gets cold if you stand in one place too long. What? I didn't say anything. What are we doing here? We keep returning and you act strange. Of course, black magic. The most potent type of magic. If we are that desperate, may I suggest getting shovels and digging? Like, maybe we can get shovels and dig? Don't mind that. A bad attempt at humor. Good, good, yes. Cold spells. So basically your hangover is telling you she's down there? Okay. Why? In there? She could. Or she could be in the identical room over there. Or in that boat shack. In that church tower, maybe. Careful. Enough of that now, officer. There has got to be a better, more age-appropriate way in. You know, for the record, you didn't teleport there. You just climbed the ladder with your eyes closed. Oh yes, it could hurt. A lot. Teleportation is not a thing. This really has nothing to do with adventure. We are dealing with basic physics here. Okay, let's say teleportation is a thing. Wouldn't you need some kind of scientific apparatus to create a teleportation field? You can't just do it without apparatus. I just saw you climb the ladder. You just climbed it like a regular person. Never mind! Find a way to let me in when you get inside. <sighs> Don't go adventuring with a backup, especially if we think the suspect may be hiding here. Yeah. That doesn't look good at all. You're not. Please, don't try to climb the building. We'll get in another way. Teleportation apparatus? I don't remember mentioning anything about teleportation apparatus. Please, don't try to climb the building. We'll get in another way. That's not how physics work, detective. And even if it were, wouldn't you need some kind of apparatus? A teleportation field or... Okay, well... That's impressive, but... What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Big deal? You're right, you shouldn't have. Let's just go. I've had enough of this phone booth. You are making prank calls. Are we about done with this now? Officer, that's enough. Let's return to work. That's enough now, officer. <clears throat> Please tell me you're not taking that with you. It's a guano-encrusted jacket, and you're already carrying around enough as it is. I'm sure he'll be thrilled to have it returned. A clue? You think our suspect is a seagull who's been defecating on unsuspecting jackets? <sighs> me neither. From where I stand, I can see two options. We either take the case or report back to the station and leave it for our colleagues to handle. Great. We should call the library. Maybe it can provide us with a lead. That is, if we decide to take the case. Taking the case would mean that we need to identify the man and take care of the corpse. I can take the body to the morgue on my own, or we could ask for the help of the Hardy Boys. But if all of this seems too much of a hassle, then there's also the option of reporting back to the station and leaving the case for our colleagues to solve. Field autopsy isn't necessary if the cause of death doesn't appear to be criminal, and this looks like a simple accident to me. I'd say we should just write down head trauma in the autopsy report and leave it at that. It would save us at least two hours of unnecessary work. Are you serious? 
Maybe, but we don't really have that much time or resources to spare. Still, if you want to go ahead, be my guest. Good call. All right. We're still going to have to call the station to let them know we're taking on an additional case and so they can take away the body. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything, especially any identifying information, before we go. If we take the case, then we have to identify the man and take care of the corpse. I can take the body to the morgue on my own, or we can ask for the help of the Hardy Boys. We should also give the Jamrock Library a call, see if we can learn anything about this Billy Mejean. All right, the station is going to want details, however. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything before we head back to my kinema to make the call. How long has he been dead? Did you identify him? Search through his pocket. Is he still there? Huh? My God, I think you're right. God, I almost blew her head off. <sighs> For a moment there. Situation is under control. You're not shot. She's not a threat. Everybody stay calm. Poor woman. We need to figure out what to do with her now. I don't think she actually... You're right, of course. This could have been very bad. She's in a stupor. I've seen this before. God knows for how long. Could be days when they get like this. Honestly, I don't know. Dementia, probably. Dementia and Channel 8. And loneliness. Probably not. But more pressing is the question of what to do with her right now. Yeah. Looks like a bad case. But the question is what to do with her right now. There's a bit more to this than that. But right now, we need to decide what to do with her. Could be. Her hands were trembling and she did seem uncoordinated. But what are we going to do with her? I don't think there's any need for that. In her current state and without the gun, she isn't really a threat to anyone. We could let Titus know. This is a perfect problem for the local peacekeepers to handle. They might even know her family. I guess I'll just notify my station. They'll contact the sanitarium and handle the logistics. That would just be a waste of paper. I mean, look at her. She's not going to respond to a station slip. No. That is not an option. We'll either unload this to Titus and his guys, or I'll ask for help from my station. Okay, that settles it. I'll contact my station after we wrap it up for the day. They can contact the sanitarium and handle the logistics. Then we can ask him once we get back to the whirling. But we have to hurry, because it's late and they might have already gone home. Oh, before we go, I believe this belongs to you. Okay, but probably couldn't change your mind anyway. Let's go then. Of course. Understandably, things got a bit hectic before. Don't worry about it. Reunited at last. Let's go now. But I think we're done here for now. Let's head out. This is done. I've had disturbances similar to this before. Many calls. But never this bad. You're right. Let's call her out on this. I've been thinking that too. But it's impossible to tell for certain in these lighting conditions. Oh, is that yours? It's your hat. <clears throat> You're taking those, are you? Madame! Please drop the firearm immediately. I guess I got my answer. Right. Okay. Sure. I guess that's fine. Thank you. I'm doing this to help you. We need to focus on the case. You might not want to take those. You seem to have a slight problem. We can't leave. A delirious civilian is pointing firearm at us. Your firearm. You need to solve this. I don't think she's on drugs. Being off drugs might actually be the problem here. See? This is what happens when we are not around. Fascinating. What's the situation, officer? Easy. Press her too hard and she'll... Wait, officer! We are trying to de-escalate the situation. Adding more guns just makes it worse. You're making it worse, officer. Now? It's not the time. Officer, there is no way I'm leaving it like this. Ma'am, please. We want to help you, but you need to lower that weapon. This is bad. Getting a weapon back is the priority. We can't have an unhinged civilian running around with a gun. You're making it worse, officer. Be careful, detective. Don't do anything that might set her off. Actually, I think there is... No, it's too much. He's joking. A pleasure, Will? So you haven't seen anyone around? Nice to meet you. He's correct. It makes coordinating operations with the coalition exceedingly difficult, from our perspective. Hmm, she's not a failed engineer, exactly. But perhaps that programmer from the church might be of assistance? Hmm... No one would mistake them for failed engineers, but perhaps your young friends in the tent might be of assistance? Ah, oh, good. Now we are circuit bending into radio towers. Just what this side task was missing. Detective. A word? Excuse us a moment, please. I haven't the faintest idea who this gentleman is, but I've got a hunch he might have some affiliation with the coalition. 
in case you're still serious about that committee business. In any case, I'll let you take it from here. A tragedy. It's possible, but let's take it step by step. We still haven't identified the man. A sequence killer? There's nothing that connects those two bodies. This is a completely different case. An accident. Without any further evidence, yes. Yes, but I just wanted to make it clear, it's not a sequence killer, okay? Some symptoms of acute alcohol poisoning could have definitely played a role here. Severe confusion, respiratory depression, unpredictable behavior. I'd say we should just write down head trauma in the autopsy report and leave it at that. It would save us at least two hours of unnecessary work. Maybe, but we don't really have much time or resources to spare. The guys at processing will take care of the rest. A field autopsy isn't necessary if the cause of death doesn't appear to be criminal, and this looks like a simple accident to me. But I think that death arrives through head trauma, not liver failure. Good call. The guys at processing can take care of the rest. Good. We should take a look at that library card after this is done. I don't see any other major wounds, do you? Seems like the head wound was fatal. It's exactly the shape of the bench. Tear. All around us. Tear. All around us. I'd prefer if you didn't collect them this time. It's not proper. The next thing to do is call the station for my kinema and hand over the case. Then we can return to the murder investigation and be done with it. All right. The station is going to want details, however. We already examined the library card we found on the body. Good. That should be enough for the first lead. All right. We've already examined the library card. Let's call the Jamrock Library from my kinema. See if we can learn anything about this Billy Mejean. All right. We should first examine the library card you found. Then we can call the station from my kinema. Let them know we are taking the case. And while we're there, we should also call the station. Let them know that we are taking the case. Hold on. Looks like he's been dead for a while. I'm surprised no one found him before you came along. The woman you met at the book stand? Why do you think it's her husband? Death by misadventure. He slipped and fell through the boardwalk. A truly unfortunate accident. If it wouldn't have been for that bench, he'd be alive. Yes, yes, but what actual facts do you have that connect him with this woman you met at the book stand? The bright blue lining? Well, he's definitely someone's husband. He ate the whole pack, right? It's to cover the smell of alcohol before going home. The worst thing is, I've seen it before. Almost the same scenario, even the chewing gum. It's always the same. I can't see a book. So he took the book to the library, then came back and thought, I'll have one. Damn it. He is definitely someone's husband. I'd say we should just write down head trauma and leave it at that. Let's keep this detour as short as possible. The sooner we get back to finding Ruby, the better. We should take another look at the library card you found on him. From where I stand, I can see two options. We either take the case and follow the leads to identify the body on our own, or we report back to the station and leave this for our colleagues to handle. Oh yes, no need to rush. All right, the station is going to want details, however. Let's examine that library card you found on the man's body, see if it has any clues. Then we can call the station from my kinema and hand over the case. Looks like one of the locals. He'd have to know this spot to come here. You don't just walk over here. But that's just a lazy assumption. What do you think? Well, he's definitely someone's husband. No, I don't see anything that points in that direction. For now, let's treat this case as a simple, albeit sad, accident and related to the murder case. But let's try to not run ahead. For now, all we know is that he's an unidentified middle-aged man found dead on the Martinez boardwalk. We do know that he was married. But you're right, let's not run ahead. For now, all we know is that he's an unidentified middle-aged man found dead on the Martinez boardwalk, and he was married. Well, at least you're not married. Hold on. Looks like he's been dead for a while. I'm surprised no one found him before you came along. Lividity is faintly pronounced. Whoever this is, he's been dead for two days. No longer. We need to investigate. The wedding ring. What about it? The deceased ate some kebab. It's probably from a nearby place, maybe in the box. They'll seal this place off after the news reaches the coalition officials. I doubt that they have enough resources to actually repair the boardwalk. Not that sealing it off would keep anyone away. 
All it does is keep the city council's hands clean. It does seem to be a pretty straightforward misadventure. Although there's still a question of identifying the body. Eyes up, detective. Something's not right here. I was always too small to be allowed on board. The harness didn't work. And by the time I was finally tall enough, the wheel had fallen apart. But anyway, perhaps not fun. But I do think he was trying to make himself feel better, yes. In his own way. But all of us are trying to make it feel all right. Even if just for a moment. I don't think he came here to die. Mr. Méjean? We should get going. It's getting cold just standing here. The what now? Hmm? What is going on with you, detective? See what? Detective. It's been a hard week. I don't think standing here for much longer is going to do either of us any good. We should get moving. Running gets the endorphins going, no? But I don't think standing here in the cold is doing you or me any good. Let's go. We've got a case to solve. The man we found? Yes, I don't know. We didn't learn much about him, did we? I'm not sure what got you on this pleasure wheel kick, but I'm not going to ask any more about it. The one that Mr. Heidelstam mentioned? It's getting cold just standing here. I wouldn't mind if we moved around again, maybe even had a little run. What are you looking at? Well, here's a secret. I've never been on an amusement ride. There used to be one in Kuran, a small one, when I was a kid. I'll call the station when we're finished with the day and let them know the name of the deceased. Sure, I'll call the station when we are done with the day. Let's go. It's all right. Don't worry about it. You did enough. I'll call the station when we're finished with the day and let them know the name of the deceased. But yes, that's on me. Let's get on with the murder investigation. So, the death notification. It's all right. Don't worry about it. I'll call the station tomorrow and let them know the name of the deceased. That's it. We should get back to our case. There's nothing more we can do here. There's not much we can do for them anymore, I'm afraid. And, officer, I've seen worse. This wasn't the worst I've seen, okay? Now let's go. Can't save the whole world, you know? I'll call the station tomorrow and let them know the name of the deceased. Let's go. They'll manage. That's it. We should get back to our case now that our duty here is done. Anyway, I'll call the station when we're finished with the day and let them know the name of the deceased. Anyway, I'll call the station tomorrow and let them know the name of the deceased. Well? No, it didn't. Well, I'll call the station when we are done with the day and inform them about the identity of the deceased. You did well. Busted the neck, did you? Glad I stopped when I did. My neck was really starting to hurt. Don't worry, little man. Now, we should get going. All right. <coughs> it's a good moment to stop. My neck was starting to hurt. If there's nothing more, we should get going. Perhaps the ones executed here were the loyalist conservatives killed by the communists at the start of the civil war. Or it could have been the communists put to death during the last stretch of the conflict by the coalition forces. It could even have been the employees of the failed R&D center down the coast as their building was taken over by the revolutionaries. Hmm, correct. The density of the bullet holes is unusual. Even in a general, average bullet hole frequency in Martinez's sense. Grim affairs. I don't know. I don't know who died here, lined up beside that horrible wall. It could have been any of the parties involved in the revolution. Yeah, it's very unlikely the coalition forces were the ones who died here. They were always the last ones against the wall. To be honest, if a coalition member was anyone in this situation, it was a commandant, the superior giving the orders. Another likely scenario, meaning this is a lot of bullet holes. Looks like fully automatic rifle fire. Something you don't see these days. The manufacturing and sale of automatic rifles was curtailed after the revolution. The destructive power of such tools proved to be too much. We do need to retain some humanity in this world. Nothing for us to do here. Let's move along. All right. <clears throat> I'm glad we stopped when we did. My neck was starting to hurt. If there's nothing more, we should get going. Are you still pursuing this? No part of me is part of this conversation. Oh, no. That's a special thing you two are enjoying with each other. I'm not going to dignify that with an answer. Make it quick. We are in the middle of a murder investigation. Ah, I've been through this with you. I am not. Just please make it quick. 
We are in the middle of a murder investigation, remember? More important than our murder investigation? Oh, people are noticing, Gary. They've probably dispatched the team already. Not to the present, of course. To past Gary. They prefer to deal with problems before they become unmanageable. Just something to think about. Make it quick. And the question was rhetorical, not a trick. No, it really isn't. Just please make it quick, so we can get back to our low-priority murder case. In that case, please make it extra quick, so we can get back to it. I mean it. No? Because I could have sworn that's what you're doing right now. I concur, detective. It's completely unfeasible. Fine. Just make it quick. We need to get back to our case. Disgraced? No need for the histrionic, sir. It was, after all, just a trash container. You wouldn't be able to hear if you were wearing anal beads. Please excuse my colleague's humor. Working this murder case is taking a toll on us both. You don't quite have to answer that yet. Do you remember how, when we met Measurehead and I said the next racist will be a really good one? Well, this is that racist. The weather vane has turned. He cannot be unturned. Great. First a sandwich, now a pie. No, you've got explaining to do. We don't really do that around here. It's okay. It was a loose end, and you are tying it up now. At any rate, this is that racist. So you do know something about it, using a standard form, officer. It's 50 real. You're getting off easy. In return, we expect information. You have questions to answer, sir. Right. It was just civic duty. A lavender shadow. Of course you do. A detective. Pardon me, I did not wish to seek conflict. It's simply my training to question things. Which one? Mm -hmm. The burning rhino is where they draw the line. I have a feeling the only people foolish enough to spend their time skulking among the reeds are these poor fools and us. But fine, it's not like we are drowning in leads, is it? Even relative to examining a weak old corpse, I'm not sure mucking about in the reeds qualifies as fun. But have it your way, detective. Of course, more clever. Right. Which means you two can pack up and go back to the whirling. Sir, your wife is waiting for you. And we are not really the wildlife protection services. I hope you're not buying this. He dispenses it without letting you touch the canister, so it would be precious like holy water. Delinquents. My favorite. You can? Fine. It's better than having these people get pneumonia on the coast. But after this, this place is much better for field work in the summer, believe me. Ahem. <clears throat> Just out of curiosity, if there's no proof of its existence, how do you know it's real? My partner was joking, uh, we are on a search of our own. It wouldn't hurt to check the reeds while we're at it. I assume that's what we'll be doing? We are getting really carried away with this, aren't we? Fine, it's better than having these people get pneumonia on the coast. But after this, thank you, it's an honor. We should probably return to our main investigation here. This has been refreshing, but that seemed like a lot. Do we really have time for this extracurricular venture? Why not? At least it will give us the excuse to look into a lot of reels. Mr. Villedroit, perhaps your young friends in the tent might be of assistance? Sounds like something that programmer we met in the church might be able to help with. Ah, oh, good. Take note, tinkerers. Just what this side task was missing. I must apologize on my partner's behalf again. Please believe me when I say that he does not speak for the RCM in any capacity. I don't understand why you have it in for this man. He's never been anything but gracious and helpful to our cause. Why do you feel the need to insult him? Good God, couldn't you try at least? Of course he does. He's from the moral intern, but that doesn't mean we don't have standards to maintain. Good God, couldn't you pretend at least? I'm not even sure why I'm bothering. This is your side task after all. Now let's go. You've done enough damage here. Yes, I was wondering the same thing. What are you doing? We've heard testimony. People say he was charismatic, a nice guy to be around. We researched him. We contacted the ICP and looked at his birth records. That was in there. And other things. He was a good commander. I can see you miss him. There will be ramifications. But there don't need to be. Let's go inside and discuss what our investigation has uncovered. We have important. He wasn't hanged. He was shot by someone in Martinez. They're helping us find the shooter. You heard wrong. She and these men have been helping us find the shooter. A suspect. Ruby is a suspect we chased down on the coast. She was hiding. She used to work in industrial espionage. And... No, wait! He didn't. You heard wrong. Your friend wasn't hanged. He was shot. We found a bullet in his head. We should have arrested her. Classier, 
The woman upstairs, where is she? We don't get in there. Frankly, you're just going to have to accept the fact that you can't get in through every single door. Yeah, I understand you. I lack opening doors as much as the next guy. But this one is simply beyond repair and we don't have the resources needed to open it. Relax, no one's hiding in there. If we can't open it, others can't either. And thus they can't get in. It's military, a service depot of some sort. From here to the whirling, I can't see how. The church is in the way. Probably something that is no longer there. What else is there to do? Not accepting isn't going to bring the fire brigade in. I hope this has been refreshing for you, detective. Let's return to our search with a fresh pair of eyes. Yes, that one. No to the orange pilot cap. Those? A smoking assailant who favors Tumutiri to Astra or Joan? Cigarette butts are everywhere. This is a common brand for all men. I don't see it, officer. I don't see a person take a shot here and hit something there. In the whirling in rugs. It's not possible to climb that ladder. And even if it were, why? There's no platform up there to aim from. No. No. An orange pilot cap would not help. Yes, that one. No to the orange pilot cap. No. An orange pilot cap would not help. I'm okay. You, on the other hand, look like you're about to turn into a popsicle. That seems smart. Yes. Absolute idiocy. Don't be silly. No one wants to be a popsicle. No, I did not. We say our lights don't do paranomastic humor. To warm his hands before pulling the trigger? Perhaps. But anyone could have made this. The coast is specked with fires this time of year. Truthfully, this seems like a very poor choice to take a 1.2 kilometer rifle shot from. Visibility is awful. There's water vapor everywhere. I think we can rule out... Beatable Prime, was it? Let's just do it, shall we? We still have to deal with her. Not pleasant, I know. But we can't leave her like that. And we have to investigate the scene, too. <clears throat> Detective, aren't you forgetting something? Be that as it may, it doesn't change the fact. We have a duty to her. Let's see it through. After you. After you. Her journal? We should probably live through it. Might learn something useful. We still need to investigate the scene, remember? <clears throat> Detective, aren't you forgetting something? After you. We still have to deal with her. Not pleasant, I know. But we can't leave her like that. And we have to investigate the scene, too. Be that as it may, it doesn't change the fact. We have a duty to her. Let's see it through. After you. Let's just do it, shall we? Her journal? We should probably live through it. Might learn something useful. We still need to investigate the scene, remember? Given that this isn't a martial arts thriller, it's highly unlikely and not without risk to our health either. However, the pipe suggests there may be an entrance to the basement around... <sighs> Let's take a breather and try this again later. It's very tough. Good work. Shall we? And it's right here. A maintenance door. I see. Another stop on your crusade against narcomania. I was hoping we were in pursuit of a murder suspect. Officer, are you okay in there? What do you mean, who's there? It's me, Kim. Stop playing around and help me get the door open. Huh. I hope no one dangerous heard that. At least now we have an exit, so let's get going. It's time to investigate these passages. Yes, we have an exit, so let's get going. Time to investigate these passages. Yes, yes. It's cool to risk your life climbing rickety ladders. Anyway, let's investigate these passages. Yes, time to investigate these passages. Let's move quietly and not make more sound. After you climbed up to the roof, you mean? There's a maintenance entrance under the boardwalk. It's next to a drain pipe, possibly a storm drain. It was easy to miss before. She has a point there. No one mentioned. No one takes a 15-minute leak. God damn it! A breach loader? Really? <laughs> that isn't it! <laughs> hmm. No one mentioned hearing any shots. And a rifle like the one used would have been loud. She's right. I don't think the shot came from the roof. Damn this! So, what we are experiencing is a, a concentration of radio waves. But even if this is true, 
Weren't you worried this lynching might lead to... How do you know this? A third. Ah, oh, this is bad. <sighs> All good, officer. Be careful. Ma'am, put the gun down. That's not the solution to your problems. You are... Titus and his boys, ma'am. They told us you were on the coast. That's illegal. I'm guessing it's patented. But we are beyond that, aren't we? Damn this. Hmm, she's right. No one mentioned hearing shots. I... The shot didn't come from the roof. Officer, are you okay? Officer, what are you doing? Ah, you police radio? You've been following the case? It's okay. We just want to... Uh, ah. You made it look like he'd been hanged. Good call. Yeah, I'm sure. I would have done the same had I not been incapacitated. Really? That's your takeaway? I'm certain she didn't do it. Her tent. We should check it out. Her tent. We should check it out. I have a feeling we didn't. Her tent. We should check it out. All things considered, it could have gone worse. No, I don't think she did it. She's someone else's case now. Now we have to come up with a really good excuse for why we walked right into a trap like that. This isn't going to look good in the report. Her tent. Maybe there's something in there. Okay, you said it. You needed to say it. Now it's been said. We need to clean up. Fuck! Lieutenant Yefreitor Dubois, control your emotions. We did our job. This won't be the worst thing that happens on this case, believe me. You can't let this break you. We clean up. It may take days for processing to pick up her body. We need to move it somewhere. I would have done the same had I not been incapacitated. Our job. It went really bad. And now we need to clean it up. That tent there. We are cops. Everything is our fault, if we let it be. Detective, control your emotions. We did our job. This won't be the worst thing that happens to us on this case. Believe me. You can't let this break you. That tent there. Her tent. Maybe there's something in there. I have a feeling we didn't. Her tent. We should check it out. Her tent. We should check it out. Really? That's your takeaway? I'm certain she didn't do it. Her tent. We should check it out. <clears throat> right behind you, officer. I see the processing guys have been faster than usual. It's good we stop by to check regardless. Now, island time. See anything? We should put her in the sleeping bag so the rats don't get to her. We should read this immediately. Like, right now. Well, my amnesiac friend, Mazov is the father of scientific communism. His theories about economic history greatly influenced, some would even say sparked, the intercentennial revolution. Yes, I can see that. Looks like some communists were hiding out here. They left a long time ago. Yes. Looks like some latter-day radicals were hiding out here. They left a long time ago. Some radical or radicals were hiding out here. They left a long time ago. Yes, some radical or radicals were hiding out here, but left a long time ago. Yes, and it looks like some latter-day radicals were hiding out here, but left a long time ago. If you wish. At any rate, looks like some Mazovians were hiding out here, but left a long time ago. Looks like some radical or radicals were hiding out here, but left a long time ago. What most people think of as history has a tendency to linger in random neighborhoods. Martinez being what it is. No one has gone through the trouble of cleaning out the old bunkers. I won't stand in your way, but only after we are through with this case. Half a century? This was probably part of the network of defense posts the communards built against the amphibious landing. I think the purpose of this bunker was to produce propaganda. It would have had radio equipment back then, but that's all been looted. You mean like Ruby? No, I think we've stumbled on a piece of history. Millions of depictions of Mazov have been produced. They're not all connected. Besides, that looked like some student. The youths always go for this kind of stuff. Hmm. Either way, we ought to be careful. There were footprints back there, and I'm pretty sure they were fresh. No, but you are the sensitive one. Possibly. If she's in here, we need to plan our next step carefully. Looks like our suspect. If she's in here, we need to plan our next step carefully. Once we detain a credible suspect, who knows what the Union and the Wild Pines will do? 
will set in motion events we have no control over. You're right. There won't be time to do that when the dominoes are falling. At the first sign of danger, they will shut the place down for good. You're right. However corrupt he may be, nothing happens in Martinez without him knowing. We might have to dirty our hands. But I leave that to your judgment. You already know what I think about cross-pollinating information like this. It's dangerous, but I don't know. Little things? But you're right. We've gotten everything we can from the Union. Definitely. It amazes me how we've managed not to. The Wild Pines has information that may be critical to our case. Definitely. I think she knows something. About the mercenaries, maybe. And she won't be around if the situation explodes. Uh, yes. There won't be time for that once things go down. Matter of fact, I don't think there's time for it now. But I still don't think that was a good idea. But yes, our affairs with the Wild Pines are in order. Since she isn't in Martinez anymore. You think we should finish running it now? Maybe you're right. It might not be as useful later. Okay, why not? Whatever goes down might also affect her. The Union is watching her closely now. You mean Lena? I don't see how cryptozoology and the murder investigation are connected. But the situation in the city will get tense for everyone. No, what do you mean? Well, we are not responsible for what we can't predict, are we? I don't think the entire city will be raised to the ground. I think I see a cavern. Maybe more cellars? I think we've been careful enough. We still have the element of surprise. Or maybe not. Either way, once we go deeper, there will be no turning back. You mean Morel? I don't see how cryptozoology and the murder investigation are connected. But the situation in the city will get tense for everyone. I don't feel it, but... We should still be careful. There were footprints back there, and I'm pretty sure they were fresh. We absolutely cannot skip that appointment. Consider that 100% confirmed. I fear you'll need your gun for this. If you want to do that, then yes. We'd be advised to finish every lead. I don't think we'll have the chance to after... Wonderful. Very useful. Let us not linger. We have a great big mess to figure out. All right. I won't ask again. I would assume, yes. Why did you put it in the bottle? That makes absolutely no sense. But I guess every family has its own traditions. No harm in drinking 98.7% alcohol with a God knows how old tie in it? I wouldn't be so sure. However, I'm not here to judge. Let's go. That makes two of us. Let's not waste any more time under this boardwalk. We need to clear this all up somehow. Right, okay. Anyway, I'm glad you told me your necktie has been speaking to you. That must not have been easy. I've got to ask, what are you doing? A relationship between a man and a talking necktie? Uh, no, apparently I'm not. Of course it has. Let's go. And what has the necktie been telling you, if I may ask? Okay, so why did you put it in the bottle? I've got to ask, what are you doing? All right, I won't ask again. That makes two of us. Let's not waste any more time under this boardwalk. We need to clear this all up, somehow. No harm in drinking 98.7% alcohol with a God knows how old tie in it? I wouldn't be so sure. However, I'm not here to judge. Let's go. Of course it has. A relationship between a man and a talking necktie? Uh, no, apparently I'm not. And what has the necktie been telling you, if I may ask? Wonderful. Very useful. Okay, so why did you put it in the bottle? Right, okay. Anyway, I'm glad you told me your necktie has been speaking to you. That must not have been easy. Let us not linger. We have a great big mess to figure out. That makes absolutely no sense. But I guess every family has its own traditions. I would assume, yes. Why did you put it in the bottle? Let's go. It's a great place to hide, certainly. But there hasn't been anyone here in ages. It's a great place to hide, certainly. But there hasn't been anyone in here for ages. Indeed. No one could get a clear view. Well, at least we've been thorough. I like thorough. In fact, I think we're done with this bunker. After you, officer. So it is. I think this used to form a single system, slotted in the wall. The rest of the building seems to have been picked clean. These? No. These are old filament memories. I hope you're not expecting to find that device here. You will be disappointed. Let's. We are done here. Are you sure? There are things we still need to do here. Officer, are we sure? We could maybe get more. Okay, 
How about I take him to the precinct and you wait on the island? No, no, it would take a whole day on this island. You go and transport the prisoner. I'll be here. I can escort him to the pier with you. Maybe there is room for three on the boat. What? We should try first. There is a prisoner transfer protocol that requires to... Maybe we could all fit in there. Actually, no. Be very, very careful. I can see it. Josef Lilianovich Dras, you are under arrest for the murder of the Colonel Colonel. You will be taken to the nearest prison holding area for preliminary investigation. I can see it. Your wayfarer rights have been suspended. Information provided to the officers on the scene will be used against you by the prosecution. You will be given legal counsel within one week and must face court in 44 days. Do you understand? Do you understand, Mr. Dras? He's going into some kind of psychomotory mobility. The good news is, this solves our transportation problem, doesn't it, Mr. Dras? Between this and the broken tire he's used for a boat, I think it's safe to leave him here, while we go and get help. It will need to be medical first, I'm afraid. Old age and shock. The appearance of the Fasmid in conjunction with the stress of the arrest. He spent his entire life here. For him to live would be... Yes, the arrest and the appearance of the Fasmid, the combined stress. But you think it's something more than that, don't you? That could be part of the shock. But you're right, something is off here. Mr. Dras, then how did we see it? Oh, you mean whatever does this, does it over time? Teenagers, kids, drunks, sightings are brief and hands not credible. Anyone who spends a long time with it. Mm -hmm. Mr. Dras, have you ever seen a stick insect pretending to be the reeds? The doctors will have to look at this. I hope your station has better medical personnel than 57. This is a little advance for a nurse. He was energetic and articulate. After all these years alone, with little hygiene or medication, I would expect worse. Hmm. It does not seem to be animated now it's left. Honestly, I'm ready to believe anything at this point. Maybe it is psychoactive. It's three meters tall. An undiscovered species. I'm not ready to believe in anything, but yes, I'm ready to believe it has psychoactive qualities. Which is why we should be very, very wary of approaching it again. Like a drug? His pupils appear to be dilated. They still are. Some kind of oxytocin release mechanism? Would go with the pupils. But this is way above me, detective. You mean pheromonal? Humans are humans. Do you need neurological tampering for the glands to work? I don't know. The scope? Knowing of her bruises? His disposition toward Miss Oranje? I see what you mean. You should be more careful, detective. Are you sure it wasn't having an effect on you? A valid hunch. Long-term exposure to something like that could be neurodegenerative. Also, please be careful when approaching a known species in the future, detective. Are you sure? You were looking at it for a long time. Almost as if you were hypnotized. Were you hypnotized? Told you? Yes, good. During your long staring match, I understand. He did seem distressed when it finally came to arresting him, like he didn't want to leave this place, and the insect maybe. I have absolutely forgotten to take notes. I hope I remember all of this. This will be one hell of a report. Thank God we have the photo. I have absolutely forgotten to take notes. I hope I remember all of this. This will be one hell of a report. They'll think we're insane. Your confirmation is not required, sir. Now on to the boat. We should think about getting back to the mainland. To get help. He'll be safe here. If we don't take too long. He lost the scope. Then it somehow made its way over there. With the help of a magpie phasmid? This site is a T9, Mr. Dross. Was it attached to the rifle when you made the shot? I mean, why not? It's three meters tall. If Kuno kicked it into the sea, as he said he did, the ebb would put it back here. This makes sense. Mr. Dross could have picked it up. Or the phasmid even. If it did, this is incredible. Let's have a closer look at that after. I think I'll be more useful than him. Did you take this passport and other papers from a boy on the coast? He hears us. The spirit? Not really. We could escort him to the pier, then either one of us can take him inland while the other stays here. But you come back for me? How about I go and send a boat back for you? This is no harmless old man. Who watches over him there while I come back for you? Try something else? We got him back for a moment. This is a problem. Who watches over him while I come back for you? 
Officer, are we sure? We could maybe get more. Mm -hmm. Straight to the open pit mine, or cleaning up radiation in Severnaya Zemlya. Yes, shameful. So many others to punish over the years. Isn't that right, detective? The Clares wouldn't miss a man hidden in their own backyard. Not all this time. Nothing happens in Martinez without them knowing. How did he know you were here? Again? What have you done for Edgar before? Did she? They say her daughter called in, not her personally. But that wasn't really her daughter, was it? Edgar didn't keep his part of the deal. If you were to testify to this, give the RCM something on Edgar, you could walk. We would strike everything you've done and process you as a POW. You were in a war. You were on assignment. We could even extradite you to the Samaran People's Republic. You said you take painkillers. I don't think now is the time for this, officer. Officer! Mr. Dross, about this deal you made with Edgar. The death of the colonel mercenary was only coincidentally beneficial to the Clares. But what about the other people you've killed for them? About this deal you made with Edgar. The death of the colonel mercenary was only coincidentally beneficial to the Clares. But, like the previous four women of the Union, we will have plenty of time to talk about this, Mr. Dross, when you are in pre-detention. It takes years in pre-detention. We will have plenty of time to talk about this later, Mr. Dross, when you are in pre-detention. It can take years in pre-detention. Save the treat for later? I'm sorry, Mr. Dross. I understand you knew him for a long time. Detective, did you kill him? Watch your mouth, Mr. Dross. Not a lot of guns around that use military-grade ammunition, are there? So you watched the fight? Did you like what you saw? The mayhem. It was all your doing, your plan. You got them killed. You know what? You're right. I'm convinced this made the shot. Should we call it? 4.46 jacketed ammunition, modified for range. We have it. This is it. Good. This feels good, doesn't it? Tying things up like this, when you have the murder weapon. You have the killer. You had direct visibility. There are embrasures in the concrete, specifically meant for a top follower to use. And you had a long-range rifle in your possession. You have been here a long time, Mr. Dross. Too long. You need medical aid. You have been here a long time, Mr. Dross. Too long. You clearly need medical aid. Killing people? Interesting. During or after the war? I'm sorry for what happened. But you are not with the moral intern. We are Revacholian citizenry, like you. Show me the souls, please, Mr. Dross. The size fits, but not the soul. The size fits, but not the soul. You must get around a lot to stay undetected all these years. Do you know any secret paths? Pinball workshops? People change shoes, detective. It was you. You were there, weren't you? Crawling and whirling in rags. What were you doing? Some kind of reconnaissance? Preparing the scene? Listening in on her? Are you... Always looking through the scope of a rifle? I'm just trying to understand. And if you don't like it, then you pull the trigger? Mr. Dross, are you aware you're confessing to murder? And you were looking at them? The victim and a young woman having sex? Through the scope of your rifle that night? Before you shot him? Why? I don't understand. Do you, detective? I don't understand this part. Officer. A word? No, come on. A word. Let's go. You could tell she was a spook? From the documents? One more thing. The flowers, Mr. Dross. The dried flowers that were on the roof. Did you make that hole? How did you get in there? The hidden pinball workshop. You had to open the steel door in the kitchen? How? You've been through the secret route behind the whirling in rags. But that nook too? A red-haired woman? Ruby. We could get more. We've got him talking. <coughs> did you keep the documents in it? Past the felt building on the coast? What was she doing there? How could you see what she looked like? You said it was dark. Did you keep what was in it? When we found the submersible, it was empty. Sloppy. We should have gotten her to tell us about this. Did you take the documents? I have absolutely no idea. Careful. It may be poisonous. Maybe it is real. The pheromone. Okay. In three. If it moves, you jump back. I'll shoot. Here we go. Three. Two. One. It appears the insect can walk on water, like a water strider, you know? It's almost as fast. Uncanny. No, it's gone for now, detective. I don't think... I don't think it had anything to do with the ox spray. It was just scared. Okay, but... I'm not an entomologist, okay? Neither was the parascientist. Who knows? 
The only thing I'm sure of is, looks like he doesn't like to stay out in the open for long. No, we saw it. It was real. It's just a blur. Our suspect's not looking so good. We should check him over. Also, help them? I don't see what more we could have done. I'm not. We should have. It's my fault too. I know. We should have. It's my fault too. A stick insect of some sort, pretending to be the reeds. Has it been there the whole time? Where? Where did it go? I tried, but it was moving too fast, and I didn't get the ampouline right. And, damn it, I believe my eyes. It was there. It is. The paraplegic? She could have, yes. The paraplegic? Or the other one on the coast? They could have, yes. I never thought the damn cryptozoology would factor into this. Well, we know it's here now. We will find it again. Am I? I don't know. I'm not an entomologist. Neither was the parascientist. The only thing I'm sure of is it looks like it has some kind of nest there. Maybe there's proof in there. Like you? I'm not an entomologist, okay? Neither was the parascientist. Who knows? Maybe you're right. The only thing I'm sure of is the ampoule will produce a loud hiss. You're right. It could scare it away. I need a better moment when it's not looking. I got it. Be careful, detective. It's moving. The nervous system could be spread out like that. Over the extremities. Like a cuttlefish. It's good. It's good. Don't worry. We got it. A nest? Can't do anything now. Later, when it's gone, maybe. My camera. We need a photo. No one will believe us. It doesn't look like that, no. Okay. Is it somehow related to the case? You're just staring at it. I won't be one of those fools who didn't take a picture. Understood. Of course. No. What's going on? I think you should back away from the unstudied species now. I think we should take the picture. And then you should back away from the unstudied species. I don't think the pheromone will do anything. Shh. Okay. It's gone. Looks like a nest of some sort. We should have a look. Apparently, yes. Like a water strider. Only... I've never seen anything like that in my life. No. We are now just another pair of crackpots who did not take a picture of the giant cryptid. Maybe we'll get another chance? We know it's here now. It looks like the insect had some kind of nest there. Look. Maybe it has left some proof. Our suspect is not looking so good. We need to check on him. Also, our suspect is not looking so good. We need to check on him. We can't just leave it standing there. We have to do something, detective. It could be... It could be connected somehow even. Someone must have known about it, though. Maybe there's some secret to approaching it? I have no idea. I've never heard of a species like that. Empty. Let's look elsewhere. Bellboys. Fuel. This should do the trick. We will make up for it. Here. I feel it. Where? You think so? We would see them if they were here. No, officer. It's not an invisible shooter. But this island, on the other hand. But this island, on the other hand. I have always assumed it's someone local. We should move now. Or she. We should move. Anything? Yes. This guy gets around. Noted. Yes. It all adds up. Why not? We have the weapon and ballistics. As you say, it's pretty bouillard. In our defense, nothing pointed here. Many, many leads pointed elsewhere. What? Do you have a line of sight to the window? Do you have a line of sight to the window? A pair of binoculars? Or a scope of a rifle? You'd be prone, lying on a mattress, barrel resting on the embrasure. Good. I think we have it, detective. The origin of the shot. This is the sniper's nest. That embrasure. What can you see through it? I may have been wrong when I said it wasn't important. This means the same person could have visited both locations. B triple prime. This looks like a good place to shoot from. Could be a coincidence. Or the same person has visited Lens and and here. I didn't see any signs of smoking inside though. If people live there, they keep it tidy. This here may also be a smoking spot. No, wait. This is important. I have a feeling. What can you see? A good place to hide. Cozy. Relatively safe from the rain. This looks like a good place to aim from. The smoker's a clean person. I didn't see any signs of smoking inside. Keeps it tidy. Prefers to come out here to smoke. What does that mean? Do you have line of sight to the window? I think we have it. The origin of the shot. This is the sniper's nest. I can see it. Through the scope of a rifle. 
The shooter would be prone, lying on the mattress, barrel resting on the embrasure. Why? We don't go everywhere in the thousand meter radius of the crime scene. That's not procedure. Nothing pointed here. Many leads pointed elsewhere. Don't beat yourself up, officer. We did not put guns in their hands or get them drunk. It's only moderately effective cop work until we have the weapon. It will not be, how do you say it, bouillard, until we have that. We have come to ask you questions, nothing more. If you do not comply, we will take you in. Do you understand? A Sameron rifle. How did you get hold of one? What does it say? No one said it has to be a Belmagrave. We were just guessing. The right type and the right calibre. Worn. Personalized, even. Looks like this weapon has seen a lot of use, hasn't it, sir? It doesn't matter if it was made in Shanty Shanty. All it has to do is use jacketed ammunition. And it does. Jacketed. Military-grade ammunition. Stable in flight. Good for hitting something that's very, very far away. I wonder how old it is. The commune of Revachol? Do you mean the ICM? You're a holdover from the... Told you we shouldn't play sad FM. I did. What have you been doing during all this time? No. We keep people alive. We help them survive. Whatever the ideological situation. Day in and day out. Yes. What? To get things going again? Fan the flame? And this was... When? Now is not the time, detective. Put it down now, sir. His job was to assure the army answers to civilian control and follow the ideology of the commune. Is that part of why you've been here all this time? Because the party didn't surrender? Detective, we have not come here to discuss ideology. We have come to ask questions regarding a murder investigation. Her who? The RCM can provide medical services. You need to be looked over. How is your health, Mr. Dross? I would imagine it gets tremendously difficult, mentally, to live in isolation. Do you go to Martinez often these days? There were posters, campaigns. In the city, you move on the ground? Propaganda bunker? So you've been there. Storm drains? We already solved the case, remember? You were sleeping. Are you sure you're okay? You thrashed around and you bolted up, half covered in blood from your wound. I did not want to wake you. Perhaps I should have? Was it a job dream? Okay. Of course. I was just thinking maybe you've torn your stitches. Are you ready to move on? Don't worry, detective. We'll solve the case. Are you ready? Don't worry, detective. We've solved the case. It's wrapped and done. Are you ready? Of course. You ready? You thrashed around, then you bolted up, half covered in blood from your wound. Are you okay? You're up quick. How was your sleep? Maybe this is one of the doors we don't open? All right. I retract my statement. It was naive. Let's look around and get it open. Another part of the island, probably. The lock looks like it could still be usable. I think there's a console just southeast. Let's look around. Getting the blast door open seems like the best plan. Fuel. Generator. Console. That's our best chance. That there could open it once we've put some fuel in the generator. Fuel. Generator. Console. That's our best chance. That there could open it now that the power is on. I retract my statement. It was naive. Let's look around and get it open. We are better off looking for a mechanical solution, if we need one at all. Insular. This is an off-air radio computer, I believe, used for military communications. But officer, then we would have to swim back to the mainland. Let's just look around, okay? My kinema. I don't want to do that. Let's just look around. The console of an antique computation device. There was a generator upstairs with wires coming out. They terminate here. I think, yes. Let's see. That one. The emergency open. After you. So did I. Not back there, but I felt it since we came here. I don't know. Don't be. I have a gun. Extra good that I do. Then it's extra good that mine is not. I know. It was not easy to acquire. We need to restore power before using this, officer. There was a generator that you missed. It didn't look like there was fuel in it. Don't worry. I have a gun. Urgence. Ouvert. Allumé. Radio diffusé. Sounds like this device was used to control the electronics here. Maybe it still does. Possibly. Urgence, ouvert, allumé, radio diffusé. It sounds like this device was used to control the electronics here. Maybe it still does. There's barely anything left. That won't work. It's on. Turn emergency open. Electrical devices do not work without electricity. We need to power the generator upstairs first. The console of an antique computation device. The generator upstairs, with wires coming out, they terminate here. We should look around outside. There are barrels all over. Maybe one of them still has something in it. 
This is an air-gapped system. Of air, I think they call it. That won't work. No, I'm not. But it would not be very good military technology if programmer ladies could control it remotely. Also, it's ancient. Incompatible. Someone with basic electrical skills has restored it in order to keep the room warm. Downstairs? Somewhere? I don't know. I'm not a philosopher. The kind that's favored by vagrants and fuel thieves. It's been a long winter. Long and cold. Liquid carbon. I would imagine it takes mazout. The kind that's favored by vagrants and fuel thieves. It's been a long winter. Long and cold. Someone with basic electrical skills has restored it in order to keep the room warm. Maybe it's the fire guy. That should do it. It's cold now. But someone has been maintaining it. The wiring has been repaired. Someone's made themselves a home. Ooh, see ya. Looks like our straggler has kept some literature around for a quick ideological fix. Ooh, see ya. I agree. Humanitarian sciences. It stands out. Not a lot of critical theory around in Havashal West. Ooh, see ya. Humanitarian sciences. Stands out. Not a lot of critical theory around in Ravachol West anymore. Well, yes. That one student did. That one student did have some, yes. It's still out of the ordinary. Again, I am not a philosopher. But whoever has lived here, they have some education. And a certain set of interests. Whoever has lived here, they have some education. And a certain set of interests. You know, officer, you can rest here if you are feeling tired. I will keep watch. You could use some rest for what's ahead. Yes, any time. If you need a rest later, it's okay by me. The offer still stands. Take it. You don't look so good. Maybe it's better to get back to the mainland. Rest there. You've earned it. Someone has been squatting here. The linen is fresh. Recently washed. Ah, yes. So it seems. For bringing munitions to the island, maybe? And supplies? You could also lock the bay when you raise the chain. From enemies. Enemies of the commune of Revachol. This sea fort was a revolutionary fortification, I believe. Technically, no, it doesn't. It does. The RCM may descend from the ICM. It's impossible to say. It was chaos after the war. The name was good for getting people to join us. Revache West was mostly workers and criminals. That's just a coincidence, officer. The Comail was founded in 32. You are in a right-wing police force. Those times are long gone. No one remembers the ICM. The connotation is less important each year. There were all sorts of groups and groupuscules back then. It doesn't really matter. This is better preserved than the others. You can still read the sign. No. An upside-down star. No, that's the uninhabited archipelago. After 44 years? That's not nearly enough time to hide what happened here, officer. One of these barrels was still leaking fuel, as you saw. The city is full of things like this. Old bullets, guns, fuel. Insulin Indian citizens militia. It's the official name of the Communards Army. The black and white army of the revolution. Yes? It is. Is that why we are stopping? I have. Is that why we are stopping? It can happen. Is that why we are stopping? Good. We are doing very good. He wants to confess, I can see that. We just need to pile it on a little more. The more we have on him, the closer he is. He's a Communard. The victim was a mercenary. We should get him talking politics again. You could even tell him we already have a motive. Remember, he wants to tell us, but he doesn't want to help us. It needs to look like we already have everything. Ballistics. Let him cook here for a minute or two. We can have another look around the island for a sniper's nest. I think we should check out the post. From nothing to this in a day. This is good. We just need a confession first, and then maybe a solid motive later. Also, the gun. We should pick it up and discuss it in front of him. Make a show of it. Well, I can think of one thing. The gun. We should pick it up and discuss it in front of him. Make a show of it. Oh, yes. And he hasn't spoken to anybody in a long time. If we get him open, who knows what will pour out. I can see that, yes. I'm not judging. Ballistics. Let him cook here for a minute or two. We can have another look at the setup he had there, with the mattress. Ballistics always impresses these military types. Remember. He wants to tell us, but he doesn't want to help us. It needs to look like we already have everything. We just need to get him back to the mainland. We actually did it. You should be proud. Come on, let's wrap this up. Yes, good going. That should be our first priority. Everything all right, detective? I'm not kidding, detective. It's time to calm down. Listen, 
I understand that you're disappointed that things did not turn out how you might have hoped. But you made the right decision. The more difficult decision, in my mind at least. But you did accomplish your task. You reached the coalition. I must admit I didn't seriously think you could do it. But you've proved me wrong. But that's just how things go. We all must accept our own shortcomings and limitations. Because I can see you're still agonizing over it. In my experience, when you make the wrong decision, you can tell right away. It's the right decisions that won't leave you alone. Yes, I know. In my experience, when you make the wrong decision, you can tell right away. It's the right decisions that won't leave you alone. You may feel that way for some time yet. In my experience, when you make the wrong decision, you can tell right away. It's the right decisions that won't leave you alone. Now come on. It's getting late. Now come on. We still have a long day ahead of us. <sighs> What's one more trip across the waterlock? It's eerie for certain, but also harmless. I just wish I could remember what I was talking about. It's just a little bit of pale interference, detective. A little eerie, perhaps, but perfectly explicable. I don't know where this case will lead us, detective. But in a sense, that doesn't matter. Our job is to follow the evidence where it leads. Consequences be damned. Because the thing you're running from is inside you, detective. But I embrace it because it's my role. And it's yours too, detective. Whether you accept it or not, someone has been maintaining it. But someone has been maintaining it. The wiring has been repaired. There is some truth to that. I suppose I enjoy casework too much. But surely you have more interesting things to discuss with the coalition than my career path. <sighs> What's one more trip across the waterlock? It's cold now. Yes, you're a natural gymnast, detective. Now, would you like to do what you got up there to do? Now's really not the time, detective. Glad that stuff came in handy after all. Everything in order, detective? You're really giving Philip III a stare. There is no way that is going to make any difference. Someone has been maintaining it. You actually haven't. But you have proven that you are a relatively capable climber. It's been a long winter. Long and cold. A long winter. Long and cold. Detective, before you answer that, I urge you to weigh your words extremely carefully. Detective, what in God's name are you doing? A long winter. Well, what now? Someone has been maintaining it. The wiring has been repaired. It's done. I believe we are ready. You've accomplished your side task. You've contacted Coalition Warship Archer. I suppose what I'm asking, yes and then, is whether we are about to lose you to the moral intern. It's how much further you plan to take, whatever this is. It's when you are going to drop this farce and come back to work. Listen, detective. I want you to consider, at least for a moment, the possibility that your actual responsibility lies down here. Afraid of what, detective? Because that's what it means to be an officer of the RCM. I don't know your history, detective, but I can say with great certainty that whatever you're running from won't disappear simply because you've abandoned your former life. Detective, each of us has our part to play in the world. My part is to solve crimes. I am under no illusion that my role isn't a minor one in the scheme of things. Don't you think we should finish our case before you go taking on more responsibility? I don't. What are you saying, detective? What options? What in God's name are you talking about, detective? But you see, detective, that feeling is simply an illusion caused by distance. Whether you choose to see it or not, the reality does not change. Let me get this straight, detective. You are saying the only normal, reasonable option available to you is to abandon your job and your life so you can fly away on a moral intern warship? For the last time, detective, you did not commit the murder. Archer, please disregard his nonsense. Detective, what in God's name are you saying? Archer, please disregard that. I don't understand. I thought he was making progress. This absolute lunatic. But why am I surprised? Are you completely out of your mind, detective? Archer, please give us a moment. I don't understand. I thought he was making progress. This absolute lunatic. But why am I surprised? Enough with the apocalyptic drivel. Archer, please disregard. He's not in his right mind. This absolute lunatic. But why am I surprised? I don't understand. I thought he was making progress. Ah, good God, here we go. I didn't say anything, detective. Mention what? You really don't know? Really? I don't think this is the first time you've misspoken in that way. I suppose that's possible. Yes, I imagine it must be. Hmm. Well, in that case... No, you ridiculous fool. You're not right. You're not even remotely right. It's as though 
right is over here, while you're over here. In fact, if right were a country, you would be deported immediately. You would be persona non grata in the country of right. Really? Because I'm not entirely sure that you do, detective. What I'm trying to say is that in your own twisted way, you're almost a genius. A genius who has dedicated his entire malignant existence to devising new and spectacular ways to be wrong. <sighs> do you know what the worst part is, detective? The more time I spend with you, the more I feel myself becoming like you. Sorry, detective, that wasn't entirely justified. You're not all bad, it's just that sometimes you... Well, I apologize, detective. I let my emotions get the better of me just now. You can be a fine police officer, but sometimes you... Well, now get down from there. We've got work to do. I think it's best for you to climb off the statue now, detective. Your real work is down here. I promise you I didn't, even though it certainly sounds like me. I can assure you it's not my twin brother, though it certainly does sound like me.